Hi friends, myself Durga. I'm working as a Java trainer for the last 16 years in Durga Soft. So I worked more than five years as a software engineer in IBM, sir. Now I want to introduce my new course, sir. String, string buffer, string builder for Java certification. String, string buffer and string builder for Java certification. The most valuable concept, the most important concept for introduce for Java certification for day-to-day -day programming. So this string, string buffer, string builder, especially this string concept is the most, most helpful. That's why I want to perform post-mortem related to this string what I did at the part of this course, okay? So in this course, what syllabus, sir, what I covered here, observe that difference between string and string buffer. If you go to any Java interview, the first question that people are going to ask, what is the difference between string and string buffer? Most commonly asked question, crores of times asked question in the interview room, sir. String and string buffer, okay? Then immediately you are going to tell mutability, immutability. Sir, why? What is the meaning of mutability, immutability? Can you explain with an example? Next, why string objects are immutable? Where are string buffer objects are mutable? Like you should be in a position to answer. All those things I covered at the part of this course. Remember, next, uh, equals method, yes. There is one more difference other than mutability and immutability. Difference between string and string buffer equals method, right? In string class equals method meant of content comparison. But in string buffer class equals method meant for reference comparison. Remember this one because in string buffer equals method is not written. So all those things I clearly explained, right? Next, uh, sir, string object creation, heap and SCP. Regarding string object creation, heap and SCP. Sometimes object will be created in the heap area. Sometimes object will be created in the string constant pole. When the object will be created in the heap, when the object will be created in the SCP, I explained almost around four to five examples so that you will get much perfection, right? Sir, after the importance of string constant pole. Sir, what is the need? Why SCP like concept is applicable only for string? What advantage we are going to get? What problems are there with the SCP? This concept I explained very clearly, right? Sir, next, uh, important FAQs on string and string buffer. There are three FAQs I discussed here, especially based on this string constant pole. So, very, very clearly, right? That's something like, SCP concept is available only for string but not for string buffer. Next, why string objects are immutable? Whereas string buffer objects are mutable? Why? Why immutability is required for the string? Sir, similar to string objects, any other objects are immutable in Java? That part also I explained, right? Okay, well. Sir, next, the important constructors of string class. Regarding what are various constructors are available in the string class, with the examples I explained. Next, uh, important methods of string class. Almost around uh, 13 methods I explained, sir. Most commonly used methods. Do you know? Car get, concat, equals method, equals ignore case method. Next, uh, is empty, length, uh, replace, substring. Next, uh, index of, last index of, two lower case, two upper case. Pin. Are you getting? So almost around uh, 13 methods, most commonly used methods I explained, sir. Trim, especially trim, almost 25 minutes I explained with a beautiful case study about this trim method. Compulsory, you should aware clearly, right? Next, uh, important conclusions about the uh, string immutability. Sir, strictly speaking, what is the meaning of immutability? Okay, internally, what things are happening? I explain very clear conclusions, right? Next, after this, the most beautiful question for the entire room, is it possible to create our own immutable class or not? Yes, we can create our own immutable class also. Sir, explain the way how to create our own immutable class. Sir, creation of our own immutable class. I covered right. Okay, this. Next, uh, final versus immutability. 
final versus immutability. What is the difference between final and immutability? By declaring a reference variable as the final, can I get immutability in nature or not? Okay, you should aware that thing I explained very clearly, right? Sir, up to this, so almost a uh, uh, minimum around uh, 18 videos I did only for string and st string concept, right? Next, after that, sir, already string is there. What is the need of going for string buffer? Why, why we should go for string buffer concept? Sir, like I explained. Next, what constructors are there in the string buffer? Next, the uh, important methods of string buffer. Okay, length method is there, capacity method is there, carget method, set carget method, append method, insert method, delete, delete carget. Next, uh, reverse, set length, ensure capacity, trim to size. Are you getting? All these methods, uh, almost around, uh, do you know, 12 methods I explained very clearly, sir, very important method, especially last three, set length, ensure capacity, trim to size, like uh, these methods I explained very clearly, right? Next, uh, need a uh, string builder. Why we should go for string builder concept? Next, uh, Differences between string buffer and string builder. Sir, why? What is the, what the difference? One is synchronized version. The second one is non-synchronized version. All differences in the table form I explained very clearly, sir. Next, a string versus string buffer versus string builder. When we should go for string? When we should go for string buffer? When we should go for string builder? We covered very clearly. Next, uh, method chaining concept. Okay? So, is it possible on applying a method? Sir, on the result, another method, another method, another method, chaining of method, is it possible or not? How to use? I explain very clearly with the example, right? I hope all the people are in a position to understand. Almost these are 16 topics I explain. You people can expect uh, around uh, 30 plus videos only on this concept. Are you getting? 10 practice questions I explain line to line. 10 practice questions I explain line to line code wise. Very important for Java certification also. Okay? Be ready. Sir, take care. Uh, sir, very understand very clearly these things and give left and right to the interview person. Are you getting that? Sir, all the best. Thanks, sir. Next topic related to our certification, string, string buffer and string builder. The most valuable concept for the interview room for certification, right? Sir, what is the topic name? Can you please tell? String, string buffer and then string builder. These are things we have to discuss. A string related terminology we require to evade. But here, related to our OCJA, there is one small twist is there. What is that twist is? Officially in the syllabus, they mention string and string builder. Are you getting in the syllabus, they mention only string and string builder. But, but the problem with the string builder is, string builder, if you want to understand, compulsory you should aware string buffer. Are you getting, if you aware string buffer, then only you have to understand, you can able to, you can, you can understand string builder. That's why, first we have to discuss string concept, and then we have to go for string buffer. Next, we should go for string builder. Okay? Well, sir, now, sir, first, first, let me talk about this string concept, right? Sir, there is one biggest speciality is there for the string concept. What is that speciality is? In any application, if you consider any Java-based project, whether it is a small project, big project, any project, sir, the most commonly used object is the string object only. Remember this one. The most commonly used object is the string, string object only. Remember. Sir, you know, here if you create 1000 objects, assume that 1000 objects I am using in my project. 1000 objects I am using in my project. Can you please tell how many string objects will be there? How many non-string non objects are there? More than 900 more than 900 objects are string objects. Huh? Lesser than 100 objects are 
non string objects sir. remember the sir in any project it is the most commonly required terminology so it is that's why in day to day programming sir without a string you can't do anything are you getting it's very important for our day to day programming so clear for all of you right first important sir second importance very very important point sir second second point is if you go to the interview room java for as a fresher or 2 plus or 3 plus years of experience anywhere if you go to the interview room compulsory question for the interview room is uh, what is the difference between string and string buffer explain mutability immutability with an example okay so without uh, asking about string and string buffer you can't expect any java interview man that much important concept that much important concept is uh, okay this uh, this uh, string uh, string uh, string concept right so for the interview room it is a very important are you getting for interview room it is a very important next uh, for the day to day coding it is very important next and after that for certification also very important there are almost around 20 questions minimum you can expect uh, from string on string buffer either directly or indirectly that's why so please uh, take special care about this concept because which is compulsory required concept for us is it clear for love right so the most valuable concept the most worthy concept which is required for our certification which is required for our interview room which is required for our day to day coding we are discussing take a bit very special care about this concept right clear right okay well now related to this string and the string buffer multiple cases i want to discuss sir every case itself is an important question for the interview room every case is a gun gunshot point that's why you should have clear clarity right sir if you go to the interview room interview room sir maybe a chance to ask what is the difference between string and a string buffer can you please tell are respond can you please tell what is the difference between string and string buffer yes if i can ask this question in my offline session out of 100 90 percent of the people minimum they are going to tell sir string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable are you getting string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable maybe somewhere in the entry faqs they remember ah uh, string is immutable string buffer is mutable that's all then immediately entry person may ask what is uh, immutability mutability can you explain with an example then automatically 90 percent of the wickets are down okay remember this one that's why compulsory you people should have clear clarity about this one so the first question for the entire room what is the difference between string and string buffer so string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable remember that string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable mutable like then immediately entry person may ask what is mutability what is immutability can you please explain with an example okay like sir what is immutable what is the meaning of immutable can you please tell hmm. immutable immutable means non changeable you can't change you can't change but what about the mutable changeable happily you are allowed to modify no problem at all once we create string object we can't change its content that's why string objects are always what immutable once we create string of buffer object happily we can perform required changes in that object no problem at all that's why string of buffer objects are mutable clear for all of right sir now can you explain with an example so that you will get much clarity right here just observe here i'm taking string s is equal to new new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga yes sir dot concat yes sir dot concat of software i'm taking sir yes dot concat of software system dot out dot print ln of yes sir. are you getting yes dot concat of software yes op of yes sir. yes sir. like this i'm taking sir okay well now my next question is string buffer string buffer sb 
एस बी इज ईक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग ऑफ बफर स्ट्रिंग बफर एस बी इज ईक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग ऑफ बफर आफ दुर्गा अम टेक दुर्गा दुर्गा अम टेक एस बी डाट अपेड अपेड आफ साफ्टवेर एस बी डाट अपेड आफ साफ्टवेर सिस्टम डाट अवट डाट प्रिंट आफ एस कैन यू प्लीज अब फर् द स्ट्रिंग वी हाव कंकेट मेथड कंकेट मेथड बट फर् द स्ट्रिंग बफर वी हाव अपेड मेथड रिमेबर दट हियर यू कैंट यूज अपेड हियर यू कैंट यूज कंकेट ओके सो अपेड मेथड इज अबल फर् स्ट्रिंग बफर नेक्स्ट कंकेट मेथड इज अबल फर् स्ट्रिंग एनी वे रईट सर कैन यू प्लीज कंफर्म वट इज द औटपुट यू कैन वी कैन गेट इन द फस्ट केस वट द औटपुट वी आर गोइ गेट इन द सैकंड केस अयो रिस्पॉन्ड वट इज द औटपुट इन द फस्ट केस वट द औटपुट इन द सैकंड केस इफ यू कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन वा यू आर द किंग यू आर द एक्सपर्ट इन इम्यूटबल म्यूटबल कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो कैन यू प्लीज टेल इन द फस्ट केस कैन ऐ गेट दुर्गा दुर्गा साफ्टवेर एस राट कंकेट आफ साफ्टवेर एस राट कंकेट आफ साफ्टवेर दुर्गा दुर्गा साफ्टवेर ई डो नो सर इन दिस केस दुर्गा दुर्गा साफ्टवेर वट द औटपुट यू आर गोइ टू गेट कैन ऐ गेट दुर्गा दुर्गा साफ्टवेर ओके रिमेबर दट सो वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्ट्रिंग अंड स्ट्रिंग बफर वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इम्यूटबिटी म्यूटबिटी कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन विथ एन एग्जापल best example you have to explain in the interview room this one only now let me analyze here see this one here string s is equal to new string of durga now s is pointing to durga s is pointing to durga observe carefully sir string s is equal to new string of durga s is pointing to durga like so if the string is म्यूटबल आर इम्यूटबल यो रेस्पॉन्ड इत स्ट्रिंग इत म्यूटबल आर इम्यूटबल यस स्ट्रिंग इज इम्यूटबल इम्यूटबल वन वी क्रिकेट स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर नाट अलव टू पर्फॉम एनी चेंजेस इन दट ऑब्जेक्ट रिमेबर वन वी क्रिकेट स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट वी आर नाट अलव टू पर्फॉम एनी चेंजेस इन दट ऑब्जेक्ट बै मिस्टेक इफ एनी पर्सन ट्रइंग टू पर्फॉम द चेंज with the those changes a new object will be created in the existing object no changes will be there are you getting let me repeat again so once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if you are trying to perform any changes with the those changes a new object will be created in the existing object we can't perform any changes this a non changeable behavior is a nothing but immutability concept are you getting now yes rat concat of software so now software will be added to durga now it will become durga software with those changes a new object will be created sir sir now durga now durga software durga software that's all now do you know this a new object you are not assigning with any reference variable once you are not using any reference variable automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection remember this one automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection still my s is pointing to durga only sir now what is the output by default we are going to get durga that's it are getting sir very important point once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if you are trying to perform any changes with those changes any object will be created now because of this any object got created but very the i'm not assigning this new object with any reference variable eligible for garbage collection so this a non changeable behavior is a nothing but immutability any doubt are you in the position to understand sir let me execute this code so that you will get much clarity observe that here i'm taking a small chota point here i'm taking sir string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga i'm taking s dot concat s dot concat s dot concat of software like this i'm taking sir s dot concat of software software like 
sir system dot out dot print ln of yes i'm taking sir system dot out dot print ln of yes let me take uh, let me compile sir i saved already let me compile this code java c test dot java have you observed right java c test dot java happily the code compiles fine java test what answer still durga only so even though we added even though we added software but still s is point into durga only because it is a new object got created and for that we are not using any reference variable clear for all of you right that's what uh, what is the meaning of immutability non changeability clear so now let me talk about string buffer so that you will get much clarity what is the mutability with an example string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga are you getting this is durga sb is the reference variable for that string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga durga like sir sb dot append sb dot append of software do you know once we create string buffer in that string buffer object you can perform any changes no problem at all because string buffer is mutable changeable are you getting once we create string buffer object you can perform any changes in that object no problem at all that's why it is mutable changeable now sp dot append of software software will be added here only are you getting no new object no new object software will be added here only system dot out dot print ln of sb means durga software by default we are going to get durga software itself we are going to get sir so this uh, non this uh, changeable behavior is nothing but what mutability remember sir once we create string buffer object can i perform any changes in that object or not yes that's why this uh, changeable behavior is uh, nothing but mutability so string buffer is mutable or immutable uh, mutable or immutable immutable remember let me execute this code have a look once uh, sir sir instead of string uh, yes uh, let me take string buffer yes uh, b string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer yes uh, b dot uh, append have you have you remember right sp dot append append of sp dot append of so sop of sp same code whatever there on the board is the same code i'm trying to execute sir what output by default we are going to get happily the code compiles fine happily the code compiles fine the answer we are going to get durga software that's all so this is the most valuable important point sir so what is the difference between string and string buffer string objects are immutable string buffer is mutable once we create string object we can't perform any changes in that object if any person trying to perform the change with those changes a new object by default will be created this non changeable behavior is nothing but sir immutability once we create string buffer object we can perform any changes in that object no problem at all so this changeable behavior is nothing but mutability are you getting right so in the intro you room you can able to answer two or three questions very confidently what is the difference between string and string buffer point number 1 what is immutability mutability explain immutability mutability with an example yes for all these questions you should be in a position to answer to get left and right clear last video i explained very clearly what is mutability and immutability sir what is the next topic i have to discuss i mean what is the next case i have to discuss very important very dangerous case observe carefully here i am taking string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga durga like now system dot out dot print ln s1 double equal to s2 s1 double equal to s2 system dot out dot print ln s1 dot equals of s2 
S1 that equals of S2. Like we have, this is the one, one, one part. Now the second part, take very special care, sir. String buffer, string buffer S of B is equal to, string buffer S B is equal to, new string buffer, string buffer S B is equal to, new string buffer of Durga, Durga S B 1. Now, string buffer S B 2 is equal to, new string buffer of Durga. New string buffer of Durga. Like this I am taking. So there are two string buffer objects are there. System dot out dot print ln S B 1 double equal to S B 2. System dot out dot print ln S B 1 dot equals R S B 2. Like this I am taking. How beautiful it is. Can you please observe that? What is the output we are going to get? What the, what, the, what the output we are going to get, sir? The most valuable, important question for the interview room, compulsory for day-to-day -day coding also, you should aware this is a difference. Please tell what output we are going to get. String S1 is equal to new string of Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. S1 double equal to S2. S1 dot equals of S2. Are you getting S1 dot equals of S2? Sir, now string of buffer, SP1 is equal to new string buffer of Durga. SB2, new string buffer of Durga, SP1, double equal to SP2, SP1 dot equals of SP2. Please, if you can able to answer this one, I'm sure you are the expert in Java. Especially, double equal dot equals. The most worthy, important question for the entire room. Okay, what is the difference between double equal operator and the dot equals method? Are you getting difference between double equal operator and the dot equals method? In the case of string, what is the behavior? In string of buffer, what is the behavior you should aware? Sir, do you know, double equal operator always meant for reference comparison. Are you getting double equal operator always meant for reference comparison? Reference comparison means uh, if both the references point into the same object, then only it is going to return so true. Are you getting? So double equal operator always meant of a reference comparison, address comparison. If both the references point into the same object, then only returns are true. Sir, not to point into the same object. References point into different objects, sir, then automatically returns false. Okay? Make sure. Sir, now string S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, now take uh, S1 pointing to Durga. Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, new, new, another object will be created. S2 is the reference variable for that. So, S1 and S2. Sir, now S1 double equal to S2. Sir, both are not pointing to the same object. Both are not pointing to the same object. Double equal operator always meant for reference comparison only. Both are not pointing to the same object. That's why what is the answer we are going to get, sir? False is the answer. Don't keep any doubt at all. Okay, like, sir, even in this case also, string buffer, SP1 is equal to new string buffer of Durga. SP1 is pointing to Durga and SP2 pointing to Durga. SB2 pointing to Durga. So, both the references pointing to two different objects. That's why double equal operator always going to return false. False. Remember this one. So, when double equal operator returns a true, can you please tell? If both the references point into the same object, means uh, suppose R1 double equal to R2. Then it's going to return so true, sir. If R1 and R2 point into the same object. If both are not point into the same object, then obviously false is the answer. Okay? Double equal operator case. No difference at all in the case of string and string buffer. What about dot equals method? Ah, what about dot equals method? Big story is there. Take very special care. Do you know? It's a, it's a very common question in the entire room. What is the difference between double equal operator and dot equals method? So, if I can ask a question to 1000 members, 
minimum 9999 members are going to tell double equal operator meant for reference comparison dot equals method meant for content comparison no strictly speaking that statement is the wrong statement what is the reason now you can able to see the example here do you know we have object class is there you know object class is there for this object class there are child classes are there string is one child class string buffer is another child class next uh, this object class contain 12 methods are there which are commonly required for everything of course one method is the private that's why we never going to give that much important by default 11 methods are there object class contain 11 method which are required for every class for every object which are required in the so two string method hash code method equals method like multiple methods are there in that do you know here equals method what is this method sir equals method is already available inside object class object class equals method meant for object class equals method meant for reference comparison or address comparison very very important sir object class equals method meant for reference comparison or address comparison if both the references point into the same object then only double equal operator i mean equals method returns true otherwise returns false so it is exactly same as double equal operator okay well so by default equals method present inside object class meant for reference comparison or contain comparison reference comparison not for contain comparison man but now in the child classes equals method is overridden for content comparison in the child classes it is overridden for content comparison in the string class equals method is overridden equals method is overridden for content comparison content comparison observe very carefully sir so in string class if i can apply equals method on the string object it is always meant for content comparison only because in in string class equals method is overridden for content comparison so even though objects are different content is the same equals method is always going to return so true because the reason for that is it is meant for content comparison but what about string buffer what about string buffer sir it is very clear in string buffer equals method is not overridden if it is not overridden if any person sir on the string buffer object equals method on the string buffer object equals method which equals method will be called object class equals method will be called object class equals method is always meant for what reference comparison are you getting right so most of the people don't know about this small point they are always going to feel the equals method meant for content comparison double equal operator meant for reference comparison like that no so the equals method present inside object class also meant for reference comparison only but not for content comparison we have to override equals method in our class for content comparison purpose clear this knowledge must be required now come to our example come to our example sir s1 dot equals of s2 we are calling equals method on s1 s1 is string type string type string class equals method will be called string class equals method meant for content comparison or reference comparison content content in string class equals method is overridden for content comparison now durga durga are you getting both contents are same if the contents are same then simply we are going to get true is the answer remember this one so if it is the string case double equal operator false that equals method true true right but what you want string buffer what you want string buffer sir in string buffer sp1 that equals of s2 sp2 sir you are calling equals method on sp1 sp1 is string buffer type sp1 is the string buffer type buffer type in the string buffer equals method he is not overridden object class equals method will execute which is a meant for reference comparison that's why both the references are pointing to different objects not pointing to the same object 
that's why here we are going to get false at the answer are you getting the point how beautiful this is so the conclusion here is in the case of string equals method always meant for what contain comparison but in string a buffer equals method meant for reference comparison okay like of course i will execute this one have a look once sir have a look sir here i am taking same example same same example i am taking here see string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga sir now s1 s1 double equal to s2 next uh, s1 dot equals of s2 sir are you getting s1 dot equals of s2 like this i am taking sir what is the answer if uh, both are string objects if uh, both are string objects what the answer we are going to get double equal operator reference comparison but dot equals method in string class meant for contain comparison false followed by true is the answer now have a look once what output by default we are going to get the code compiles fine next uh, the answer false followed by true itself is the answer we are going to get sir okay well sir now what is the next thing i have to i have to take uh, instead of string let me take string buffer are you getting string buffer sb1 is equal to new string buffer string buffer sb1 is equal to new string buffer string buffer sb2 is equal to like this okay now here just uh, observe carefully sir sb1 sb1 double equal to sb2 sb1 dot equal to sb2 like this i am taking sir that's all can you please tell what is the answer double equal always meant for reference comparison dot equals method in string buffer meant for reference comparison only because in string buffer dot equals method may be not overridden object class equals method will be executed that's why what output we are going to get false false is the output now have a look once the output we are going to get false followed by false itself is the answer sir yes 100 percent pakka correct what is the answer we are going to get false followed by false sir. so the very very important question sir for the in the case of string and string buffer with respect to equals method sometimes entry person may ask are what the difference between string and string buffer everyone is going to tell immutable mutable no 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 other than immutability and immutability can you please tell any other difference between string and string buffer happily you can able to tell string in string class equals method meant for content comparison but in string buffer equals method meant for reference comparison there is a difference clear to two videos we covered about immutability mutability equals method what is the difference between string and string buffer okay up to that clear now the next case very important case right sir if i can take string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga next string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things can you please tell the most dangerous point string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things friends the most dangerous concept next uh, almost half an hour discussion based on this example only you require to listen very very carefully sir can you please tell what is the difference between these two things string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga remember that in the first case okay in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created remember that in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created sir how where is the where is the difference sir like do you know whenever we are using new operator whenever we are using new operator compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area okay with the content of durga and the yes see the reference variable for this are you getting with the content durga yes see the reference variable for this 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದುರ್ಗ ನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದುರ್ಗ ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲಿಟ್ರಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಲಿಟರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪೂಲ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪೂಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಸರ್ ವೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ನೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೈಂಟೈನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಜೆ ವಿ ಎಂ ದೆನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಮಾಸ್ಕ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ರೀಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೀಪ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಹೀಪ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಪಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಎವೇ ರಿಯೂಸಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಮಾಸ್ಕ್ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಾರ್ಬೆ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ನೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ಲಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ಲಿ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿಯಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೈಂಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಜೆ ವಿ ಎಂ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲೆಟರಲ್ 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 ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿಯಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೈಂಟೈನ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಜೆ ವಿ ಎಂ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗರ್ಬೆ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಮೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಇತ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಇತ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಮ ಜನ್ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ಪರ್ಮ ಜನ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಮ ಜನ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಆನ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಮೆಮರಿ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಡ್ ಟು ಹೀಪ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೀಪ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಸಮ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ರಿಸರ್ವಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಓಕೆ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಮ ಜನ್ ಡು ನೋ ಮೆದರ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸಡ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಬಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೂವ್ ಟು ದ ಹೀಪ್ ನೌ ಮೈ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಬಲ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ just because of memory utilization okay just from 1.7 version onward this sap is moved to okay heap area only remember but old version it is a part of method area but not inside heap area okay well sir this is just for internal sake but anyway you are not required to worry so here how many objects got created two objects got created one is in the heap area second one in the scp yes is always point into the heap area right sir why this object placed uh, this object for future purpose what is that future purpose i will explain in the future don't worry about that okay well but in this case string s is equal to durga is it a lateral or not yes it's a lateral it's a lateral sir you know in this case in this case only one object will be created in the scp area in this case only one object will be created in scp area remember this one sir in the scp only one object will be created yes see the reference point into that but anyway first jvm will check is there any object with the content with this content already available in the scp or not if it is already there if it is already there then only then only sir then it is going to reuse the same object if the object is not already there then only a new object will be created and yes is point into that but anyway object creation in the heap area is always mandatory whenever we are using new operator compulsory new object will be created but uh, if
that's all. Now, sir, why it is a second object placed in SAP? Because the reason is for future purpose, for use, reusability purpose. Okay, this object not having any reference. Is it eligible for garbage collection or not? Sorry, it is not eligible for garbage collection because internal reference will be maintained by JVM itself. Clear? Sir, in the last example, just we had a discussion about the heap and SCP object creation. Let me continue some more examples so that you people can get much clarity right. Here observe, I am taking string S1 is equal to new string of Durga. String S1 is equal to new string of Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. Next, uh, string S3 is equal to Durga. String S3 is equal to Durga. String S4 is equal to Durga. String S4 is equal to Durga. That's all. Can you please tell, just because of this line, how many objects we got created? Hey, you respond. Just because of this line, how many objects got created? How many are there in the general heap? How many are there in the SCP area? Please confirm. Total how many objects got created? Is it only one object or two object or three or four? R5. <laughs> are you getting R5, R6? How many? How many will be there in the heap area? How many will be there in the SCP area? Yes, everyone should have some guess in your mind. So that you can able to understand the answer very clearly if I start explaining. Can you please guess? How many are there in the heap area? Two. How many are there in the SCP area? Huh? <laughs> Remember. Okay? Just uh, let me start explanation so that you people can feel more comfortable, right? Here, you know, observe first line heap area, SCP area, now legend, legend. There are some conclusions also I want to talk. String S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Whenever we are using new operator, compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area. Remember, compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area. That's why Durga, Durga, S1 is pointing to heap. Next, uh, it is a literal, literal rhyme for the future purpose. One copy will be maintained in SCP area. SCP area, right. Okay, well. So, just because of first line, how many objects got created? Two objects got created. One is in the heap area, second one in the SCP area. Now, string S2 is equal to new string of Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, now, whenever we are using new operator, compulsory a new object will be created, sir. In the heap area, a new object will be created, S2. Next, uh, this uh, copy has to place in the SCP. But in SCP, with uh, this uh, Durga content, already object is available or not? Yes, if it is already there, we are not required to place. Remember this one, already there, we are not required to place. Okay, second line also completed. String S3 is equal to Durga. Where I required to create this object? I told already. In the last example, where I required to create this object in the SCP area. But in SCP area, object creation is always optional. First, JVM will check. Is there any object already, already, point, already huh, having the same content or not? If any object already having the same content, then existing object will be reused. Huh? It won't create new object. That's why string S3, S3 is also pointing to Durga. String S4 is equal to Durga. S4 is also pointing to Durga. Are you getting? S4 is also pointing to Durga only. Now, can you please confirm? Total, total, sir, how many objects got created? Only three objects got created. One is in the SCP area, two objects in the heap area, right? So the conclusion is, whenever we are using new operator, compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area that's why there may be a chance of existing two objects uh, with the same content in the heap area yes this is durga durga same content uh, but 
there is no chance of existing two objects with the same content in the SAP area. Remember this one, sir, in the SAP area, with the same content, only one object will be there, same object will be reused uh, multiple times. So, internally, memory will be saved, uh, memory utilization will be improved, right? Clear? Now, your knowledge about SAP and HIP uh, from 0 to 20 percent prized. I'm sure if I will go for two more, two or three more examples, then you will get much clarity. Don't require to worry. Up to this clear? Sir, the next example related to HIP and SAP, I will look one, sir. String S is equal to new string of Durga. String S is equal to new string of Durga. Yes, sir, dot concat of software. Yes, sir, is equal to yes, dot concat of solutions. Okay, well, can you please tell total how many objects will be created? In the heap area, how many there? SAP area, how many there? Can you please? Yes, friends. Can you please tell total how many objects will be created? How many present in the heap area? How many present in SCP area? Yes? Okay? Well, so compulsory you people should have some answer in your mind. Okay, maybe 3, 4, 2, 4 or 6, 4, something like you should have some clarity. Okay? Now have a look once. Heap area, general heap and the SCP area. First line String S is equal to new string of Durga. Wow. This one, not required to keep any explanation. Even in the last two examples also we covered. Yes, is equal to new string of Durga. One copy will be created in the heap area. For the future purpose, another copy will be created in SCP area. Okay, well, Durga, like this. Yes, sir, dot, concat of software. Yes, sir, dot, concat of software, software, like this I am taking. Sir, do you know, yes sir, dot concat of software, here observe, software is a string literal, software is a string literal, literal, for every string literal, one copy will be created in the string constant pool, because the name have you observed, string constant pool, it is a string constant, string literal means a string constant, for every string constant, one copy will be created in the SCP area. That's why first uh, software will be created in the SCP area. Okay? Software got created in SCP area. Okay, well. Next, uh, yes sir, dot concat of software. Do you know? So, yes sir, dot concat of software. Already, what is yes? Yes, it Durga. Concat of software. Durga software. Do you know? So, string is immutable. You can't change the content. If you are trying to perform the change, compulsory new object will be created. Do you know? Because of runtime operation, maybe method of call, because of runtime operation, if an object is required to create, that object is always going to create only in the heap area, but not in SAP. Remember this one, sir. Sir, I call concat. Because of that, a new object will be created. Runtime operation, if an object got created, that the new object will be created only in the heap area, but not in SCP. SCP meant for string constants, string literals, not because of runtime operation created objects. Sir, now, yes, dot concat of software, S is already Durga, Durga software, a new object got created. Are you getting? Durga software, a new object got created, right? Okay. For this new object, do you have any reference variable? No, no, no. We are not assigning to any reference variable. That's why this object eligible for garbage collection. Okay. Anyway, it is eligible for GC. Next, uh, S is equal to S dot concat of solution C there. S dot concat of solution, solution. Solutions uh, is a constant, string constant, compulsory, one copy will be there in the SCP area. Okay? Solutions uh, is a content, is a, is a one copy will be there in the SCP area because it is a string literal, right? For every string literal, one copy will be created in SCP for the reusability purpose. Next, uh, yes, sir, dot concat of solutions, yes, is always pointing to Durga. 
दुर्गा दार कंकेट ऑफ सोल्यूशन नाउ दुर्गा सोल्यूशन विल बी क्रिएटेड एनी ऑब्जेक्ट बिकॉज ऑफ रन टाइम ऑपरेशन इफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज रिक्वायर टू क्रिएट दट ऑब्जेक्ट इज ऑलवेज गोन बी प्लेस ओनली इन दी पेरिया नेक्स्ट दिस रिजल्ट वी आर असाइनिंग टू यस वी आर असाइनिंग टू यस नव ऑन वर्ड दिस यस इज पॉइंटिंग टू दिस ऑब्जेक्ट रिगार्डिंग नव ऑन वर्ड दिस यस इज पॉइंटिंग टू दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इफ यू प्रिंट यस हैप्पी यू आर गोन टू गेट दुर्गा सोल्यूशन दैट्स ऑल can you please tell total how many objects got created how many there in the heap area how many there in the scp six objects got created because of this code three present in the heap area three present in the scp and uh, these are two objects eligible for garbage collection only this object not eligible for garbage collection in the heap anyway these are not eligible for gc because implicit reference variables will be maintained by jvm now Are you getting clarity? Okay. I hope just to take a bit special care. So for every example, you are going to learn some new thing. Maybe after one or two examples, yes, all the things are going to be completed. Then you will get much clarity about this concept. Clear for all of you, but keep on listening. Very important. Sir, the next example. Related to heap area and SCP for the string. Observe that string S1 is equal to new string of springs. String S1 is equal to new string of spring. Spring. Sir, S1 dot concat of fall. String S2 is equal to S1 dot concat of winter. Next, S2 dot concat of summer. S O P of S1, S O P of S2. Can you please confirm? What is the output we are going to get? Under total, how many objects will be created? Beautiful example. So I'm sure you are not required to learn any new point. Already your existing knowledge is more enough to answer this one. So can you please confirm how many objects got created? And uh, what is the output we are going to get? If you can answer this, you are the perfect. I'm sure. Okay, sir. So let me explain. Sir, how many objects got created here? Just uh, I'm taking. Sir, this is the heap area, and this is the SCP area. Now observe, string S1 is equal to new string of spring. Sir, one object will be created in the heap area with the content of spring S1 is the reference variable. Next, uh, for every string literal. One copy will be created in the SCP area for the future purpose. That's why here compulsory one copy will be created in SCP area. Okay, well, sir, because of first line, how many objects got created? Two objects. We know already. We discussed sir multiple times the same point. Yes, sir. One dot concat of fall. Yes, one dot concat of fall. Fall. Fall is a string literal. That's why compulsory fall will be created here. Fall will be created here. Yes, a one dot concat of fall means uh, because of runtime operation. If an object is required to create compulsory, that object will be created only in the heap area. That's why spring fall will be created in the heap area. Spring fall will be created. But for this, no reference variable. That's why this object is eligible for garbage collection, right? Okay, well. Next, the string S2 is equal to S1 dot concat of winter. String S2 is equal to S1 dot concat of winter. Winter like this, right? Now, do you know it is a literal? It's a literal. For every string, a literal. One object will be created in the SCP area. Winter got created. Next, yes one dot concat of winter. Yes one dot concat of winter. Yes one is a spring. Spring of winter. Spring of winter will be created in the heap area. Spring of winter will be created in the heap area. Heap area. For this new object, yes two, a new reference variable we are assigning. That's why yes two is the reference variable. Okay, well. 
Text S2 dot concat of summer. S2 dot concat of summer. Do you know? Summer is a literal. That's why let me create. Sir, here summer. Like, like I am taking, sir. Here summer, summer like I am taking. Assume it is the capital. Here also W capital. Summer like. Now, S2 dot concat of summer. Already S2 means what? Spring, winter. Spring, winter. So, for this concatenation, summer means... Uh, Spring, winter, spring, winter, summer, spring, winter, summer. A new object got created in the heap area. But for this, no reference variable eligible for garbage collection. Okay, well. Sir, now, SOP of S1. What is the answer, sir? SOP of S1 means uh, spring itself is the answer. SOP of S2. S2 means uh, spring, uh, winter is the answer. Uh, regarding spring, uh, winter itself is the answer. Are you everyone in the position to understand, right? So, please make sure you people should be aware very clearly about this uh, terminology, right? Any doubt? Friends, are you in the position to understand, right? So, total how many objects got created? Four objects in the heap area. Four objects in the SCP total, eight objects got created. And this object, this object eligible for garbage collection. And these are not eligible for garbage collection, right? Okay. Sir, SOP of S1 means spring. SOP of S2 means spring winter. Like this, we are going to get the output. Sir, let me execute this code and let me confirm. Have a look once. Have a look once. Is it the same example or not? String S1 is equal to new string of spring. S1 dot can get up fall, string S2 is equal to S1 dot can get up winter, S2 dot can get up summer, like this, right? Same example, what output we are going to get, sir? Here the code compiles fine, compiles fine, the output we are going to get, sir, spring followed by spring winter, okay? Now, I hope everyone got clarity when the objects will be created in the heap area, when the objects will be created in SCP area. For every new operator, one object will be created in the heap. Next, uh, for every string lateral, one copy will be created in the SCP. Next, uh, because of runtime operation, like a method call, if a new string object is required to create, compulsory that object will be created only in the heap area. Clear up to this? Sir, up to this we covered multiple examples where the object will be created in SCP area or in the heap area like that. But now I never explain, I never show any proof. But now let me go for a full-fledged example. Even I want to execute and I will show the proof up to certain level. That's why please take a bit special care. The most dangerous thing, you people may get uh, some new things also. First, have a look once on, on the code. Here, just have a look once. Sir, just on the screen, first you can see. So that uh, it will be it will be more clearer. Sir, here, string S1 is equal to new string of, you can't change me. String S2 is equal to new string of, you can't change me. SOP of S1 double equal to S2. Okay, like. Next, uh, string S3 is equal to, you cannot change me. S1 double equal to S3. String S4 is equal to, you cannot change me. S3 double equal to S4. String S5 is equal to you cannot plus change me. Okay, now S4 double equal to S5. String S6 is equal to you cannot plus you. String S7 is equal to S6 plus change me. S4 double equal to S7. Sir, final string S8 you cannot. String S9 is equal to S8 plus change me. Like, sir, this is the example. Even I want to execute this code also so that you people can get much clarity. Okay? Sir, take very special care. Compulsory you require to practice this, this bit, sir, especially this code. Here, have a look once. Total, how many objects will be created? Where the objects will be created? Which reference variable point into which object? Sir, compulsory clarity must be required. Huge number of lines of the code is there. Okay? Now, I am taking here, just the heap area, heap area, SCP area, I am taking, sir. Now, first, first, string S1 is equal to new string of, you cannot change me. Are you getting string S1 is equal to new string of, you cannot change me. Because of first line, are you getting that? So, what is the content? 
you cannot change me okay just for the example sake only you have to tell man don't use in your real time you can't change me you should be more flexible based on the requirement you should be changeable you should be adaptable suppose you have smoking habit your girlfriend is asking so do you have smoking habit like uh, no 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 just i have if you if you if you don't want then i will leave so whether you really going to leave or not forget about that but you have to convey like that otherwise your girlfriend won't be there with you okay that's why please uh, so you should be changeable based on the time to time don't be immutable you should be flexible to change eh? it is always highly recommended good programming practice okay well so don't use this type of terminology in our real life uh, just uh, for the string concept it is applicable you cannot change me legend so string s1 is equal to new string of you cannot change me okay because of this first line how many objects will be created sir one object one object in the heap area okay here you cannot cannot change me okay like this okay short words i am taking yes sir one is the reference variable next up for the future purpose and as it is the string literal one copy will be maintained in scp area you cannot change me like this right so because of first line how many objects got created sir sir two one two objects one is in the heap area the second one in the scp area now string s2 is equal to new string of you cannot change me regarding you can so compulsory new object will be created in the heap area you cannot change me yes to either reference variable and for the future purpose one copy required to place in sap but it's already there that's why not required to place sir now system dot out dot println yes one double equal to yes two sir yes one and yes two both are point into the same object no because it is pointing to this object it is a pointing to this object that's why what answer by default you are going to get here a false is the answer any doubt any doubt sir it's a very clear sir up to this how many objects created three sir two in the heap area one s1 and s2 both are pointing to different objects that's why double equal operator return false let me execute up to this right have a look once here all the remaining sops let me comment all the remaining sops just i'm commenting sir just observe that only this code i'm trying to execute you cannot change me you cannot change me sop of s1 double equal to s2 sir what is the output we are going to get the code compiles fine the code compiles fine what the answer we are getting sir what the answer we are going to get simple false is the answer we are getting perfectly it is the valid yes are you able to understand now let me go for next level sir string s3 is equal to you cannot change me string s3 is equal to you cannot change me where this object is required to create in a cp area in a cp area this object is required to create but in a cp area you cannot change me already there that's why yes sir three pointing to same object S3 point into already existing object in the SCP because it's the literal right now S1 double equal to S3 S1 and S3 both are pointing to different objects that's why the answer we are going to get false is the answer second one also okay let me show this one have a look once string S3 is equal to you cannot change me you cannot change me s1 double equal to s3 sop s1 double equal to s3 now the code compiles fine now the code compiles fine what is the answer we are getting it the very clear false is the answer okay up to this clear now the next possibility have a look string s4 is equal to you cannot change me string s4 is equal to you cannot you cannot change me where this object is required to create scp but in scp already object is there that's why s4 is also point into the same object present inside yeah scp area now s3 and s4 pointing to same object right 
Now, sir, SOP of S3 double equal to S4, what answer you are going to get, sir? True itself is the answer. First time, sir, true we are going to get, because S3 and S4 point into the same object present inside SCP area. Now, have a look once, sir, string S4 is equal to, like this, now, string S4 is equal to, you cannot change me, SOP of S3 double equal to S4, what is the answer we are going to get, sir, here simple, sir, true, true itself is the answer, okay, are you getting, last one is the true, sir. Now, the next one, observe carefully, string S5 is equal to, you cannot plus change me, sir, dangerous thing, dangerous thing, you cannot plus change me, sir, like, can you please tell, because of this line, how many objects will be created? Yes, friends, because of this line, how many objects will be created? Ah, make sure. Very, very important point. Sir, it is one lateral, it is another lateral, and the plus operator is there. Two objects will be created in the SAP area. Result object will be created in the heap area, like some people are going to feel. No. If both are constants, suppose if I if I want to print the system data out that print then 10 plus 20. Do you know these both are constants or not? Constant 10 plus 20. If both the arguments are constant, compiler itself is going to perform this addition, sir. Sir, do you know after compilation, this code looks like 30 like this. Are you getting at compile time only, it will be replaced with 30, 30. So the JVM is the responsible just to print the value 30 directly. Remember this one, JVM is the responsible just to print the value directly 30. So if everything is a constant, that operation will be performed only at compile time. But not required to wait until run time. Now have a look once. So string S5 is equal to you cannot plus a change mean. You cannot plus change me. It is one constant. It is another constant. So both are constant. Sir, this one addition is going to be happen. Concatenation is going to be happen. Yet the compile time only. It is exactly same as string S3 is equal to S4. String S4 is equal to like, sir, you cannot change me. You cannot change me. Here also you cannot change me only at runtime. So at runtime, this content will become you cannot change me like a literal. So JVM is always going to search in SCP area only. Only. That's why S5 is also pointing to same SCP object. Remember, this operation will be performed at compile time or runtime? Compile time. Because, because both the arguments are constant. Remember this one. That's why. So, in this case, new object won't be created. Existing SCP object, S5 point in that. Sir, SOP of S sub 4 double equal to S5. S4, S5 both are pointing to the same object. That's why true, true itself is the answer we have to get. Observe carefully, right? Now have a look once. Have a, have a look once. Sir, string S5 is equal to you cannot plus change me. SOP of S4 double equal to S5. Like this I'm taking, sir. Observe. Yes, friends, what the answer we are going to get? Sir, this is S4 double equal to S5. S4 double equal to S5. What the answer we have to get, sir? Let me, let me execute again. Let me execute again. Now the answer we are going to get. False, false, true followed by true, sir. Please make sure false, false, true, true is the answer we are going to get. Okay, well. Sir, now the next scenario. Dangerous point, take special care. String S6 is equal to you cannot. String S6 is equal to you cannot. Can you please tell where this you cannot will be created? SCP area. SCP area. Now, you cannot. You cannot will be created SCP area. What is the reference variable for this? S6 is the reference variable. Now, string S7 is equal to S6 plus change me. Now, S6 is a normal variable. S6 is a normal variable. Normal variable plus constant. If at least one argument is the variable, normal variable, 
this operation will be performed at a run time only if both are constants are like this then only the operation will be performed at compile time but at least one variable is there variable plus constant this operation will be performed at a run time only that's why because of this first change me constant will be created in the in the change me constant will be created in the scp area yes a six plus a change me now this operation will be performed at the run time now a new object will be created right you cannot change me okay what is the reference variable for this yes a seven is the reference variable okay like so this operation will be performed at the run time because s is the normal variable if it is the normal variable at least one argument is the variable the other argument is the constant this operation will be performed at the run time only now s of 4 double equal to s7 s of 4 is pointing to scp object s7 is pointing to heap object both are not pointing to the same object that's why what is the output by default we are going to get sir false is the answer let me cross check have a look once here string s6 is equal to you cannot string s7 is equal to s6 plus a change me now system dot out dot print ln s4 double equal to s7 have you observed what is the answer what answer we are going to get sir the simple answer is uh, false false itself is the answer any doubt are you getting sir what is the next uh, thing observe carefully sir final string s8 is equal to you cannot sir what is this variable final string s8 is equal to you cannot you cannot is it a constant it's a constant of course it will be created in sap sap already you cannot is there now yes a eight uh, is also pointing to you cannot in scp next yes a eight uh, is the final variable or not yes it is the final variable every final variable will be replaced by the value at compile time only do you know it is not normal variable final final means constant uh, every final variable will be replaced by compiler only okay at compile time only it is a constant it is a constant now this plus operation will be performed at the at the compile time only now it is exactly same as line number five i mean string s5 you cannot plus change me now this total operation will be performed at the compile time only at runtime this total thing will be replaced with you cannot change me a single literal that's why jvm is always going to search in the scp area yes a nine is a pointing to yes a nine is pointing to scp object sir abjad first step one every final variable will be replaced by the value by compiler only if both are constants this operation will be performed at compile time only now this total thing will be replaced with the you cannot plus change me this total thing will be replaced with the you cannot change me that's why this object is required to create in scp but in scp already object is there s9 point into scp object now system dot out dot printer and yes sub four double equal to yes a nine yes sub four double equal to yes a nine are you getting what is the output we are going to get sir i'm sure the output is the true have a look once last one have a look once last sir it is the final it is the final final that's why what output you are going to get sir here have a look once true true itself is the answer all the people in a position to understand right okay this is what you should have clear clarity sir several things i explain especially this one if both are constants that operation will be performed at compile time only remember that if at least one runtime variable if at least one normal variable that operation will be performed at the runtime only sir aware this just take the note and then practice then you will get much clarity where the objects will be created in the heap area or in the scp area like that clear for all of that beautiful example but how extend you are getting that is the very important compulsory write on the paper 
type uh, type and execute then you people can get much clarity next uh, some more example similar examples better to practice so you will get much perfection in this heap area scp area with respect to string concept right clear the last videos we covered where the object will be created in the heap area scp area when the object will be created in the heap when the object will be created in scp like all the things very clearly i explained sir sir now the next thing what i have to take sir what is the advantage of string constant pole what is the importance of string constant pole this part we have to discuss have you observed right what is the advantage advantage or importance importance of scp what is the advantage or importance of string constant pool this concept we have to discuss okay well just uh, do you know why this scp concept is applicable only for string but not for string buffer why immutability concept applicable only for the string but not for string buffer like uh, such a type of sir questions you can able to answer very easily if you can aware this concept sir that's why take very special care here do you know in any programming language the most commonly used object is a java is a string object remember this one in any programming language in any application whether it is the java based or whether it is the python based in any application the most commonly used object is string object right sir very simple if i can take water water registration form if i can take water registration form i am taking just a water registration form just for your basic idea purpose i am taking this one just observe in the which fields will be there can you please spell out sir this is the form usually which fields are there name will be there next and after the father name will be there next uh, mother name these days uh, in our certificates everywhere the people are making mother name is also mandatory mother name is there assume next uh, address address in that what is the house number next uh, what is the street number street street number next is it uh, village or city village village or city or mandal like uh, next uh, what is the mandal what is the what is the mandal what is the district district next uh, what is the state what is the state like uh, do you know what is the pin pin code like next uh, sometimes maybe a chance uh, identification mark 1 identification marks marks uh, 1 1 identification marks 2 uh, identification marks 2 uh, and at last uh, submit button assume that sir assume in your 10th class do you know a mole on the right hand side a mole on the left eyebrow something like uh, maybe a chance we have we have something like so the same identification marks assume that sir it is a simple water registration form in this how many string objects are there have you observed how many how many string objects are available sir name is one string object okay next a uh, father name and uh, mother name next house number street number village mandal district state sir pin number pin code pin code anyway it is not uh, string it is the number only identification marks one identification marks two sir assume almost uh, out of 12 or 13 almost uh, 10 to 11 are string objects only that's what sir so in our application if you consider any application most of the things are always string objects only like this you people should be aware are you are you getting right so string object is the most commonly used object in any application or not yes obviously right from this example you can consider any example where most of the times do you know string objects only student application student college 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 based application college automation application college name either string director name either string principal name either string next the subject name every subject name itself is the string hall ticket number itself is the string are you getting only marks uh, may be into values okay so make sure everywhere string object is the most common okay sir now here just uh, take a bit very special care 
I want to make, uh, I want, I want to fill, I want to fill my details for voter registration. Okay. Sir, in the, just observe, for V1, voter 1 is coming, sir. Voter 1 is coming. He entered city name as Hyderabad. He entered city name as Hyderabad. Hyderabad like. Okay. First voter came, he entered city name as Hyderabad. For the, sir, one string object got created. Well, sir, now my question is, within Hyderabad, how many waters are there? Within Hyderabad, how many waters are there? Almost around uh, one crore waters are there within Hyderabad. You are getting within Hyderabad, one crore waters are there. Next, uh, do you know, if I create separate Hyderabad object for every water, separately. Ah, water 1 city name Hyderabad, one object. Water 2 city name Hyderabad, another object. For water 3 city name Hyderabad, there one crore string objects are required to create. Unnecessary performance is going to be down. Memory problem by default will be there. Are you getting? So anyway, for all voters in Hyderabad, city name is always same. City name is always same. So why you require to create Hyderabad, Hyderabad, Hyderabad like one crore times unnecessary performance is going to be down because object creation is very costly next and after the memory is going to be wasted like so if any string object repeatedly required never recommended to create separate object for every requirement okay so how you can able to take how you can solve this problem very simple sir create only one object create only one object and the share the same object for all one crore members share the same object for all one crore members in java it is possible because of scp concept are you getting string constant pool how many objects will be created with hyderabad only one object if any other person is asking if any other person is asking boss my city also hyderabad are just now, Hyderabad object created. You can reuse the same object. You are not required to create new object. V1, V2, V3, and so on. V1 crore for all these 1 crore references. Same Hyderabad object by default is going to be reused. Are getting right? So, this is possible just because of SCP concept. In the last uh, examples I covered, sir, same object in SCP will be referenced with the multiple references. Are you getting? Memory utilization by default will be improved. So, first point, sir, in SCP, single object can be referenced with multiple references. Same object can be referenced with multiple references. Clear. What is the advantage of SCP? What are the, what are the advantage? What are various advantages of SCP string constant pool? Very simple. Now you can able to tell, sir, in SCP area, same object can be reused with multiple references. So, instead of creating one crore object, sir, one object with one crore references is possible. So, obviously, performance is going to be improved. Memory utilization by default will be improved. This is the biggest advantage of, okay, SCP concept. Like that you can able to tell. Okay, well, but what is the problem? With SCP. What is the problem with SCP? Because there is one universal rule is there. If you get something, if you are going to get something, definitely we have to miss something. Okay, because of SCP, the biggest advantage what we are going to get, performance will be improved. Next, the memory utilization will be, it will be improved because we are not required to create one crore Hyderabad objects. One object is enough. The same object can be reused with the multiple references. Clear? But what is the problem with SCP concept? Very simple. Assume, assume, how many Hyderabad objects are there? Can you please confirm? Huh? Respond. How many Hyderabad objects are there? Only one object. But this object can be reused with the, how many references? How many references are there? One crore references are there. How many? One crore. Now, suppose assume V3 person, V3, water 3, water 3, want to change his city name. Water 3, want to change his city name from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. 
regarding another city because he got transferred he want to change his city name now observe if this voter 3 opened his online online application or otherwise database and uh, he is uh, trying to edit his account information saying this uh, city name is Vijayawada something like then automatically if he is allowed to change the content if it is allowed to change the content uh, to Vijayawada okay how many references are going to be affected are you getting how many references are going to be affected one crore references will be affected because if multiple references point into the same object by using one reference if we are trying to perform any changes with those if you are trying to perform any change automatically that change will be reflected for all so sir forget about memory problem forget about memory benefit or performance benefit now the application start behaving abnormally sir after five minutes sir. so another person want to change his city name so today morning i checked uh, my city name is hyderabad after 10 minutes i checked uh, suddenly my city name became vijayawada after another 10 minutes i checked uh, suddenly my city name became delhi are you getting it's always a bigger problem abnormal behavior then how you can solve this problem hmm. how you can solve this problem sun people java people analyzed uh, very clearly they came up with beautiful concept immutability concept are you getting what is that concept they came up with beautiful concept what is that concept immutability concept uh, clear right sir what is the immune so once we create string object we are not allowed to change its content we are not allowed to change its content because in java string object can be referenced with the multiple references so that's why if one person changing all the remaining people will be affected so if any person want to change its content with those changes a new object by default will be created are you getting vja v3 want to change the city name from hyderabad to vijayawada like with that change a new object will be created only this particular reference will be reassigned only this particular reference will be reassigned but still all the remaining references pointing to the same object only are you getting right so what is this behavior once we create string object we are not allowed to change the content by mistake if you are trying to change the content with those changes a new object will be created under that reference point into that new object this concept is a nothing but immutability concept are you getting why immutability is required just because of scp concept only if scp concept is not there if reusing the same object concept is not there immutability not required is it clear right friends everyone can able to understand right sir what is the importance what is the advantage of string constant pool next what is the problem with the string constant pool sir if any person is asking what is the advantage of string constant pool sir same object can be reused uh, multiple times instead of creating new object same object can be reused uh, memory will be saved uh, performance will be improved are you getting these are the positive sides of scp concept but what is the problem with scp by re one reference if any person trying to change then so all the remaining references will be affected to prevent that java people introduced a immutability concept so why string objects are immutable just because of scp concept just because of reusing the same object if scp is not there reusing the same object is not there then automatically immutability concept is not required clear friends advantage problem why string objects are immutable just aware this knowledge anyway just to get basic idea okay what advantage is there just to get the basic idea i hope in the entry room if any entry person is asking why scp concept is required what is the advantage of scp concept just to take water registration form and explain this concept then entry person definitely will be convinced clear are you able to understand videos we covered very clearly 
what is advantage of scp string constant pole what are problems right why string objects are immutable now i hope you are getting some basic idea from this concept maybe a chance to ask in the entire room a small one or two important questions observe that what kind of, what what important questions you can you can expect for the exam just uh, the first question observe that why scp concept is available only for string object but not for string buffer sir string constant pool such type of concept is available only for string but not for string buffer why what is the speciality for the string why why this concept is only for string okay like next uh, why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why immutability is required okay you may have some basic idea now i will explain in detail next in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java sir in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java sir like uh, these are the three important question sometimes we may go beyond our limit but still sir very important for the entire room region what the first question observe that why scp concept is available only for string object but not for string buffer do you know assume you are regular customer to the bar <laughs> i don't know whether you have drinking habit or not assume that you are regular customer to the bar every day evening you will go to the bar hey one knockout or otherwise one royal challenge like you will ask then they will provide and then so happily you can drink and then come to the home it is a regular activity every day sir every day by mistake one day you forgot the wallet sir money is not there are getting money you forgot money still bar people are going to provide support or not are he the regular customer sir today if you are not having the money no problem tomorrow can you please give tomorrow can you please give okay like uh, they are going to offer normally even you are not having the money also one or two days yes no problem sir at uh, month ending one time only you can give no issue at all like uh, they are going to offer suppose yearly once uh, you are going to the bar sir today if i will go next uh, after one year only i will go then i will go there are i forgot money i forgot money can you please give some item then the bar wala the bar person is going to see from top to bottom are getting he won't because i'm not regular customer so special privileges are required special privileges are available only for regular customers if you are not regular customer you may not have special privileges special offers like that right are you able to understand now i am telling this word now you can able to understand yes sir here one is a string concept the other one is a string buffer are getting one is a string the other one is string buffer now do you know scp like concept string constant pool such a type of concept applicable only for string but not for string buffer why why this special memory management defined for the string simple answer string e regular customer are you getting string is what regular customer means uh, the most commonly used object in java is the string object are you getting the most commonly used object in java is the string object string object right? that's why so it is uh, it is for the string uh, special privileges are there special memory management provided by java people for string buffer yearly ones or otherwise so for 20000 lines of the code one time you may use you may use you may not use also there are several applications where we may not use string buffer but there is no application without using string that's why string is most commonly used object in java that's why java people provided a special memory management for the string but string buffer is very rarely used object that's why special memory management not required for the string buffer any doubt 
Are you able to understand the first question? Why a CP concept is available? Available for the string, but not for the single buffer. Yes, string is a regular customer to the bar, but single buffer is not regular customer. Only for regular customers, special privileges are there. Are you able to understand? Okay, well. Now, second one. Very dangerous. Observe carefully. Why string objects are immutable? immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable sir why immutability concept is required for the string but not for string buffer string buffer immutability is not required why what is the reason sir very very simple in the case of string in the case of string just because of scp because of scp same object can be reused multiple times correct or not same object can be reused multiple times because of which concept scp concept string constant pull by using one reference if we are changing the content the remaining references are going to be affected that's why once we create string object we are not allowed to change its content because this content can be shared with the multiple references if any person trying to change the content with those changes a new object should be created in the existing object you are not allowed to change because of scp immutability concept is required for the string object are you getting so can you please tell why string objects are immutable scp scp because of scp reusing reusing the same object is there by using one reference if we are allowed to change the content then the remaining references are going to be affected so to prevent that immutability concept is required for the string objects any doubt clear right next uh, what about string buffer in string buffer scp concept is not there if scp concept is not there reusing same object such a type of thing is not there every time sir every time separate object is required to create every time separate object is required to create are you getting durga sir durga like uh, durga reusing the same object is not there in the string buffer because scp like concept is not there in string buffer right now by using s1 if i change the content durga to ravi durga to ravi if i change the content in this object is there any effect on remaining references no because for every object separate reference is there if i perform change here no effect on the remaining references that's why immutability is not required for the string buffer remember reusing same object is not there immutability concept is not required for the string buffer but what about this one mutability concept sir immutability concept must be compulsory required so if any person is asking why string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable sir for the string object scp concept is available reusing the same object is there multiple references uh, point into the same object by using one reference if you are allowed to change the content then the remaining references will be affected to prevent that immutability is required but here for every reference separate object is there because reusing the same object concept is not there because scp concept is not there for string buffer that's why by using one reference if we are allowed to change the content there is no effect on the remaining references because for every reference separate object there that's why immutability not required for the string buffer any doubt clear okay now observe the third question what is the third one is in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java in addition to string objects string objects are immutable any other objects are immutable in java yes friends all all wrapper class objects all wrapper class objects are getting all wrapper class object are also immutable okay in wrapper class objects also up to certain range same object will be reused remember this one reusing the same object such a type of terminology there in the case of wrapper classes okay that's why all wrapper class objects are by default immutable byte class object 
short class object next integer class object long class object like you know long next float class object double class object float class double class character class object are you getting boolean object boolean boolean object these things are all wrapper class objects are immutable okay not only string objects right so these questions are very very important for the entire room compulsory you should be in a position to answer clearly clear the last videos we covered very clearly what is scp what is what are various important terminologies related to string and string buffer when the object will be created in the heap scp all the things right now let me talk about api related to string or string api right sir at the part of that the first we have to talk important constructors of string class are you getting important constructors of string class sir if you want to create an empty string object empty zero length string is also valid sir how you can create by using constructor string s is equal to new new string are you getting string s is equal to new string just the creates an empty creates an empty string object an empty an empty string object on the heap area okay empty string object will be created just the string s is equal to new string that's all sir now second constructor string s is equal to string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of okay string literal are you getting string literal literal like do you know it is called it is for the given string literal an equivalent object will be created in the heap area new operator means always object will be created in the heap area for the given string literal can you please create an object in the heap area this is the constructor right okay well now the third constructor very important sir sometimes after completing this string we require to talk about string buffer string builder sir string buffer and string builder are brothers brothers to string you are getting all these three are brothers only so all small small differences right for the given string of buffer i want to create an equivalent string object you are getting for the given string of buffer i want to create an equivalent string object what is the way okay string s is equal to new new string of new string of string a buffer string a buffer buffer s of b are getting string s is equal to new string of string a buffer s b so for the given string object for the given string object an equivalent for the given string a buffer object an equivalent string by default will be created equivalence between string a buffer to string a concept okay like sir fourth one i have string a builder object is there string a builder object is there i want to create an equivalent string object what is the way sir very simple string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of string a builder are you getting string a builder builder sp string builder sp for the given string builder can you please create an equivalent string object okay that's all this is another constructor of course these constructors once we know there there i will explain just observe that so to create an empty string object next for the given string literal how to create string object next for the given string buffer how to create an equivalent string object for the given string builder how to create an equivalent string object clear right okay now fifth one sir very very important sir can you please tell what is a string uh, what is a what is a string string is nothing but a sequence of characters a sequence of characters that's why here do you know string s is equal to new string of string s is equal to new string of 
char array ch so a sequence of characters right now char array a group of characters for the given char array you can able to create an equivalent string object no problem at all for the given char array we can create an equivalent string object what is the way is like sir let me put a small example then you will get much clarity here see this one i am taking char array ch is equal to char array ch is equal to here j j a v a like this i took sir j a v a like char array char array sir array you can take in this style also shortcut form okay like now string s is equal to new string of ch string s is equal to new string of ch for the given char array can you please create string an equivalent string object yes system dot out dot print ln sop of yes what is the output by default you are going to get sir java like this this is the answer we will get clear friends any doubt so sop of yes it a string j a v a these characters will be grouped into string that's why for the given char array how to create an equivalent string object this is the constructor clear right okay well let me check this option right so that you people can feel more comfortable right observe that have a look once here string s is equal to new string of of course ch i am taking sir sir where is the ch are getting where is the where is the ch let me take char array ch is equal to okay j next and after that a next and after that v and then v and then a okay j a v a like this i am taking char array string s is equal to like this sir sop of yes are getting sop of yes yes like this i am taking sir now let me take let me let me take here let me compile this code sir java c test dot java happily the code compiles fine no problem at all java test regarding java test what answer by default we are going to get java like that we are going to get the answer sir any any doubt so this is the char array argument constructor and example same way another constructor is also there string s is equal to string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of byte array are you getting byte array b so for the given byte array we can create an equivalent string object for the given byte array we can create an equivalent string object it's also possible man sir can you please give an example for this just uh, have a look once i'm taking byte array b is equal to sir a group of byte values can you please tell what is the range of byte in java hey respond man what is the range range of byte byte in java sir suddenly you should not ask this type of questions like don't feel <laughs> because this is a very common you should aware minimum basics what is the range of byte minus 128 to 127 minus 128 to plus 127 are you getting byte array b is equal to 97 98 90 900 like this i am taking yes it's the byte array byte array all these values within that range only now string s is equal to new string a b sir string s is equal to new string of b for the given byte array can you please create an equivalent string object can you please create an equivalent string object like system dot out dot print ln of s good for the given byte array we can create an equivalent string object can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get ha ah. what the what the output don't tell 97 98 99 100 okay so these byte values 
will be converted into corresponding characters. 97 is the Unicode value of uh, Unicode value of small a. You know right, small a means 97, capital A means 65, like you may be aware. 97 means a, a. 98 b, c, d. Now the equivalent string is a, b, c, d. Like this we are going to get. Any doubt? I hope all the people are in a position to understand what is the word the output we are going to get sir a b c d this is the string we are going to get let me execute this code sir observe carefully now i don't want to take care here let me take byte here b is equal to 97 98 99 comma 100 like string s is equal to new string of B sir. String S is equal to string of B. System dot out dot print L of S. S like this, right? Now, sir, here have a look once. Happily the code compiles fine. What is the output by default you are going to get? A, B, C, D. Because these are the Unicode values for A, B, C, D. That's why with those corresponding character, a string will be created. Now, terminology is very clear. So, what are various important constructors present in the string class? These are six important constructors are there. So, how to create empty string object for the given string literal? How to create equivalent string? For the given string buffer, how to create string? For the given string builder, how to create string? Next, for the given carry array, I want to create string object. For the byte array, I want to create string object. These are the important constructors of string class you people should be aware. Clear? Last video, we covered about constructors related to string class. Sir, now let me explain about important methods related to string. Okay? Here the first method, what I have to discuss? Public, public, char, char is the return type. The method name is char yet int index. Are you getting char yet int index? Sir, very simple, not character. Okay? Char yet, character yet int index remember so at the specified index which character is there if you want to know then we should go for char yet method right sir very simple if i can take string s is equal to durga like this i am taking sir durga like do you know what is the character locating at zero index string follows zero based index remember Yet uh, zero index uh, D is available because the first character index is the zero. Next uh, one, next uh, two, next uh, three, next uh, four. Zero to four. Total five characters are there. These are the corresponding indexes, right? Sir, now the target is system dot out dot print ln. Yes, sir dot yes sir dot char yet char yet of three I'm taking. Yes, dot char yet of three. So, which character present yet third index? Which character present yet third third index? Okay, like a third index, which character is there? G. G is available, right? Okay, well, sir, so now system dot out dot print ln. Yes, sir, dot char yet of 30. I am taking, sir. Yes, dot char yet of 30, 30 I am taking. If I can take S dot carrot of 30, 30 sir, do you know 30 index sir, is not there? Not there. It is only 0 to 4. 30 index is not there. Then immediately we are going to get string index out of bounds exception. What is that exception sir? Runtime exception saying string index, string index out of bounds exception. String index uh, out of bounds exception like this we are going to get. Remember what is that exception? String index out of bounds exception by default we are going to get. Okay. So now let me execute this code. Have a look once sir. I am taking string s is equal to string s is equal to just uh, Durga. 
string s is equal to just I'm taking Durga sir Durga yes sir done yes sir done care get of three I'm taking yes not carrot of three what is the output we are going to get sir just uh, have a look once happily the code compiles fine yet the character locating a third index is the g g is the answer sir okay well now yes sir dot carrot of 30 i'm taking 30 30 i'm taking 30 index is not available immediately we are going to get okay immediately we will we will get sir if you observe what is the problem sir string index out of bounds exception string index out of range what is the value sir 30 remember this so this is the first method you people should be aware so which is the character locating yet a specified index clear okay now let me go for second method sir now my second method is concat concat concatenation method already you are expert in that area now public public string string concat public string concat concat of of string yes are you getting public string concat of string yes yes like this right just uh, concatenation are you getting what is this one sir concatenation like sir let me go for a small example then you people can able to understand very clearly what is the what is the meaning of this here observe string s is equal to durga i'm taking string s is equal to durga durga i'm taking s is equal to s da concat of software yes sir da concat of software software like this i'm taking sir because of this what will happen is so a new object will be created with the name durga software with the with the durga software durga software okay just observe because in the existing object you can't perform any change string s is equal to durga s is equal to durga next yes sir dot concat of software a new object will be created now this one assigned with yes sir. now yes is pointing to this one are you getting yes is pointing to that sir now system dot out dot print ln of yes if i can take this one what is the output by default you are going to get durga durga software because because yes is equal to now yes is assigned to this newly created object that's why durga software is the output we are going to get just observe this have a look once already we discussed this one in the in the last sessions i don't think you are going to get the doubt yes is equal to yes dot concat yes dot yes dot concat of software software system dot out dot print ln of yes sir. but the output we are going to get sir observe that the code compiles fine the code compiles fine what the answer durga software we are going to get that's what you should aware but now have a look once very carefully sir what the point is sometimes you may use plus operator also you know this line this line we can replace with this line we can replace with the yes is equal to yes plus yes plus software yes plus software okay for concatenation purpose we can use plus operator also in this case also durga software is the output we are going to get or instead of this line these two lines also yes plus is equal to are you getting so yes plus is equal to means yes is equal to s plus only here software like this we can able to do that so these are the alternatives instead of concat method concat is the runtime method instead of that if you want operator happily you can use plus operator also acceptable okay have a look once here i'm taking instead of this line instead of this line yes is equal to yes plus software i'm taking yes plus software sir sop of yes yes like this right sir what is the output we are going to get sir just observe carefully here the output is durga software here the output is durga software it is acceptable acceptable but instead of this line also yes yes 
plus is equal to software I'm taking. Yes, plus is equal to software. Software I'm taking, sir. Now, what is the output we are going to get, sir? Very simple. The answer is Durga software like this. Any doubt? Any doubt? Are you getting right? So, these are the, the overloaded plus and plus equal operators also meant for concatenation only. So, first two methods are clear. One is concat method. What is the second method we covered? Care get. What is the character locating at? Index. Concatenate already existing string with some more extra content is nothing but concat. Clear? Sir, the next methods related to string. Observe that. Sir, third method, public, public, boolean, public boolean, equals method. What is the method name? Can you please spell out? Equals, equals method. If you can provide string object, if you can provide string, string object, okay, public boolean equals. Sir, need not be string. Any object you can provide, no problem at all. Public boolean equals of object. Sir, now it is meant for content comparison. Have you remembered right in string class, equals method is overridden for content comparison. Okay? Like, sir, here to compare content, to check equality, to check equality, equality of string objects, to check equality of string objects. Okay? Like, sir, I have two string objects are there. If the content is the same or not, if you want to check, then we require to go for equals method. It is the overriding version of object class equals method. Remember this one in object class equals method is there. It is the overriding version present inside string class. Now I have one small doubt. Here, case will be considered or not. Either case is the important or not. Yes, observe carefully. If you, if you consider string s is equal to string s is equal to here durga i'm taking sir durga durga i'm taking this is about my content system dot out dot print ln s dot equals equals of durga what is the answer what is the answer we are going to get can you please tell string s is equal to capital durga now sop of s dot equals of small durga what answer we will get Content is the same or not same? Content is not same, not same. Here uppercase, but here lower case. That's why immediately we are going to get, sir, false. False is the answer. Because content, both is not same. So equals method by default will consider content also. Let me execute this code. Have a look once, sir. Sir, I'm taking string s is equal to, string s is equal to Durga, I'm taking, sir. Durga like this I am taking. Sir SOP of yes dot equals of yes dot equals of here small Durga. Small Durga I am taking. Now observe carefully SOP of yes yes dot equals of Durga. What is the answer we are going to get sir? False. False itself is the answer. Sir content is not same because case is the different. So by default equals method will check uh, content content including case also okay like but sometimes our programming requirement hey, don't consider case i don't want to worry about case don't consider case ignore case ignore case if you want to ignore case one special method is there specially designed method for the string equals ignore case what is the method name now second next method public public boolean public boolean equals uh, ignore case equals uh, ignore ignore case ignore can you please ignore case public boolean equals ignore case of string uh, yes it is a specially designed method for string objects okay specially designed method for the string object it is not overriding version of object class method but this one is overriding version of object class method so to check uh, equality of string object where where case is ignored are you getting the name itself indicates where case is ignored equals ignore case now let me consider system dot out dot print ln yes dot equals yes dot equals ignore case ignore ignore case 
yes are done equal signal case of okay durga yes are done equal signal case of durga durga so yes means capital durga now i'm trying to compare with a small durga equals ignore case hey, don't worry about case just only content you require to check what is the output you will get sir true itself is the answer any doubt any doubt are you in the position to understand right sir let me execute this code observe that yes sir dot yes sir dot what is the method name equals okay respond equals ignore case yes sir dot equals ignore case of durga first time false is answer second time equals ignore case method true is the answer we are going to get okay now observe that sir true itself is the answer so how many equals methods are there in string class is there are two equals methods are available remember that one is uh, equals method second one is equals ignore case method clear sir where these things are going to be useful best example sir best example username and password best example username and password mail id and then password do you know mail id you can use either lower case or upper case no problem at all case is not important in the mail id sir if you want you can check your mail gmail mail id you can specify either in upper case or lower case no problem but password but password compulsory case is the very important that's why so to validate username username where case is not important sir i want to check username is matched or not case is not important either lower case or upper case no problem at all for this we should require to use equals ignore case method are getting equals ignore case method so to validate username mail id okay we require to use equals ignore case method where case is not important sir i want to validate password i want to validate password sir password case is important whenever you are trying to enter password so keyboard already upper case is enabled okay like sometimes alert is also it's going to come because password is always case sensitive to validate password compulsory we require to use what equals method are you getting so how many equals methods are there one is uh, case is considered second one is case will be ignored these are the two methods what you people should aware any doubt clear next method related to string class here just observe so whether string is empty or not the length of the string is empty or not number of characters present in the string is empty or not i want to i want to check sir so for that public boolean public boolean is empty are you getting what is the what is the method name is empty public boolean is empty this is the method we have to take so to check whether the string is empty or not best example if i can take string s is equal to just a double quotes open and close yes that's all no content now let me check system dot out dot print ln yes sir da is empty or not yes that is empty or not yes obviously empty that's why true is the answer we have to get okay now if i can take string s is equal to durga durga it is not empty it is not empty system dot out dot print ln yes sir da yes sir dot is empty is empty what the answer we have to get sir false itself is the answer everyone can able to understand is empty to check whether the given string is empty or not whether the length of the string is zero or not number of characters is zero or not like for that we can use this one have a look once observe carefully here here i am taking string s is equal to empty empty sir now empty empty string yes sir dot is empty like this i am taking string s is equal to empty double quotes just open and close is empty what is the output we are going to get sir just observe happy the code compiles fine one minute one minute sir we are just a semicolon one minute 
here observe that happily the code compiles fine no problem what is the output we will get a true because it is it is empty it is empty it is the true sir empty string suppose if the string contain any any data any characters are there length is not zero then what is the output sir here false it is not empty that's why false is the answer right okay very important in the exam there is a possibility to, to ask the bit from this method that's why intentionally i'm covering this method is empty observe that similarly suppose if the string is not empty how many characters are there if the string is not empty how many characters are there like uh, if you want to know the number of characters present in the string uh, then we require to go for length method what is the method name length method we have to use to check whether the given what is the number of characters present in the given string sir just observe string s is equal to i am taking string s is equal to s is equal to some durga like this i am taking sir string s is equal to durga system dot out dot print ln s dot length s dot length length i am taking sir sir what is the output we are going to get 5 because how many characters are there sir 5 5 that's why so we can use a length method to find number of characters present in the given string now have a look once s is equal to durga s dot length method i am taking sir length length method i am trying to take now observe a bit very carefully about this one 5 itself is the answer sir okay sir now i have so i hope you people can aware what is the what is the easy mt and what is the length method right but here one small thing you people should identify what the what that point is observe very very carefully sir do you know in java length variable is also there sometimes you can use length variable sometimes you can use length method length variable applicable for arrays arrays concept suppose if i have if i have int array x is equal to int array x is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 sir how many elements are there how many elements are there four elements are there if you want to know number of elements present inside the array then we require to go for length variable sir sop of x dot length sop of x dot length what is the answer sir 4 itself is the answer so make sure length variable applicable for arrays concept length method applicable for string concept okay string object right sometimes in the in the exam there may be a chance to ask system dot out dot print ln s dot length length variable for the string object length variable for the string object compiler will give left and right remember that because length variable applicable for applicable for arrays but not for string object that's why it is applicable for arrays that's why immediately compile we are going to get okay sir let me let me cross check if i use length variable length variable variable for the string object yes not length variable length variable let me compile let me compile immediately compile we are going to get cannot find symbol yes dot length variable length cannot find symbol yes dot length variable length compile we are going to get sir so please make sure very important point length variable applicable for arrays but not for string object length method applicable for string but not for arrays sometimes in our certification maybe a chance they may ask sop of x dot length method x dot length method they are trying to use the length method for array immediately compatible method we are going to get they are trying to use a length variable for string immediately compatible method we are going to get length method applicable for string length variable applicable for arrays concept so please make sure this point also you have to keep in your mind very important for the exam sake clear now the next method related to strings sir here observe public public string 
public string string is the return type of this method what is the method and name is replace method replace replace every character replace with new character like that replace char old character comma char new character are you getting char old character comma char new character right replace the method to replace every occurrence of this character with this character every occurrence of this character with this character that is the purpose of replace method right okay well sir now observe that i have string s is equal to string s is equal to here just observe a b a b a b is there a b a b a b is there sir now system dot out dot print ln s dot replace s dot replace replace of can you please replace sir a character with the b character can you please replace a character with the b character every a will be replaced with the b every a will be replaced with the b then obviously what is the output by default you are going to get sir b b b b b is the answer are you getting so what is the purpose of replace method every old character can you please replace with the new character okay this is here every a replace with the b then what is the output we are going to get all b sir clear for all of right what is the purpose of replace method let me execute sir here legion string s is equal to a b a b a b like this i am taking sir yes sir dot replace yes sir dot replace replace i am taking a char a can you can you please replace with the b char a can you please replace with the b b like this right sir now what is the output we are going to get just all b's by default will be there are you getting all b's by default will be there this is the output we are going to get sir are you getting all b's so every a will be replaced with the b that is the purpose of replace method clear very easy nothing is there sir what is the next method is do you know sir sub string sub sub string method is there sir now i want to find sub string from third index to fifth index are you getting third index to fifth index or otherwise from third index onwards until end of the string i want a sub string sub string okay for that we require to go for sub string method public public okay string public string what is the method name is sub sub string are you getting sub string of int begin okay int begin begin index begin index observe that sir sir can you please tell is it valid or not ayyo whatever i wrote on the board it is method is valid or not what there man sub s u b s t r i n g sub string here you see the capital i'm taking yeah sub string sub string two words every inner word starts with upper case camel case convention in java is it valid or not uh, remember that if you can take the method name like this compiler will give left and right because sub string method sub string method yes should be small okay yes sir should be small okay total is single word only sub string yes sir should be small so this method returns the string from from begin index to from begin index to end of the string are you getting from begin index to end of the string end of the string so from begin index to end of the string it is going to return sub string like this right sir let me let me execute this code have a look once or otherwise let me go for a small example first string s is equal to sir i am taking a b c d e f g i am taking sir what the string Let's respond what the string a b c d e f g in india in telugu language there is one movie there was one movie sir named with uh, balu balu like uh, tag line for that movie is a b c d e f g what is the what is this one 
ఫర్ వన్ మూవీ టైటిల్ దెర్ ఈజ్ వన్ మూవీ మూవీ టైటిల్ ఈజ్ దేర్ నేమ్డ్ విత్ బాలు ద ట్యాగ్ లైన్ ఈస్ ఏబిసిడిఎఫ్జి వట్ ఈ దాట్ అయ్యో అట్లీస్ట్ సమ్ పీపుల్ మే బీ ఫ్రమ్ ఇండియా సమ్ పీపుల్ మే నో తెలుగు ఓకే యూ యూ మే యువేర్ ఏబిసిడిఎఫ్జి ఓకే డి నో వాట్ ఇట్ మీన్స్ ఏస్ ఏ బాయ్ ఏ బాయ్ క్యాన్ డూ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఫర్ ఏ గాల్ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ ఏ బాయ్ కెన్ డూ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఫర్ ఏ గాల్ ఓకే ఈజ్ ఇట్ కరెక్ట్ ఏ బాయ్ కెన్ డూ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఫర్ ఏ గాల్ ఓకే వెన్ ఎవర్ దిస్ మూవీ కేమ్ దెన్ ఇమీడియట్లీ సో దేర్ ఆర్ సుపీరియర్స్ లైక్ మీ దే ఆర్ గోన్ టు క్రియేట్ రివర్స్ రివర్స్ స్లోగన్స్ ఆల్సో వాట్ దే ఆర్ గోన్ టు డూ ఎస్ సో ఎట్ దట్ టైమ్ దిస్ ట్యాగ్ లైన్ ఈ ద వెరీ పాపులర్ ఏ బాయ్ కెన్ డూ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఫర్ ఏ గాల్ లైక్ దెన్ ఇమీడియట్లీ సమ్ పీపుల్ గాల్ forget everything did sir catch boy again ayyo i don't know whether it is a reverse is the correct or whether original is the correct or not okay just you wait a b c d e f g is there sir now my requirement is from third index onwards until end of the string i want substring then system dot out dot print ln yes sir dot substring yes sir dot substring of 3 yes sir substring of 3 3 like this right from third index onwards from third index to end of the string 0 1 2 3 so 3 means uh, d d d to end so d e f g is the answer we are going to get are you getting right so how the substring method is going to work how many arguments are there one argument from that index onwards until end of the string it is going to return okay now let me cross check sir here yes is equal to a b c d e f g a b c d e f g sir yes sir dot substring yes sir, dot substring of a three yes not substring of three substring sir i see the smaller capital by mistake if i'm taking capital yes by mistake if i'm taking capital yes what will happen sir have a look once compiler will give left and right are you getting so one minute one minute here three by mistake here three substring of three here observe that compile time error we are going to get saying cannot find symbol which is simple sir method substring of int there is no such type of method like this right now yes see the small okay perfectly it's going to work yes see the small have a look once have a look once what is the answer by default we are going to get d e f g this is the substring method right okay well sir now what is the next thing i have to discuss so substring method is very clear but for substring method yes see the small how many arguments are there only one argument only one argument in the begin but now there is one more substring method is there what is that method is two arguments are available sir i don't want to consider until end of the string i want to consider from third index to sixth index only fifth index only i want to i want to specify one one particular boundary one particular region how you can very simple public public string public string substring public string substring of int int begin comma int end int begin comma int end so returns the substring from from begin index to returns the substring from begin begin index to uh, can you please tell returns the substring from begin index to end minus 1 index returns a substring from begin index to end minus 1 this is a very important word not end end minus 1 index okay now system dot out dot print ln yes dot substring of a 3 to 6 i'm taking 3 comma 6 can you please tell it returns the substring from third to 5 only n minus 1 n minus 1 itself is nothing but 6 minus 1 itself is the 5 3 to 5 only so 0 1 2 3 3 like this 3 4 5 then automatically d e f is the answer 
are getting d e f itself is the answer sir now have a look once observe sir now yes sir dot substring a 3 comma 6 i am taking 3 comma 6 so 3 comma 6 means 3 to 5 only 3 to 5 only observe that what answer we are going to get sir yes second answer this is d e f so how many substring methods are available there are two substring methods are available one is only one argument second one is two arguments right that's all replace under substring methods clear clarity is there Next methods related to string okay sir index of okay public public int index of index of char c what is the meaning of this one is it returns index of specified character it returns index of specified character sir this character present yet which index sir very simple let me take string s is equal to durga string s is equal to durga durga line sir system dot out dot print ln s dot index of g i am taking can you please tell at which index place g is available at which index place g is available 0 1 2 3 3 is the answer are you getting if you know the character this character present yet what index if you want to know then we require to go for index of observe that have a look once have a look once here string s is equal to durga like this i'm taking system dot out dot print and yes dot index of g g like this right sir what is the output we are going to get let me execute the code compiles fine the code runs fine what answer we are going to get three itself is the answer sir okay well sir now my next point here take very special care about this one sir suppose if the specified character not available maybe maybe the specified character may not available best example system dot out dot print ln yes dot index of index of z i'm asking z i'm asking yes not index of z z i'm asking can you please tell if the z is available no not available if the z is not available then simply we are going to get minus one remember this one sir if the specified character not available then we are going to get what minus one have a look once yes sir dot index of z i'm taking instead of g i'm taking z sir z is not available here what output we are going to get sir happily the code compiles fine now the answer is minus one now the answer is minus one like this we have okay next uh, i have one small doubt next uh, doubt is if the specified character not available minus one if the character available yet uh, multiple times are you getting maybe a chance uh, if the character same character available multiple times uh, then which index is going to return simple sir it returns index of first occurrence first time when this character is available that index is going to return now have a look once system dot out dot print error. sir here best best example if i can take yes is equal to assume assume string s is equal to b a b b a b like this i'm taking sir how many times a is available two times two times here one time here also one time here one time here also one time first time a is available at which index place zero zero one one th index place now system dot out dot print ln yes dot index of yes dot index of a yes dot index of a a is available a is available at which index place right first index place that's why what is the output we are going to get one even a is available multiple times but index of method is always going to return first occurrence index only remember here let me cross check let me show a sorry b a b a sir here bb ab is there sir 
now s dot index of a i am taking s dot index index of a like this right now observe carefully what is the answer we are going to get sir one one only one index because it is available first time a is available yet one index so that's all so this is what the what is the index of clear right sir what is the index of specified character if the specified character not available minus one if the specified character available multiple times then first occurrence index is going to return next method here listen sir i don't want index of first occurrence i want index of last occurrence are getting last time when this character came last time when this character came like uh, public int public int last index of are getting public int last index of char ch are getting public int last index of char ch remember this one so last time when this character available if you want to know then last index of right now observe now observe this string s is equal to b a here string s is equal to b a okay b a b b a b sir so last time a is available where 0 1 2 3 4 last time a is available at fourth index i want to know last index last index of are getting what the meta name last index of a sir a is available at the fourth index now i have a look once sir what the output you are going to get fourth index right okay sir so this is what is the meaning of what is the what is the purpose of index of last index of now immediately some people may ask the doubt sir i want to know second occurrence index third occurrence index fourth occurrence index sorry api is available for for general common cases only if you are not going to satisfy happy with this api method then you require to write the code explicitly but as of now api is available first occurrence index last occurrence index clear right so if you want third occurrence fourth occurrence you require to write the code explicitly for that right okay that's all next uh, sir there are some more methods are there not required to keep any explanation right what is the next method is to lower case i want to convert total string if anywhere upper case character is there please convert to two lower case okay public public string to lower case to lower case so whatever upper case characters are there in the given string will be converted into lower case now the string contain only lower case alphabet symbols are you getting so for this not required to go for example i hope you know next uh, public public string to upper case public string to upper case can you please convert to upper case the given string if anywhere lower case characters are there automatically will be converted into upper case okay please make sure you should aware these two methods also okay so what is the meaning of index of last index of to lower case to upper case is it clear for all of right hello friends in the last videos we covered very clearly about string class methods still one more method is remaining very important for day to day coding even for exam also let me explain that method with a small case study so that you people can get much clarity so first what is the need of that method i will explain with an example observe that a small a small program i wrote very interesting application just observe that import java.util dot start class test public static void main sir scanner s is equal to new scanner arm system dot in can you please tell what is the purpose of scanner to read the dynamic input from the keyboard if you want to read some input from the end user from the keyboard then we require to use scanner okay system dot out dot print uh, enter your city name boss can you please enter your city name now string uh, name is equal to sc dot next line now whatever end user is going to enter 
the city name i am saving inside a variable name now if a name dot equals of hyderabad if a name dot equals of hyderabad hyderabad like so what is the output hello hello hyderabadi adab are you getting hello hyderabadi adab 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 means uh, namaskar something like uh, so wishing uh, wish in hyderabad style next uh, hello hyderabadi adab else if name dot equals of chennai if the city name is the chennai chennai for them hello madrasi vanakkam hello madrasi vanakkam because it is the chennai tamil terminology vanakkam okay like now else if name dot equals of bangalore system dot out dot print then hello kannadiga namaskara hello kannadiga namaskara like so if the name city name is the bangalore then what is the response what is the output i have to display hello kannadiga namaskar sir else else system dot out dot print then please enter a valid city name okay my program is going to consider only three city names one is hyderabad second one is chennai and the third one is bangalore okay my product uh, is available only these three places that's why right. so i want to cover consider only these three places right so if any other city name we are entering and user entering so immediately he is going to tell please enter a valid city name are you getting right so that's all a simple application just to wish to greet message for the end user like uh, let me run up to this and then there is one small loopholes are there that part i will discuss have a look once observe very carefully sir the same example i am taking import java dot util dot star class test main method sir scanner se is equal to new scanner system dot out dot print enter your city name string name is equal to se dot next line sir name dot equals of hyderabad hello hyderabadi adam next day if the city name is the chennai hello madrasi vanakkam if the city name is the bangalore hello kannadiga namaskar hello kannadiga kannadiga namaskar next uh, please enter your valid else please enter your valid city name that's what this is sir now code wise i don't think you people can able to understand very easily code wise there is no problem at all okay now let me run this code sir observe carefully here what i'm trying to take is let me compile yes the code compiles fine let me run okay i'm trying to enter hyderabad hyderabad yeah perfect hello hyderabadi adab okay i'm trying to enter city name yeah chennai chennai like this hello madrasi vanakkam i'm trying to enter bangalore bangalore okay like this right bangalore there hello kannadiga namaskar if i'm trying to enter okay just uh, mysore if i'm trying to enter mysore immediately please enter a valid city name because my program is going to work only for three city names right okay well now my doubt is there are some problems are there with this code if i can show this code to any real time expert or if i can move this code into the live definitely in the live there are some problems you are going to get what problems are there there are two issues the developer the programmer ignored ignored the bigger mistakes for the programmer point of view developer point of view right sir what mistakes are there just you people should be aware can you please guess yes friends are you seeing any mistakes in this code ha huh. this is the code my program requirement i require to cover only three city names no problem at all don't tell sir other city names you didn't cover it is not my program requirement only three city names in this there are some small mistakes are there sir logical mistakes not coding mistakes i mean not coding coding mistakes if coding mistakes are there then the program won't work problem number 1 problem number 1 who is the responsible to enter city name who is the responsible to enter city name and the user end user don't know whether he may he may enter city name either in upper case or lower case or mixer case but your program always consider lower case letters only sir you compare only lower case are getting you compare only lower case lower case city names only if the end user 
entered only lower case city name then only these things are going to work otherwise by mistake bangalore b capital or hyderabad h capital are full in 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 upper case again it then sir this program is not going to recognize so your program is always expecting case sensitive string from the end user by mistake and user entered upper case letter then your program is not going to work let me show this one let me let me show this here observe that same application same application now i'm taking now i'm taking here enter city name enter city name i'm trying to give h capital are getting hyderabad h capital immediately it's going to tell please enter the valid city name so your application is not going to consider this this city name because in our application our entered city name is hyderabad right sir similarly if you entered if you entered chennai chennai okay c capital i'm taking sorry please enter the valid city name it is our application unable to recognize if i entered bangalore if i entered bangalore bangalore like only in upper case sorry it is not going to recognize our city name so the problem is our application is always expecting only lower case city name from the end user which is uh, never be good program in practice because end user is not a software engineer end user is not a software engineer end user don't know the difference between upper case and lower case that's why he may use lower case he may use upper case he may use both the mixed case also that's why in any case he is going to provide yes our program should accept what is the way what is the solution is yes, i will suggest the two solutions for you solution 1 equals method can you please replace with the equals ignore case sir in the last videos i covered right equals method is there equals ignore case method is there so if you replace equals method with equals ignore case method then the problem by default will be solved correct right okay just observe if it is the case if it is the case how many places i have to replace how many places are required to replace here one equals second equals third equals right so instead of that anyway i will have some solution you hard coded only lower case only lower case letter only lower case right so what i will do is if end user entered city name i will convert into lower case and then i'm comparing lower case letters then our problem will be solved so second approach is a very easy because we require to write only one line so sir string name is equal to s c dot next line now i will get the now i will get end user entered city name dot dot to lower case dot to lower case so end user provided city name i am trying to convert into lower case and then in the rest of the program i am always going to compare with the lower case city names only that's why the problem will be solved even end user entered either upper case lower case no problem at all happily the code is going to work clear for all of right what the need of case sensitive now take a bit special care observe that here i am trying to take string name is equal to yes see dot next line dot uh, to lower case to lower case are getting to lower case like this i'm taking sir so string name is equal to yes see dot next line dot to to lower case like this i'm taking sir so let me execute this code execute this code now this one is always going to convert uh, into lower case even end user entered upper case mixer case and so on right now anyway we are comparing only with the lower case city names that's why happily the application is going to work no problem right okay enter city name let me run enter city name now sir i'm trying to enter h y d e r a hyderabad are you getting some are upper case some are lower case no problem hello hyderabad adab it can able to recognize right now enter city name enter city name chennai are you getting enter city name hello madrasi vanakkam like this right so enter city name bangalore okay bangalore b capital i took no problem happily it's going to work sir so one one solution we covered very clearly right so even end user can able to enter either lower case or upper case no problem at all first end user entered word i will convert into lower case 
and then happily I will execute this code. Okay, well, issue number one, solution is also there. But still, another issue is there, sir. What is that other issue? Sir, dangerous point. Take very special care. Very dangerous point. The second, second one is the very dangerous. Still, do you have any problem with this code? Yes, one more issue is there. What is the, what is the problem? Because while coding, being a programmer, you require to aware all these conditions. Don't expect any user is always software engineer. Are you getting? You require to aware, you require to provide full flexibility to the end user. One more flexibility I have to provide to the end user. What is that flexibility? Yes. End the user entered city name, converting into lower case. And then you are trying to compare, is it Hyderabad or is it Chennai or is it Bangalore? Like this, right? Suppose I am the end user. Now listen the problem. Enter, enter your city name. Enter your city name. City name like. Now I have to enter the city name. If I enter city name as yes, Hyderabad, no problem, acceptable. Now Hyderabad city is there, it's going to provide. But the problem is by mistake. There are some end users are there. What they are always going to do, they will enter city name, not directly. First they will keep one space, one or two spaces, one or two spaces. And then they are going to enter city name as yes, Hyderabad. Are you getting one or two spaces and then they are entering as Hyderabad like this. Now our application is going to check two spaces followed by Hyderabad. Is there any city is there or not? Two spaces followed by Hyderabad. City is not there. Immediately please enter a valid city name. Are you addressing the problem right? So by mistake, if the end user entered space at the beginning, sorry, your application can't recognize that city name. If you want, you can observe that. Here, have a look once, sir. I'm taking a small example. Here, let me run this code. Let me run. Sir, Hyderabad. Directly, I'm, I'm trying to enter. Valid, valid. Hello, Hyderabad. Like. Sir, by mistake, by mistake, one space, one space, space, under then Hyderabad I'm taking. Under then Hyderabad I'm taking. One space, under then Hyderabad. Can you please observe? Please enter your valid city name. Are By mistake, end user entered one space, one space at the beginning. Sir, either problem, either problem. Sir, not only, not only at the beginning, sir, even at the end also. Suppose end user entered, end user entered. City name Hyderabad, Hyderabad, under then one or two spaces at the end. One or two spaces at the end. Still, is it a problem or not? Yes, because Hyderabad followed by two spaces, either in a city is there or not. No such a type of city. That's why please enter your valid city name like it's going to come. So, it is a space issue, yeah, issue is going to come, sir. Observe carefully. Now, at the end, at the end, I want to take, sir, Hyderabad, Hyderabad, under there, space, space, space. Three spaces I am taking, sir. Even whether one space or two space or three spaces, no problem. Output is always, please enter a valid city name. Are you getting? A bit dangerous case. Dangerous case, you have to take care. Sir, now in this scenario, can I blame end user or can I blame programmer? Which one? Which one is the correct? Can I blame end user or can I blame programmer? You should not blame end user. I told right, you can't expect end user should be software engineer. He don't know what is the importance of space. He don't know what is the importance of lower case and upper case. You have to take care everything being a programmer. It is our mistake only. That's why what I want to take is, sir, before comparing, before comparing with the city names, if any spaces entered by end user, either at the beginning or at the end, if you remove those spaces, if you remove those spaces, then the problem by default will be solved. Correct, right? Sir, how to remove spaces present yet beginning of the string, end of the string? Beginning of the string, end of the string. If any blank spaces are there, remove those blank spaces. Only content I have to compare. If you want to remove those blank spaces, we require to go for what is the method is trim. Trim is the method. Are you getting what is the method name? 
trim trim is the method sir observe public public string public string trim trim is the method remember this one sir sir trimming have you remembered that trim trim we are going to do trim means cut 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 extra things can you please cut trimming right same trimming here any blank spaces present yet beginning of the string end of the string can you please remove can you please remove that is the purpose of trim method right beautiful method the most commonly used method in real time compulsory you people should be aware sir now here have you observed hyderabad hyderabad if any spaces are there at the beginning or at the end will be removed will be removed only content will be considered that is the purpose of trim method if i use a trim method in this application that issue also by default will be solved where i require to use very simple sc dot next line city name we are going to get and the user entered city name dot to lower case dot to lower case converting into lower case so case is not going to be important dot dot <laughs> observe to lower case dot trim dot trim trim like this right dot trim if any spaces are there present again beginning of the string end of the string will be removed so end user you can enter any number of spaces no problem my program can able to handle like that you have to convey observe carefully sir here now have a look once here just this line is the very very important line this line is the very important line string name se dot next line dot to lower case dot to lower case of trim dot to lower case of trim trim like this we have to take now observe sir here here enter city name enter city name space 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 and then hyderabad okay space 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 no problem at all any number of spaces you can use hello hyderabadi adab hello hyderabadi adab like this right now here enter city name space 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 bangalore followed by bangalore under then bangalore space 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 any number of spaces you can take at either at the beginning or at the end then happily those spaces by default will be removed how beautiful concept it is that is the purpose of trim method very important for the exam very important for day to day coding what is the method sir trim method trim method like this right so here take a bit very special care what is the purpose of trim method to remove blank spaces present again beginning of the string present again end of the string all blank spaces present at beginning present at the end by default will be removed now i have one another small doubt another small doubt take very special care sir sir here i am taking string s is equal to sir this bit this bit that the max possibility to ask in the exam take special care sir here i am taking durga durga and then one space and then one space soft like this i am taking sir durga and then one space and then soft so at the beginning i am not taking space at the end i am not taking space observe carefully right now system dot out dot print ln s dot trim s dot trim trim dot length s dot trim dot length after trimming what is the length anyone can you please tell yes friends very dangerous point very dangerous point what is the length sir original string length 5 plus 6 7 8 9 10 total 10 characters are there total 10 characters are there including this middle space now after trim dot length it is not as dot length after trim dot length can you please guess what is the answer 8 9 10 ha huh, what is the answer you are going to get that's what you should be aware very important for the exam sake what is the point is trim method can remove blank spaces present yet beginning of the string end of the string but not the 
middle blank spaces are you getting but not the middle blank spaces if any space present inside middle 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 of the string those are things uh, trim method is not going to remove okay so yes a dot trim dot length uh, what is the output by default you are going to get same 10 length only because this space is not going to be removed by trim method please make sure you should aware let me execute this code so that you will get confirmation observe that sir here one minute one minute here just i'm taking okay here let me make uh, the changes all these in the same program only like this okay can you please guide sir what is the code i have to take string s is equal to string s is equal to durga soft are getting string s is equal to durga under then space under then soft okay like that now system dot out dot print ln okay system dot out dot print ln out dot print ln s dot length original length original original length of the string sir s dot trim yes dot trim dot length so in both cases we are going to get we are going to get 10 10 only because here we are going to get in both cases 10 10 only because here trim method won't remove blank spaces present in the middle of the string now observe that happily the code compiles fine what is the answer we are going to get have you observed right 10 10 very important for the exam sake please make sure you people should aware are you getting right what is the purpose of trim what is the purpose of trim trim method can be used to remove blank spaces present at beginning of the string and the end of the string but not the middle blank spaces that is the last method last important method we require to talk with respect to string concept and beautiful case studies are better to follow clear Sir, in the last video we covered, sir, what is the need of trim method, what are various important methods are there related to the string. Clear for all of you, right? The next important concept, very important loophole is there related to immutability. Take a bit special care, sir. Here I am taking string S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Take very, very special care. Sir, have you remembered? What is immutability? What is immutability? Already you are the kings in that area. I know that because almost around 10 to 15 videos we covered up to this only on that concept. Sir, what is immutability? Once uh, we create an object, we are not allowed to change its content. If we are trying to perform any changes, with those changes, a new object will be created. Are you getting right? So, once we create string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes. If we are trying to perform any changes, with those changes, a new object will be created. Okay, you know up to that. But for that, some extra masala, spicy, I want to add, observe that. String, S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Now my target is, string s2 is equal to string s2 is equal to s1 da to lower case or otherwise let me take the first method s1 da to upper case to upper case to upper case string s3 is equal to s1 dot s1 dot to lower case to lower case lower case i'm taking string s1 is equal to string of durga string s2 is equal to s1 dot to upper case string s3 is equal to s1 dot to lower case system dot out dot print ln s1 double equal to s2 system dot out dot print ln s1 double equal to s3 i'm taking sir can you please confirm what the output we are going to get Please, the most dangerous point I want to talk. So it's a very helpful to answer the questions in the exam. In the next, I will discuss how to create our own immutable class. There also, this concept must be required. Can you please confirm? What the output we are going to get? If I can take
take like this. Hmm. False, false. True, false. False, true. Or true, true. Like you should have So very simple. Once we create string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes. If you are trying to perform any change with those changes, a new object will be created. This is called immutability, nature of string. Okay, well, let me explain here one more small observation must be required. You should aware that. What is that is? Have a look once memory structure. String S1 is equal to new string of Durga. String S1 is equal to new string, new string of Durga, like this, right? Now, here observe heap area, heap area, SCP area. String S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, here Durga object got created. S1 is the reference variable. Now, for the future purpose, in the SCP area, one object will be placed, internal reference will be maintained by JVM. Now, string S2 is equal to S1 dot to two uppercase. Sir, I am trying to change the content of S1. Two uppercase, two uppercase. Once we create string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object. If you are trying to perform any change, with those changes, a new object will be created. Where that new object will be created? In the heap area. In the last video, somewhere I covered. Because of runtime operation, if any object is required to create, that object will be created only in the heap area. Runtime operation, right? Sir, so now, two uppercase means, two uppercase means, D-U-R-G-A. Okay? S2 is the reference variable. Yes. So, S1 dot two uppercase, because of that, a new object will be created. Sir, a new object will be created. And then, for that, S2 is the reference variable. Well, sir. Now, listen carefully. String S3 is equal to S1 dot two lower case. String S3 is equal to S1 dot two lower case. Now, on S1, I'm calling which method? Two lower case method. Sir, because of two lower case method, is there any change in the content? Please respond. Is there any change in the content? No change in the content. If there is no change in the content, what is the need of creating new object? So, if there is a change in the content, with those changes, a new object will be created, sir. If there is no change in the content, no change in the content, then instead of creating new object, for the existing object only, this reference variable will be assigned. String S3 is pointing to same object only. Sir, this is a small observation what you people should aware. Are you able to understand, right? So, because of our runtime operation, if there is a change in the content, with those changes, a new object will be created. If there is no change in the content, existing object only will be reused. Clear, right? Sir, now, SOP of S1 double equal to S2, S1, S2, both are not pointing to the same object. That's why, False is the answer in the first case. Next, S1 double equal to S3, both are pointing to the same object. That's why true is the answer right. Very simple, straightforward. You can ask only one question. Are you are calling runtime method? Because of that, is there any change in the content? Yes, man, there is a change in the content. Oh, create a new object. Is the reference variable for that new object. No change in the content, existing object only will be reused. This rule is the same whether the current object present in the heap area or present in SAP area. Reuse the same existing object, it may be present in the heap area or present in SAP area. I will go for one more example, then you can get much clarity. First let me execute up to this right. Observe that. Here, can you please guide the, what the answer, what the, what the code, string S1 is equal to new string of, string S1 is equal to new string of Durga, Durga like this I am taking sir. Now, string S2 is equal to S1 the two uppercase, two uppercase like this I do. Next, string S3 is equal to S1 the two lowercase, S1 the two lowercase like this I am taking sir. Now, system dot out dot println, 
S1 double equal to S2, S1 double equal to S3. Yes, what the output we are going to get, if you want you can cross check, cross check, happily the code compiles fine, what the answers are, first one is the false, first one is the false, second one is the true, like this, right. Any doubt? Are you in the position to understand, right? Sir, let me repeat. Once we create string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes. If any person trying to perform the change, if there is a change, with those changes, any object will be created. If there is no change, existing object will be reused. Whether the object present in the heap area, present in SAP area, the rule is always the same. Clear, right? Sir, this is one example. Let me go for one more example, then you can get much clarity about this point, sir. Here, have a look once. Have a look once. Here, see this one, sir. I'm taking string S1 is equal to, string S1 is equal to, okay, new R just Durga I'm taking. String S1 is equal to Durga, Durga like this. String S2 is equal to string s2 is equal to s1 dot to string method s1 dot to string method string s3 is equal to s1 dot to lower case s1 dot to lower case to lower case like string s4 is equal to string s4 is equal to s1 dot to upper case S1 dot to uppercase like this, right? I'm taking now system dot out dot println S1 double equal to S2, S1 double equal to S3, S3, S1 double equal to S4, S1 double equal to S4, like this. I'm taking, sir. That's all. This is the code, whatever we have. Now, my question is very simple. What is the output we are going to get? Hmm. If you wear memory structure, very easily you can able to answer. Nothing will be there, sir. Can you please guide? What is the output we are going to get for this requirement? So if you can able to answer, nothing, you are the king in the immutability concept. I know each and every point related to immutability. Definitely you can get that clarity, I'm sure. Yeah. Can I start? Now observe. Observe carefully, string S1 is equal to Durga, Durga, like this, right? Here, here, I'm taking heap area, SAP area. Now listen carefully, heap area, SAP area. String S1 is equal to Durga. Can you please tell where this Durga required to create? Where this Durga required to create? In SAP area. Sir, now in the SAP area, Durga created. S sub 1 is the reference variable for that. Next. Here, S1 dot to 2 string method. S1 dot to 2 string method. Okay, this is I'm taking. If I can take S1 dot 2 string method, 2 string method, now the point here is, it is already string, string to string conversion. Nothing, no change in the content. There is no change in the content, existing object only will be reused. Okay, whether the, if you are performing some operation on the current object, but because of that operation, no change, then the current object only will be reused. Whether the current object present in the heap area, SCP area, rule is always same. That's why, sir, yes, sir, 2 is also point into the same object. Because of this operation, no change in the content. Okay, well. String S3 is equal to S1 dot two lower case, two lower case. Either any change in the content? No, two lower case. Because of two lower case, better on S1, no change in the content. Because it's already in the lower case, then no change in the content. Existing object will be reused. Oh, S1, S2, S3, all are pointing to SCP object Durga only. Next, uh, string S4 is equal to S1 dot two uppercase, two uppercase. Now, sir, is there any change in the content or not? Yes, there is a change in the content. Next, uh, compulsory new object will be created. 
because of runtime operation if a new object is required to create compulsory that object will be placed only in the heap area but not in sap okay that's why so where durga will be created upper case so yes of four point into this one now very simple s1 double equal to s2 true is the answer s1 double equal to s3 true is the answer s1 double equal to s4 s1 and s4 both are not point in the same object false is the answer getting right true true false itself is the answer sir can i execute this code so that you people can feel more comfortable i'm sure okay let me execute right here string s1 is equal to sir string s1 is equal to just to durga durga like this string s2 is equal to s1 dot two string s1 dot two string like this right next uh, string s3 is equal to s1 dot two lower case string s4 is equal to string s4 s4 is equal to s1 dot two upper case two upper case like same code S1 double equal to S2, S1 double equal to S3, S1 double equal to S4. Are you getting this is the code? I hope whatever I wrote on the board, same code only, right? Now, let me execute the output I'm expecting, true, true, false. Okay, true, true, false. Perfectly correct. So, the important conclusion, what you people should be aware, once we create an object, once we create a string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if we are trying to perform any changes if there is a change in the content with those changes a new object will be created if there is no change in the content existing object only will be reused whether the existing object present in the heap area present in scp area rule is always the same clear right so two examples i covered so that you people can get much clarity about this terminology right clear last video we covered very clearly what is immutability what are various important loopholes related to immutability right now the next concept most valuable very important for the interview room especially okay interview interview room especially right what is the how to create our own immutable class is it possible to create our own immutable class or not yes why not we can able to do that how you can create our own immutable class can you explain with an example very important point sir first before creating our own immutable class first what you got what is immutability what is the what is the meaning of immutability can you please tell once uh, we create object we are not allowed to change the content if any person to change the content if there is a change to those changes a new object will be created if there is no change in the content if there is no change in the content existing object will be reused are you able to get right let me repeat again once we create our object no one is allowed to change its content if any person trying to change the content with those changes a new object will be created if there is no change in the content existing object will be reused clear right sir now let me go for next a small example how to create our own immutable class here very very simple sir here i am taking class class test class test here my target is observe observe carefully here i am taking one instance variable private int i one instance variable i am taking private int i okay now sir here constructor this is the constructor this dot i is equal to i constructor i am taking sir next uh, public public okay here i'm taking modify modify method i'm taking int i okay return type of modify method is the test return type return type of this modify modify method is the is the test sir now 
legend very carefully right what's my target is this a tester should be immutable class this a tester should be immutable class i want to i want to do like that what is the way sir very simple if i'm creating test object i want to create one test a test object right now observe test t1 is equal to new test of 10 observe very carefully sir test t1 is equal to new test of 10 so means uh, a test object got created t1 is the reference variable where i value will become 10 because test class contain one instance variable i this rat i is equal to i okay that's why so test t1 is equal to new test means uh, sir here object got created once uh, we create test object we are not allowed to perform any changes in this object if any person trying to perform changes if there is a change in the content if there is a change in the content with those changes any object is required to create if there is no change in the content existing object should be reused remember this one this is nothing but what immutability okay now test t2 is equal to t1 dot modify of 100 i'm taking test t2 is equal to t1 dot modify of 100 can you please modify t1 with the 100 value means uh, can you please change i value as 100 100 can you tell in this case is there any change in the content or not yes 10 should become 100 you are modifying if there is a change in the content compulsory a new object will be created okay you can't perform any changes in this object okay it's a, it's a, it's my requirement right how you can write the code i will explain next uh, test t3 is equal to t1 dot modify of 10 i'm taking t1 dot modify of 10 10 i'm taking can you please tell what the value what the value 10 sir t1 dot modify with the 10 already t1 i value the 10 only so because of this modification no change in the content if there is no change in the content existing object only should be reused remember this one existing object only should be reused if you can implement the modify method like that then the test class will become immutable clear right now have a look once sir what i have to take so t1 dot modify of 100 t1 dot modify of 10 how you can able to write the code very simple first condition i will check if if current object dot i current object current object dot i means t1 t1 i value t1 i value is a double equal to this i value or not this i value means whatever argument you are passing sir if the current object i value and you are provided i value both are same if both are same no change in the content if there is no change in the content what is the need of creating new object you are not required to create new object can you please return return current object only can you please return this this means what can you please return current object only okay like sir now test t3 is equal to t1 dot modify of 10 so t1 is the current object current object i value what is the current object i value 10 under your provided value 10 10 sir both are same or not both are same return this so in this case return this means t1 will be returned so t1 for the t1 only t3 reference variable also will be assigned regarding for t1 only t3 reference variable will be assigned so because there is no change in the content no new object will be created existing object only will be reused clear next uh, else sir else sir do you know there is a change in the content both are not same there is a change in the content what you have to do create a new object with this updated i value and return that object so return return sir new test object with the, this i value new test object with the, this i value whatever i value are passing best example t1 dot modify of 100 100 sir 
even I value 10, but here 100, both are not same. Both are not same. Can you please create new object, new object with the I value as this 100 and return that object now T2 with a reference variable for that. Are you getting right? Now, if there is a change in the content, new object created. If there is no change in the content, existing object reuse, right? So once we create test object, you are not allowed to perform any changes in that. If you are trying to perform any changes, if there is a change in the content, new object will be returned. If there is no change in the content, existing object will be reused. Are you getting this in mathematic mutable or not? Yes. So now system.out.println t1 double equal to t2. System dot out dot print ln t1 double equal to t3 t1 double equal to t2 both are point into different object that's why false is the answer t1 double equal to t3 both are point into the same that's why true is the answer getting right so that's all can you please tell because of which method now this test class will become immutable because of this is a modify method. Are you getting? Because of this modify method, test class will become what? Immutable. Immutable, right? Remember this one. Because of this modify, test class will become immutable. In string class, every method is implemented in this style. Okay? So just uh, either any change in the content. Yes, boss. Yes. Create a new object and return. If there is no change in the content, return existing object. Like that, every method present inside string class is implemented like this. That's why string class is immutable. Remember this one. Next, because of this method, it became immutable, right? No one is allowed to change its content. That's why declare the class as final. Final. So that no one is allowed to override. No one is allowed to change its content. That's why all immutable classes are declared as final. String is final class. All wrapper classes also final because they are immutable. No one is allowed to change its content. That's why right. So now let me execute this code. Observe that. Here. Same terminology, same final class test private int i test this dot i. Next time after that modify, how this modify method is implemented? Based on that only immutability is there. If this dot i double equal to i, return this, else return new test of i. Okay? Sir, so public static void bin. Sir, so this is test t1 is equal to new test. Test t1 dot modify of 100, t1 dot modify of 10. Now, let me execute this code here. See this one, the code compiles fine. Next, uh, what is the output by default we are going to get, sir? True. If false followed by true, itself is the answer. So, maybe a chance to ask for the interview room especially. Especially for the interview room. Sir, what is the need? Uh, is it possible to create our own immutable class or not? What answer you can tell? Yes, possible to create our own immutable class. Can you explain with an example? With an example? Yes, take this one, sir. Once we create test class object, we are not allowed to change content. If you are trying to perform any changes with those changes, a new test object will be created in the existing object. You can't perform any changes. That's why test class will become immutable. Clear? Any doubt? In the last video, we covered very clearly how to create our own immutable class. Sir, now there is one small misunderstanding is there between final and immutability. So, both are same, both are not same. I want to explain in detail. In the entire room, maybe a chance to ask, what is the difference between string and string buffer? String is immutable, string buffer is mutable. Okay, well. So, how we can make a string buffer as immutable? I want to make string buffer object as immutable. How I can make non-changeable, right? So, very simple. By declaring a reference variable as the final. By declaring a reference variable as the final. So, we can make a string buffer as immutable. Like some people are going to feel, no. No such type of terminology. Final is the different 
immutability is the different both are not same by declaring a reference variable as final we won't get immutability nature because final is the different immutability concept is the different immutability related to object final related to reference variable sir what it means let me go for example here i am taking a simple example sir class test class test public static void main method i am taking string array args very very important take special care here i am taking string buffer string buffer s b is equal to new string buffer string buffer s b is equal to new string buffer of durga string buffer s b is equal to new string buffer of durga durga like this right now my target is here um, i want to make uh, this object as uh, immutable sir s b is pointing to durga s b is pointing to durga durga like i want to make this one as immutable that's why how i can make oh simple declare declare this reference variable as the final some people are going to feel okay if i declare this reference variable as the final so is this object will become immutable no no so by declaring a reference variable as the final we won't get immutability it is not immutability concept where is the proof for that how you can conclude you are not going to get immutable immutable means immutable means what non changeable you can't change the content of this object now observe that sb sb dot append of software i'm taking sb dot append of software system dot out dot println of sb system dot out dot println sb now observe this if really it is immutable you can't change the content you can't change the content okay but still in the software will be added software will be added and the sop of sb means uh, durga software you are going to get basic string buffer behavior only it is not immutable behavior let me show this one have a look once uh, sir here i am taking a small a small example here just observe that carefully same same example right sir i want to take class test i am taking class test can you please tell what is the code i took final string buffer string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer final string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga durga like this i am taking sir sp dot append a software sp dot append of software software like system dot out dot print ln of sp i am taking regarding final string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga sp dot append of software sop of sp sp now have a look once happily the code compiles fine but the answer we are going to get durga software means uh, even even the reference variable is the final still in this uh, string buffer object we are allowed to change the content means that by declaring reference variable as the final we are not going to get immutability in nature final is the different immutability is the different then immediately you may ask if it is the case what is the significance of this final what is the use of this final very simple sir if your reference variable declared as the final then you can't reassign that reference variable to any new object okay you can't reassign we can prevent reassigning this reference variable for the new object it doesn't mean in the corresponding object you can't perform any changes in the corresponding object happily you can perform changes but you can't reassign this reference variable to new object sir where is the proof let me show here have a look once sir i am taking sb sb is equal to now i am trying to reassign this reference variable new new string buffer new string buffer of ravi of ravi ravi like this i am taking sir then immediately compile time error we are going to get what the reason is yes hey, sb is the final sb is the final how you can perform reassignment cannot assign a value to final variable sb cannot assign a value to final variable sb like a compatible error you are going to get let me show this one 
have a look once have a look here s of b is equal to new string buffer s b is equal to new string buffer of ravi like this i'm taking s b is equal to new string buffer of ravi ravi like this right now have a look once error cannot assign a value to final variable sb this is the compatible method we are going to get so terminology is a very clear for you people right so by declaring a reference variable as a final we want to get immutability concept immutability is the different final is the different sir if you don't want to perform reassignment for the variable then it is the final if you don't want to perform any changes in the object then it is the immutable so final terminology talks about variable but not object immutability concept talks about object but not for the variable remember that sir based on this maybe a chance to ask a small points which of the following are meaningful words which of the following which of the following are meaningful meaningful which of the following are meaningful first one listen very carefully sir first one final final variable final variable final object final object immutable variable immutable variable variable next uh, immutable object immutable object object like so can you please tell final variable final object immutable variable immutable object okay like among these which are meaningful can you please tell final variable yes you can perform reassignment for this variable final object no such type of terminology next immutable variable no no immutable variable is not there sir immutable object yes yes applicable once we create an object you can perform any changes in that object that's why final word applicable for variable immutable word applicable for objects by declaring a reference variable as the final we never going to get immutability sir how i can make string buffer as immutable impossible because internally the methods of string buffer is implemented for mutability purpose but not for immutability if you change the source code or each and every method present inside string buffer then it will become immutable but which is not going to be happen clear are you able to understand sir the next practice bit related to string concept just observe for certification sake here given given public class test public static void main string ta is equal to a string ta is equal to a ta is equal to ta dot concat of b b i am trying to concat b under ta string tb is equal to c ta is equal to ta dot concat of tb ta is equal to a dot concat of tb next ta dot replace c with d c with d next ta is equal to ta dot concat of tb sop of ta what is the answer what is the result if i execute this code what is the result a b c d a c d a b c c a b d a b d c these are the possibilities right okay now can you please observe carefully what is the output we are going to get sir do you know i covered each and every method very clearly even how the concatenation immutability all the things already you aware not required to keep much explanation okay well but make sure string objects are immutable once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes if any person trying to perform change with those changes a new object will be created existing object won't be changed are getting this point you should aware while while solving the questions from string concept okay well sir string ta is equal to a 
सर हियर ये इज देयर टी ए इज द रेफरेंस वेरिएबल टी ए पॉइंट इन टू ए सर टी ए इज इक्वल टू टी ए डाट कंकेट ऑफ बी आर गेटिंग हियर जस्ट टी ए डाट कंकेट ऑफ बी टी ए डाट कंकेट ऑफ बी सर आई एम ट्राइंग टू कंकेट बी टू टी ए सो फॉर दिस नाउ सर ए न्यू ऑब्जेक्ट बाय डिफॉल्ट विल बी क्रिएटेड what is the reference variable ta means now on words this ta point into this object now it is eligible for garbage collection okay after this line ta point into ab now string tb is equal to c sir okay now c tb is pointing to c tb is pointing to c next ta is equal to T A dot concat of T B. Sir, for T A dot concat of T B means uh, we are trying to add this content to A B. With that, a new object will be created. That's why A B C will be created because of this one. And T A pointing to this new object. Now onwards, T A pointing to this new object. Automatically, this object will be able for garbage collection. Okay, well. Next T A dot replace C with D. I am getting T A dot replace. Can you please replace C with D? Now A B C is there. Now C will be replaced with D. A B D. With that, a new object will be created. But this new object we are not assigning to any reference variable. We are not assigning to any reference variable. That's why this object eligible for garbage collection. Still, T A point into A B C only. Now, T A is equal to T A dot concat of T B. Again, T A dot concat of T B. T A A B C concat of T B means C. Now, A B C C a new object got created. And for this, T A is the reference variable. Now onwards, T A point into this one. It is eligible for garbage collection. Are you getting? So S O P of T A means A B C C is the answer. So which one is the correct answer? A B C D A C D A B C C. Okay, this is the correct answer. So please make sure, sir. Every time, if there is a change in the content, new object will be created. Next up for that new object, are you assigning any reference variable? Yes. If you are assigning reference variable, it will be there. If you are not assigning any reference variable, then it is eligible for garbage collection. Any doubt about this one? Can I execute this code? Observe carefully, sir. Here, let me let me go for here. Just observe. String T A T A dot concat. Of B, string T B is equal to C like this. What is the output? We are going to get, sir. Happily, the code compiles fine. Now the answer here A B C C is the answer we are going to get. Okay, that's all. A B C C is the answer we are going to get. Okay, take very special care. So to answer this type of questions, you people should have clear clarity on string A P I methods. string of behavior like you should have clarity clear sir the next practice question for the certification exam related to string observe sir public class test public static void main string array asks sir string str is equal to observe very carefully double quotes open space double quotes space double quotes means uh, what is the length of this string is one one character is there what is that character space character is there observe now str dot trim trim method we are calling automatically so the spaces if any spaces are there present at beginning of the string present at end of the string by default will be removed okay Now system dot out dot print elan str dot equals of mt or not is str mt string or not okay next uh, sir plus dot 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 str dot is mt or not is the string is mt or not yes this is the program what is the result 
ట్రూ ఫాల్స్ ట్రూ ట్రూ ఫాల్స్ ట్రూ ఫాల్స్ ఫాల్స్ అరే కానీ విచ్ వన్ ఇద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ రైట్ సో టు ఆన్సర్ దిస్ వన్ ఓన్లీ టూ పాయింట్స్ యూ పీపుల్ షుడ్ ఎవేర్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఆర్ ఇమ్యూటబుల్ వన్స్ వీ క్రియేట్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ వీ కాన్ ఫర్ఫామ్ ఎనీ చేంజెస్ ఇఫ్ యూఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ఫర్ఫామ్ ఎనీ చేంజెస్ విత్ దో చేంజెస్ ఎన్ యూ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ విల్ బీ క్రియేటెడ్ విల్ బీ క్రియేటెడ్ విచ్ ఈస్ నాథింగ్ బట్ ఇమ్యూటబిలిటీ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ట్రిమ్ మెథడ్ ద పర్పస్ ఆఫ్ ట్రిమ్ ట్రిమ్ మెథడ్ ఈజ్ టు రిమూవ్ బ్లాంక్ స్పేసెస్ ప్రజెంట్ యాడ్ బిగినింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ అండ్ ద ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ యూ నో దీస్ టూ పాయింట్స్ రైట్ నౌ హియర్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ ఎస్టిఆర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు స్పేసెస్ ఆర్ సో ఎస్టిఆర్ ఈజ్ ఆల్వేస్ కోన్ టు పాయింటింగ్ టు స్పేస్ ఓకే హౌ మెనీ క్యారెక్టర్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇన్ దిస్ స్ట్రింగ్ వన్ వన్ క్యారెక్టర్ స్పేస్ ఈజ్ దేర్ సార్ now str dot trim we are calling trim method trim method right if you call trim method now the space will be removed but uh, it is immutable right existing object won't be a new object will be created with the uh, empty no no space here empty zero length zero length a new object will be created but for this new object we are not assigning any reference variable if you are not assigning any reference variable this object eligible for garbage collection sir str still pointing to this one length string only okay well sir sop str dot equals of empty str dot equals of empty string no here it is not empty because it contain one length which is the space character that's why here false is the answer both are not same next str dot is empty can you please tell is it empty string no because it contain one character which is the space character that's why it is also false okay so which one is the correct answer sir false false we have to get so false false we are going to get this d itself is the correct answer right sir let me execute this code have a look once i want to execute i want to execute this code here see same example sir same example here observe very carefully sir here space character is there in the in the string space character is there here the length of this string is not zero it's one it contain one character that character is the space str dot trim now str dot equals of here empty 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 is it empty or not next str dot is empty or not i'm asking now observe a bit very carefully sir what is the answer we are going to get compile is fine the answer is false false itself is the answer remember for the exam trim method very very important you should have clarity immutability trim very hot combination for certification exam you should aware clear sir the next practice question related to string concept observe carefully sir public class test public static void main string array asks string s is equal to durga space soft okay durga space soft int length is equal to s dot trim dot length s dot trim dot length sop of length okay what is the what is the length what is the result sir 10 9 8 compilation fails so which one maybe maybe the correct answer which one here observe carefully can you please guess what the answer trim method we are using to remove the spaces then after removing the space how many characters by default will be there very important even in the theory also i covered this bit okay more or less same bit take very special care string s is equal to durga soft string s is equal to durga durga soft okay like now int length is equal to s dot trim s dot trim trim do you know because of trim method is there any change in the content no because a trim method is always going to remove the blank spaces present at beginning present at end no blank spaces no blank spaces present at begin and end trim method 
never remove the blank spaces present at middle of the string. Remember this one. It's always going to remove the blank spaces present at beginning of the string, end of the string. It never going to remove the blank spaces present at middle, middle. That's why. So because of trim, no change in the content. If no change in the content, existing object will be reused. Now Durga soft. What is the length? What the length is there? How many characters are there? Can you please count? D U R G A. Five plus a space means six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Soft means four. So total, including this space, ten characters are there. Now S O P of length means ten is the answer. Observe that carefully, sir. Trim method never going to remove the blank spaces present yet. Middle, middle of the string. Okay, so ten, nine, eight compilation fails. Then obviously, which one is the correct answer, sir? Ten itself is the correct answer. Y. Yeah. Let me execute this code. Observe carefully, right? Here, if I can take this code, here see string s is equal to Durga space soft and yes dot trim dot length. Can you please print as copy of length? Yes. Observe carefully here. Java C test dot Java Java test. What is the answer we are going to get, sir? Ten ten. So the important conclusion. What you people should be aware about this example. Trim method never going to remove blank spaces present at middle of the string. It is always going to remove blank spaces present at beginning of the string, end of the string. Clear? Sir, the next practice question related to string concept. Observe that, sir. Given public class test, public static void main string array asks string s is equal to hello world. String s is equal to hello world. Yes, sir. Dot trim int i1 is equal to yes, sir. Dot index of okay space space. What is the index of space? SOP of I1. What is this index we are going to get, sir? Here observe yes, sir. Dot trim trim method. So trim method what is going to do? Remove the spaces something like okay. And then sir SOP of I1. What is the index of space after trim? Now SOP of I1. Sir, what is the result? What is the result? An exception is thrown at runtime. Minus one five zero. These are the things, right? Sir, very simple. You should be aware two points. One is purpose of trim method. Second one is index of. Sir, trim method is to remove blank spaces present at beginning of the string, end of the string, but not the middle blank spaces. Are you getting in the string anywhere in the middle blank space is there? It won't be removed, sir. Okay, remember that. Next, the index of. It is going to return index of first occurrence of the specified character. Here, space, space. If the specified character not available, then we will get minus one. You know, right? So now observe string s is equal to hello world. Okay, hello, hello world, hello world. This is my string. Yes, is the reference variable for that. Okay, well. Now yes, a dot trim. Yes, a dot trim trim sir. So, is there any spaces present at beginning and present at end? No, no. Because of trim method, no change in the content. That's why new object won't be created. Okay, well, int i1 is equal to yes dot index of space. Sir, int is where the space is available here. Here, what is the index? Zero, one, two, three, four, and then five. Yet, ah. Fifth place, fifth index place space is available. That's why what is the i1 value five we are going to get, sir. Are you getting? Yet what is the value five five we are going to get, sir. What is the output? C itself is the answer, sir. Let me check this one. 
Because there, why this, this, this question asked for the exam, why, why this type of possibilities are there? Just to trap you. The reason is, most of the people are going to fail. Ha, trim. Premium space by default will be gone. If the space is not there, you are, you are asking about index of space. Space is not there. Minus 1 is the answer we are going to get. No such type of terminology. This space won't be removed because of trim method. You should aware. Let me execute this code. Have a look once. It's the same code or not? Public class test, public static void main, string s is equal to hello world, s dot trim, int, int i1 is equal to s dot index of, sop of i1. Now, let me execute this code, sir. The code compiles fine. What is the answer by default we are going to get? 5 itself is the answer. Remember that? I hope terminology is the very clear for you people, right? Maybe a chance, sir, these type of questions take special care while answering. Sir, the next practice bit related to string concept, observe carefully, sir. Consider the following code, public class test, public static void main string s1 is equal to java observe the content very carefully sir sir j capital a v a is the small java string s1 is equal to java string s2 is equal to new string of java sir it is the lower case java lower case sir line 1 oh we require to insert some code here line 1 sir sop of equal else uh, not equal maybe if a statement we have to place with uh, some condition now if that condition is satisfied equal else not equal like that right next uh, to print equal which code fragment should be inserted at line 1 to print equal which code fragment should be inserted at line 1 sir string s3 is equal to s2 if s1 double equal to s3 if s1 dot equals ignore case of s2 second option string s3 is equal to s2 if s1 dot equals of s3 next if s1 dot 2 lower case double equal to s2 dot 2 lower case or not that's all these are the four options what we have which one is the correct answer getting the point excellent bit you should aware double equal operator equals method equals ignore case method then you can able to un understand you can able to answer very easily but make sure double equal operator is always meant for reference comparison if both the references pointing to the same object then only returns are true next uh, equals method meant for content comparison in string class but the case also must be important if you don't want to consider case if you want to ignore case then we can go for equals ignore case method equals ignore ignore case method we require to take remember that this knowledge must be compulsory you should aware sir okay now what is the what is the first option second option sir in all possible options what will happen i will i will show for you right sir first string s1 is equal to java java sir where the object will be created have you remembered string s1 is equal to java the object will be created in scp because it is the lateral lateral that's why sir java java this one will be created inside scp area next uh, string s2 is equal to new string of java new string of java here this object will be created in heap area because a new operator right s2 is pointing to this one s2 is pointing one is pointing to scp the second one is pointing to sir heap object right okay well so one more just that this java for the future purpose will be will be added to scp also okay ignore no problem now first condition sir string s3 is equal to s2 if s1 double equal to s3 string s3 is equal to s2 so s3 also point into s2 object string s3 is equal to s2 s3 is also point into s2 if s1 double equal to s3 
Sir, S1 and S3, both are not pointing to the same. If both are not pointing to the same, this condition returns false. Okay? If this if condition returns false, else part is going to execute, not equal is going to be printed. But our requirement is what? Equal. That's why option 1 is the invalid. Let me show this one. Have a look once. Here, yet a line 1. Sir, code is the same. Same code only. String S1 is equal to Java. String S2 is equal to new string of Java. Yet a line 1. What I'm taking? What I'm trying to take is yet a line 1. Just these two lines I want to take, sir. String S3 is equal to okay at line one this code i'm taking sir at line one this is the code these two lines i'm taking so if i can take these two lines what output we are going to get s1 double equal to s3 both are not pointing to the same object returns false if it returns false else part is going to execute else part means not equal like this right sir now happily the code compiles fine but the answer by default we are going to get sir simple not equal is the output we are going to get so it is uh, not our requirement okay option one is the very clear for you people right it is not going to print equal it is going to print not equal that's why it is not our required option second one sir legend carefully legend legend a bit carefully second one sir sir here i added because of first option this is now this is the original content s2 point into heap s1 point into java now second option if s1 dot equals ignore case of s2 s1 dot equals ignore case of s2 sir have you remember equals ignore case means content comparison where case is not important s1 dot equals ignore case of s2 yes man returns are true because same content even though case is the different no problem yes this condition returns a true sir if this condition returns a true what is the output sir equal oh our required output is coming man that's why b is the correct answer of course c and d i will explain don't worry have a look once now yet a line one let me take second option sir what is the second option i'm taking if s1 equals dot equals ignore case like this i'm taking S1, S1, dot equals ignore case of S2, S2, like this, right? Sir, what is the output we are going to get, sir? Here, legend, observe carefully, equal is the answer. Because S1 and S2 having the same content, but the case is the different, no problem, because we use our equals ignore case. That's why second option, perfectly, it's going to work. Okay. Why the third and fourth options are invalid? Let me cross check. Even I too don't know. Observe that, sir. String S3 is equal to S2. String S3 is equal to S2. S3 is also pointing to the same. If S1 dot equals of S3, S1 dot equals of S3, S1 dot equals of S3 equals me the worry about case also. Here this case is the different, this case is the different. That's why returns false. If it is going to returns false, then we are going to get what? Not equal. Clear, right? Not equal is the answer we are going to get. That's why. So this option is wrong option. Let me show. Let me show this one, sir. Here, legend. Very carefully. Third option. What I'm trying to take? This is. Yet line one, I have to take these two lines. Sir. These two lines, right? So S1 dot equals of S3. Content comparison. Case is also important, but here case is the difference is there. That's why the answer we are going to get not equal. Remember this one. What the answer we are getting, sir? Not not equal. Okay, like this, right? So that's why. But our requirement is equal. That's why this option is the wrong. Okay, well, sir. What is the fourth option we have to take? Very important. Observe carefully, sir. Why the fourth option is the wrong? Here, S1 dot two lower case. S1 dot to two lower case yes boss there is a change in the content yes one dot two lower case can you please convert into lower case sir on the string if we are calling a method because of that method if there is a change in the content compulsory new object will be created in the heap area that's why this is the new object created in the heap area okay well sir yes two dot to two lower case S2 dot 2 lower case means uh, S2 no change in the content. That's why 
same object will be reused. So, here have you observed S1 dot 2 lower case means this one, S2 dot 2 lower case means this one. So, both are double equal. Double equal means uh, reference comparison. But uh, these are objects are different. Even content is the same. Objects are different. Uh, that's why returns false only. Because of S1.2 lower case, compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area. S2.2 lower case, no new object. This object is the different. This object is the different. Even content is the same. Double equal operator meant for reference comparison. That's why what is the answer we are going to get? False, false is the answer. If it is the false, not equal. That's why let me cross check. Fourth one. Let me let me cross check, sir. Fourth option. This is the option we have. Okay. Now we have a look once. What is the Output by default you are going to get, sir, false, false itself means not equal. Because this condition fails, that's why not equal. So, to print equal, to print equal, which, which of the following, we have to insert at line 1, means uh, this is the code B, this is the code we require to take care. Everyone can aware, a bit dangerous man, take special care to understand this uh, terminology. Okay, well. In the last videos, we covered very clear discussion, almost post-mortem about string concept. Have you remembered, right? Sir, just what is immutability, mutability, even related to string buffer also. Everywhere I compared, almost around 15 to 18 videos, 20 videos around we discussed about string concept, right? Sir, now the next concept, what we have to discuss is string buffer concept. Are you getting what is the word, sir? Can I, can I spell out? String buffer, buffer concept, right? So the first point you people should be aware. Already string is there. Why we should go for string buffer? So where string is not good, there are some situations where we are not required, where we are not recommended to use a string concept. To handle such type of situations, we should go for string buffer. Okay, obviously. But where string concept is not suitable, Okay, well, suppose assume if the content is fixed, content is fixed, what to change frequently? Sir, content is always fixed. It's not going to change frequently at runtime. Happily, you can go for string concept, right? If the content is not fixed, keep on changing. Are you getting? If the content is not fixed, keep on changing. Never recommended to use a string concept. What is the reason is, sir, suppose, assume, assume that I have one string is there, Durga is there, sir. Okay, one string, string S is equal to Durga, like this S is Durga is there. If the content is fixed, it never going to change frequently, happily you can go for string concept, right? But uh, content keep on changing, keep on changing, never recommended to go for string concept. What is the reason for that is, Suppose, if I can take, if I can take, string S is equal to Durga. Durga. Sir, after that, I want to concat software. I want to concat soft, soft like this, right? So, S dot concat, S dot concat of soft I am taking. So, if, if the content, I want to add soft. If you want to add soft, compulsory. A new object by default will be created. Are you getting with this change? Because the reason is, string object is immutable. In the existing object, you are not allowed to change the content. That's why, because of this, a new string object will be created. Okay, like, sir, after that, again, I want to check, yes, not concat, ah, sir, where also, I want to add, sir. Yes, not concat, ah, where? Then automatically, for that, again, uh, a new object will be created, Durga software like. Sir, now solutions also I want to add. Again, a new object by default will be created with the Durga software solutions like. So, means that if the content is not fixed, keep on changing, never recommended to use string concept, right? What is the reason is, for every change, compulsory, a new object will be created. A new object will be created. Suppose if the content you are changing 10 times, 
10 times uh, 10 u objects will be created internally unnecessary performance is going to be down memory problems also will come in the picture that's why when we should go for string concept when we should go for when we should not use string concept you should have clear clarity content is always fixed uh, never going to change at runtime like city name like a college name college name it's not going to be changed throughout project same content only address address of the college throughout the application same address only will be there same city name only will be there so that's why if the content is always fixed uh, never going to change frequently better to go for which concept string concept right if the content keep on changing then never recommended to go for okay string concept to handle this type of requirement, we should go for string buffer. Remember this one. If the content keep on changing, happily, we can go for string buffer. Like, then immediately mask. When compared with the string, what is the advantage we are getting with the string buffer? When compared with this string, what advantage you are going to get? Yes, man. In the case of string, for every change, compulsory new object, new object, new object, but in the case of string buffer, all required changes will be performed in existing object only. Suppose, assume it is a string buffer object. Assume it is a string buffer object, Durga. Sir, later I want to append a soft. So, for that, a new object is not required to create in the existing object only. Soft will be added. Later, I want to add where, software, okay, in the existing object only. Sir, later I want to add solutions in the existing object only, we can write. So, all required changes will be performed in the existing object only. That is the biggest advantage of string buffer concept. You put the string buffer, how many objects are going to be created? Even you are performing 10 times a change, only one object will be created because all required changes will be performed in the existing object only. Clear, right? But if it is a string buffer, but if it is a string buffer, if it is a string concept, for every small change also, new object, new object, new object, memory waste, performance is going to be down. That's why even string concept is the too good, but certain area, string concept is not good. Where, sir, if the content keep on changing, never recommended to go for string concept, to handle this requirement, we should go for string buffer. Everyone can able to understand? Can you please tell in a single word, what is the biggest advantage of string buffer when compared with a string? All required changes will be performed in existing object only. Regarding all required changes will be performed in existing object only. For every small change, new object is not going to be created. So, for such a type of requirements, we should go for string buffer concept. Any doubt? Clear? When we should go for string? When we should go for string buffer? Last video we covered, when we should go for string buffer, already string concept is there. Now I have to explain what are various important constructors are there in string buffer. Observe that. Sir, important constructors of string buffer. But uh, before discussion of these constructors, there is one small point I have to discuss. What is that is very important, sir. If I can take string S is equal to Durga or new string of Durga, I am taking, sir. No issue, either literal style or even with the new operator, yes, no issue. Sir, Durga, string S is equal to new string of Durga. Now we are creating what? String object. Yes. What is the content? What is the content? Durga is the content. Now, I want to create string buffer object. String buffer object for the same content. String buffer SB. String buffer SB is equal to new string buffer. String buffer SB is equal to new string buffer of Durga, like this I am taking. String buffer SB is equal to new string buffer of Durga, like this, right? Now, here if you observe, S sub B is the reference variable for the Durga. Okay, well. There is one small point you have to highlight. You require to understand this point, sir. Sir, once we create string object, 
ಈ ಥರ ನೀ ಚಾನ್ಸ ಟು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ನೋ ನೋ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯೂಟಬಲ್ ಅರೆ ಗೆ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಮ್ಯೂಟಬಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ನೌ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ದ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ದೇನ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಸರ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೈವ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಯಾರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಅರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೈ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫೈನಲ್ ಅರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಲೆಂತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಯು ಕಾಂಟ್ ಯಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಸಚ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಟರ್ಮಿನಾಲಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಲೆಂತ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ನೆವರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಸೈಜ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬಫಾರ್ ದಿತ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಎಸ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸರ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ನೌ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಯಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯಾರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬಫಾರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯಾಡ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಡ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ನೋಡಿ ಸರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಬಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಎಬಲ್ ಟು ಎಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಅ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಅರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಲೆಂತ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಬಾಪರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಸರ್ ಎಜೋಮ್ ಎಜೋಮ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಎಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಎಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಎಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ಸರ್ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಅವ್ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಚೈರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೀಕೆಂಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಸರ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಬಫಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕೆಪ್ಯಾಸಿಟಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಲೆಂತ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸರ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ಅಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ಕೆನ್ ಅಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ರೂಮ್ ಕೆನ್ ಅಕಾಮಡೇಟ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್
one such string of buffer is full, full of its capacity, a new string of buffer object will be created. A new string of buffer object will be created with bigger capacity. All these 16 characters will be copied. Plus, this 17th character will be placed, will be placed under this S of B point into this object. Are you getting? Now, automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection. But this total thing is going to be happen internally. We are not required to worry. Are you getting? But uh, so for the for the existing, so you can able to add, you can able to accommodate. But internally, a new object will be created with a bigger capacity. This total is going to be happen internally. Now my question is, take very special care. What is the capacity of this new of this new okay string of object? Very simple new capacity is equal to new capacity is equal to current capacity current capacity plus one Cur current capacity plus one into two sir current capacity plus one into two into two sir the 16 already completed 16 plus one 17 17 into two its value is nothing but one 34 are you getting 16 plus 1, 17 into 2, its value is 34. Everyone can able to understand? Observe very carefully, sir. Now, once 16 completed, what is the next capacity? 34. Assume 34 also completed. 34 also completed. Now, a bigger string buffer object will be created. What is the capacity of this one, sir? So, very simple. Current capacity plus 1 into 2. Current capacity 34 plus 1 into 2 means 70 is the next capacity. So, at the beginning 16 capacity, next 34 capacity, next 70 capacity. Sir, these are internal things at memory level, what will happen. But anyway, I will show all these things with, with respect to the program. Don't worry, sir. Code wise, I will, I will execute and I will show these capacities also, right? Sir, so now just uh, let me show with a small example so that we can we can able to understand a bit clearly like you people may feel. Here, see this one. See, observe carefully, right? I want to create an empty string of buffer object. Are you getting? I'm creating an empty string of buffer object. String of buffer S B is equal to new string of buffer. That's all I created an empty string buffer object. Now I will ask, hey, what is the capacity of this string buffer? What is the default initial capacity? Respond man, why you are silent? What is the default initial capacity? Default initial capacity is 16. Default initial capacity is 16. Now, system.out.println sb.capacity. Are you getting sb? dot the capacity then what is the default initial capacity 16 practical proof internally what is the default initial capacity if i execute this code 16 is the answer we are going to get clear right do you want me execute observe carefully here here observe that a bit carefully sir string of buffer sp is equal to new string of buffer System dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity. Okay. Now let me execute this code, sir. The code compiles fine. The code compiles fine. And uh, what is the output we are going to get, sir? Do you know? 16. 16 itself is the answer. Are you getting what the answer we are going to get? 16 itself is the answer. So the important conclusion. What is the default initial capacity for the single buffer? 16. Clear? Now, let me add 16 characters, okay, sb, sb, dot append, sb, dot append, append a, append a, a, b, c, d, e, f, g, i, j, k, l, m, n, o, p, <laughs> are you getting? So, total how many characters are there? Can you please count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Regarding total, 16 characters I added, sir. Okay, well, so after adding 16 characters, what is the capacity? What is the capacity? 
system dot out dot print and then sb dot capacity sb dot capacity after adding 16 characters what the capacity is are so very simple the capacity here still 16 only because the reason is when the new string buffer object will be created whenever we are trying to add 17th character but up to 16 16 only sir it can able to accumulate 16 characters no problem at all now what is the capacity 16 only okay well sir now let me add let me add 17th character regarding sb dot append r uh, here q i'm taking sir so up to p 16 character now i'm trying to add 17th character whenever string buffer reaches its max capacity a bigger string buffer object will be created internally with the what capacity sir current capacity plus one into two current capacity plus one into two now system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity sb dot capacity if i can take like this what is the answer sir 16 plus 1 into 2 its value is 34 remember that its value is 34 sir where is the proof can you please execute this code like you may ask observe carefully right here sir let me add let me add some characters sp dot append of a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p okay total 16 characters i added are you getting 16 16 characters i added right after adding 16 characters what is the capacity what is the capacity now have you observed right still 16 only still 16 only okay now let me add the 17th character are you getting so if i'm trying to add 17th character sir default initial capacity full full a new string of object will be created with the new capacity current capacity plus one into 16 plus one into two means 34 now observe what the answer we are going to get okay here happily the code compiles fine now the capacity will become 34 are you getting right sir any doubt any doubt up to this now how many characters it can able to accommodate sir 34 characters it can able to accommodate now okay now let me add 34 characters let me add 34 already 17 is there 17 is there now let me add let me add okay another 17 okay another 17 17 17 plus 17 what is about total 34 characters 17 plus 17 total 34 34 right sir 34 what is the capacity so up to 34 up to 34 it has capacity right that's why no problem until 34 it can able to accommodate right what is the answer what is the answer here observe carefully observe carefully still 34 only still 34 only okay let me add the 35th character 35th character so 34 max capacity already completed still you are trying to add 35th character what will happen sir 34 current capacity plus 1 into 2 into 2 34 plus 1 35 35 into 2 means uh, 70 capacity this is the next level capacity right now let me cross check here what i'm trying to take is okay happily the code compiles fine now it will become 70 are you getting now it will become 70 this is what uh, you people should be aware how the growable nature is coming for the string buffer because of internal this story clear right what is the default initial capacity for string buffer respond what is the default initial capacity for string buffer 16 if a string buffer reaches its max capacity a bigger string buffer object is going to be created with what capacity current capacity plus one into two is the formula you people should aware clearly sir i hope practical proof also i covered 
do you know i thought that in my regular classes unnecessary this much internal things i'm explaining like that i felt unnecessary student time i'm i'm wasting like i have some feeling one fine day one student came sir today i attended interview in the interview room interview person asked what is the default initial capacity for string buffer so once a string buffer reaches its max capacity internally what will happen can you please explain then immediately this person already aware he explained he left and right to the interview person interview person felt very happy so sometimes in the interview room you require to talk about these internal things also that's why you people should have clear clarity about this terminology so first constructor is the clear for all of you right well string buffer the first constructor is the very clear right so string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of default initial capacity 16 what is the incremental capacity 16 will become 34 34 will become 70 like that i covered very clearly right sir sometimes my requirement is i know i know thousand characters i want to add in this string buffer thousand character i want to add then first create 16 under then 34 under then 70 under then 142 under then 286 okay like uh, never be recommended unnecessary performance is going to be down keep on create 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 new object performance is going to be down memory problem will be there why don't you create a bigger string buffer object at the beginning only regarding you know thousand characters we are going to add then obviously create a bigger string buffer object at the beginning only so we have such a type of flexibility also what is that is string buffer string buffer buffer s sub b is equal to new string buffer of string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of int int initial capacity int initial capacity sir how much capacity you required how much capacity you required thousand capacity i required specify then a bigger string of object will be created at the beginning only so like a thousand sir let me show this one have a look once i want to create i want to create string of buffer with the thousand capacity so if i'm not mentioning here any any capacity what the default capacity please respond what the default capacity 16 16 okay let me compile let me compile yes what the answer we are getting 16 is the answer sir sir i want thousand capacity i want thousand capacity now now what is the capacity a bigger string buffer object got created with how much capacity sir thousand that's why if i can ask sp dot capacity thousand by default we are going to get observe carefully here see now what the answer we are going to get sir sir thousand is it clear for all of you right so based on our requirement we can create bigger string buffer object at the beginning only if you want to add more number of characters okay well sir now what is the next thing we have to discuss sir once a thousand completed once a thousand completed whenever we are trying to add 1001th character then a bigger string buffer object will be created with the current capacity plus 1 into 2 the formula is always same so up to 1000 characters rule happily you can add so once the 1000 characters completed then only the formula will come in the picture okay well sir next the third one okay take very special care a bit dangerous thing a bit a dangerous constructor observe that have you remembered for the given string buffer i want to create an equivalent string object in the string class constructors i covered string s is equal to new string of string buffer for the given string i want to create an equivalent string buffer sir this is about my requirement for the given string string can you please create an equivalent string buffer how you can string buffer string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer sp is equal to 
new string buffer new string buffer of new string buffer of sir string yes are you getting string yes sir now for the given string an equivalent string buffer will be created are you getting for the given string an equivalent string buffer will be created but here one small twist is there what is that twist is you have to identify what is that one is observe that observe very carefully sir string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga valid or not valid for the given string i'm creating an equivalent string buffer object okay now system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity sb dot capacity for the answer ha are you responding man for the answer sb dot capacity what the capacity of this string buffer hmm 5 is the capacity r 16 is the capacity r 16 into 5 80 is the capacity r 16 plus 5 21 is the capacity <laughs> can you please uh, confirm what the answer we are going to get so what is the what is the capacity for this string buffer default initial capacity is 16 now that 16 story is applicable in this constructor or not yes i'm sure among these four options definitely two options we can able to remove two two options you can remove if i can ask the same question in my offline sessions huh? everyone is going to tell sir very simple can you please remove these two the answer can be either 5 or 16 either 5 because 5 characters are there durga d u r g a 5 characters are there that is the capacity or otherwise default initial capacity 16 maybe 16 is the capacity like so please make sure if you are creating string buffer for the given string what is the what is the capacity of this string buffer is hmm 5 or 16 yes something are guess something keep keep one answer in your mind 5 or 16 100% pakka the answer is 21 <laughs> are you getting what the answer sir 21 itself is the answer how sir how like very simple observe the formula string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of string s creates an equivalent string buffer for the given string with the capacity is equal to with the capacity is equal to s dot length s dot length what is the length of the string plus 16 this is the capacity s dot length plus 16 this is the formula which is going to be happen internally now sir what is the s dot length s dot length means 5 5 5 plus 16 its value is 21 sir is it real can you please execute and show you people may ask now observe carefully here string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga are you getting durga sp dot capacity okay what is the answer we are going to get observe very carefully sir is it 5 or 16 or 21 or 80 observe what is the answer we are getting 21 itself is the answer i hope everyone can able to see so these are three constructors present inside string buffer class of course one more is there not that much important mainly these constructors are there what the first one default initial capacity 16 next the second one with the specified initial capacity third one third one sir create an equivalent string buffer for the given string with the capacity is equal to s dot length plus 16 these are the things what you people should be aware related to constructors concept clear right all the people are in a position to understand yes
the last videos we covered very clearly constructors of string buffer now let me talk about what are various important methods are there related to string buffer object okay very very simple the first method the first method public public int length are getting what is the first method sir length length means how many characters present in string buffer are you getting it is the length length number of characters already i told next uh, sir public public int capacity are you getting public int capacity capacity sir now capacity means uh, total how many characters string buffer can accommodate total how many how many characters a string buffer can accommodate is the capacity capacity of the string buffer okay well sir now third one sir already this method we discussed uh, in string case same method public public char public char sir char yet public char char yet yet character yet specified index character yet specified index index like this right suppose i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga like this i'm taking system dot out dot print then sb dot sb dot char yet a uh, three three sir in the string class same example we took i hope you remembered sb dot char yet of three yet a third index which character is there are you getting a third index which character is there zero one two three okay three means uh, g is uh, there sir okay well now system dot out dot print then s b dot char yet of 30 s b dot char of 30 30 in the case of string we got string index out of bounds exception have you remember string index out of bounds exception because 30 index not possible here 0 to 4 is the only valid range of indexes total five characters means 0 to 4 now sp dot caret of 30 30 like this right now what it uh, which character locating at 30 index 30 index is not there that's why immediately we are going to get exception can you please tell which exception we are going to get huh string index out of bounds exception or string buffer index out of bounds exception can you please guess what is this concept is it the string concept or string buffer is it string or string buffer string buffer that's why we are going to get string ah uh, can you please tell string buffer index string buffer index out of out of out of bounds exception string buffer index out of bounds exception but make sure there is no such type of exception in java we have only string index out of bounds exception only whether it is the string or string buffer we are always going to get what string index out of bounds exception okay let me show this caret method observe that sir here sb string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga sb dot sb dot char get sb dot caret caret of 3 i am taking sir if i can take sp dot caret of 3 3 what is the answer 3 what is the answer g g itself is the answer sir now sp dot caret of 30 30 i am taking if i can take 30 yes the code compiles fine the code compiles fine what is the answer sir it is the string index out of bounds exception string index out of bounds exception but not the string buffer index out of bounds exception are you getting so there is no string buffer index out of bounds exception just a simply string index out of bounds exception everyone can able to understand right so which methods are there length method capacity method char get method you should aware
sir the next important method related to string buffer observe that here public void the return type of this method is void sir set set char yet set char yet can you please set character yet int index comma char new char char new char like this right what is the meaning of this one whatever character locating at this index can you please replace with this character can you please replace set set char yet can you please replace the character present at specified index with this new character that's about my requirement right okay how you can very simple very simple here string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of java like this i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of java like now sb dot set char yet sb dot set char yet pass can you please share sir get zero index character zero index character with the y with the y y like this can you please replace the character present get zero index zero index means j can you please replace this with the y okay now system dot out dot print ln s b so here java zero at character replace with the y now automatically what is the answer by default you are going to get sir java don't ask what is java sir just i am telling some small example for you have a look once sir here string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of java is there sb dot set the char get of zero can you please replace the character locating at zero index with this of y sop of sb what answer we are going to get sir the code compiles fine very simple the answer is yava itself is the answer we are going to get clear friends any doubt so this is set the char get the method okay next the most commonly used method you people you people should be aware sir append method append method even we use multiple times append method sir append for string buffer append is the most commonly used method public public the return type of string buffer uh, append method is string buffer only public string buffer append append is the method append can you please confirm what is the output for the append method i mean what is the argument for the append method hmm -hmm. what the argument sb dot append of software something like are you getting so string is the argument string is a is the argument like this right observe append method string is the argument now take a bit very special care the append method argument need not be string you can take any type boolean you can take string value you can take int value you can take byte value you can take there are multiple append methods are available okay append append of byte value you can take next uh, int value you can take long value you can take are you getting float value you can take double value you can take so multiple append methods are available okay all these methods if you observe method name is the same but the arguments are different method name is the same but the arguments are different this type of concept is called overloading these methods are called what overloaded methods are you getting overloaded methods remember this one sir now let me go for a small chota example then you can able to understand right but please make sure there are multiple append methods are available for the string buffer all these methods any type of argument you can append for the string buffer acceptable okay here very very simple example let me take sir i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to 
new string buffer. I am taking string buffer SP is equal to new string buffer. I am not taking anything. Sir, SB dot, SB dot, append of, append of, pi, pi value is, I am taking, sir, pi value is. Okay. What is this one? What the argument I am passing? String argument. So, append method, string argument is allowed. Next, SB dot append of, append of, 3.14 I'm taking. Now which argument I'm passing? Double argument. 3.14 is what type? Double type. Double type, right? Now SB dot append of pi value is 3.14. SB dot append a it is uh, it is exactly it is exactly exactly again string argument. SP dot append a true true I'm taking sir true means boolean value are you getting so method is the same sometimes string argument sometimes double argument sometimes string argument sometimes boolean argument now system dot out dot print error of SB are you getting SOP of SP what is the answer sir pi value is 3.14 it is exactly true. This is the answer by default we are going to get. So don't feel append is always going to applicable only for string argument. For double argument, boolean argument, int values, like for any type of argument, happily you are allowed to take for append method. Let me execute this code. Have a look once. Here I am taking, sir, string buffer, sb is equal to like this. Sir, sb dot append of sp dot append of pi value is pi value is is like i'm taking pi value is sir here sp sp dot append of sp dot append of sir 3 point pi value is 3.14 3.14 sir it is it is exactly it is exactly next and after that it is exactly true true i'm taking sir it's exactly true, like Arjara that. So, sometimes we are adding string argument, sometimes we are adding double argument, sometimes a string argument, sometimes a double argument, right? SOP of SB. But the answer by default we are going to get, just have a look once. Observe carefully, sir. Now, pi value is 3.14. It is exactly true, like this it's going to provide. Means that, sir, any type of argument, Happily, we are allowed to take for the string of buffer. Any doubt? Are you in a position to understand, right? Clear? In the case of append, the data is always going to be at at last position. Every time at last, next, next, next slide. But now my requirement is, boss, I don't want to add my data in the last position. Can you please add the yet specified location? Second index, third index, like I want to specify, then we should go for insert method. Are you getting? Then we should go for what? Insert, insert method, right? Public, public, string, public, string of buffer, public string of buffer, insert, insert of int index, int index, comma, string, yes. Can you please insert this string at this index position? At this index position, like this, right? Do you know? Get the specified index in the middle, maybe in the second index, fourth index onward. I want to add. Then we should require to go for insert is the method. But append is always going to add at last. But I don't want at last. At the beginning, our second index position, third index position, I want to do that. Then we should go for insert method. Okay, right? Sir, for the insert also, you can take, sir, any argument type, need not be string always, need not be string always, int, index, comma, comma, double value, comma, double value, comma, boolean value, are you getting boolean value, next, char value, like, sir, you can, so, insert, method is the same, argument type, Types are different. Instead of string, you can take double. Instead of double, you can take boolean. Care. That's why it is also overloaded methods. 
are getting it's also overloaded methods so multiple overloaded insert methods are there multiple overloaded up and methods are there sir it is exactly same as happen only only different instead of adding content at last it is going to add at our specified position beyond that nothing let me go for a small example here observe that i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to new new string buffer of a b c d e f g h this is about my string buffer content now yes b yes b dot insert yes b dot insert of 2 comma x y z i am taking sir can you please add x y z at a second index place at second index place like so if i print a scope of s b what the answer sir so 0 and 1 index a b a b and then get second index uh, x y z like that second index onwards now the remaining c d e f g h this is the output sir observe that so x y z where it is added sir second index position like this right sir it is the need not be string if you want you can take boolean value if you want you can take int value you can take double value acceptable right let me show this one have a look once here i am taking so string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of abcd efgh sb dot insert of at a second position at second position just i'm trying to add x y z are you getting at a second position i'm trying to add x y z sir sop of sp now have a look once sir the code compiles fine the code compiles fine what is the answer sir have you observed a b x y z and then c d e f g h observe that where x y z added at the second index position onwards this x y z added sir instead of string you can add anything sir boolean value i want to add true true i want to add can you please cross check where true got added okay have you observed right a b here true came in the middle are you getting true came in the middle Suppose instead of true, 10 point, 10 point 10.56 I am taking, sir. Now have a look once. Now have a look once. 10.56 uh, added at a second index position onwards. So insert method is exactly same as, exactly same as append method. But the only difference is, sir, append is always going to add at last. Uh, but the insert is always going to add at our specified position. Clear? Sir, now it's very clear. What is append? What is insert? What is the difference between these two things, right? Sir, now next method. If you can able to insert the data, you can perform delete also. Sir, you can insert. You can delete content also from the string buffer because it's the mutable, right? Happily, you can allow to change the content. That's why delete also possible. If you want to delete data from the string buffer, what is the way? Here, very simple. Public, public string buffer. Public string buffer. Okay. Delete, delete of int begin int begin comma int end are you getting int begin comma int end sir it deletes characters it deletes characters from begin index to it deletes the characters from begin index to end minus one index it deletes the characters from begin index to end minus one index remember this one sir begin index to end minus one index okay like this right so can you let me explain a small example then you can able to understand but make sure not end end minus one index suppose i'm taking string buffer string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of a b c d e f g h are you getting string buffer sp is equal to like sir sb dot sb dot here delete delete of 
yes we dot delete delete ah uh, sir here very very simple i'm taking some 225 yes we dot delete up uh, 225 225 like this i'm taking sir now system dot out dot print ln sp are getting sop of sp what the answer sir 225 means 224 begin to n minus 1 begin to n minus 1 224 Two to four means, sir. Uh, which one, sir? Can you please observe? Two, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. This part by default will be gone. Now, what is the answer we are going to get? A B F G H. Are you getting A B F G H by default we are going to get? So to delete the characters from begin index to end minus one index like this, right? Sir, let me let me cross check this one. Have a look once here. A B C D E F G H S B dot delete two two five two two five. If I delete from two to five two to five means a two two. 5 minus 1 means 4 2 to 4 characters by default will be removed sir by default by default will be deleted remember that that's why sir what is the output we are going to get observe that 2 to 5 character 2 to 4 characters by default will be removed sir a b f g h is the answer we are going to get so everyone can aware what is the purpose of delete delete meant that right okay well sir now next point take very special case sir i want to delete only one character which is locating at the fourth index or which is locating at the fifth index sir normal delete method to delete a group of characters no i don't want to delete can you please delete char get fourth index or delete character get fifth index like what is the way very simple public public string buffer public string buffer delete delete char yet delete char yet have you observed delete character yet int index int index automatically the character locating yet specified index by default will be deleted only that particular character will be deleted right now have a look once have a look once a b c d e f g h like this right yes b dot delete char yet yes b dot delete char yet of 3 i am taking sir 3 3 can you please tell which character is available at third index respond which character is available at third index 0 1 2 3 okay d is there automatically d by default will be removed sir now let me print uh, sop of sb what the answer we are going to get a b c e f g h like this we are going to get sir d by default will be gone observe carefully here have a look once let me execute this code sir public delete char get okay delete char get delete char get sir what is the index i'm taking sir delete char at of 3 3 sir so at the third index means 0 1 2 3 okay d character by default will be deleted d character by default will be deleted now have a look once have a look once what is the answer sir what is the answer we are going to get a b c e f g h d by default will be gone everyone in the position to understand clearly so what is a delete under delete char get okay like sir now next method very important i want to reverse the order i want to reverse the content content like what is the way sir in string we are not having a reverse method but in string buffer reverse method is there public public string buffer reverse method are you getting what is the method name reverse method then the order of characters will be reversed automatically what is the method name reverse method right sir let me go for a small example a small example then you can able to get sir string buffer 
S B is equal to new string of prop Durga. New string of prop Durga. S B dot reverse. S B dot reverse. Reverse like this, right? Now system dot out dot print ln of S B. S O P of S B. Sir, what is the answer, sir? Durga, Durga reverse it, reverse it. Then automatically, sir, Y, G, okay, R, U, D. By default, we are going to get. Sir, only order of characters will be reversed, not character. Sir, A is there. After reversal, then A will become something like this. No. <laughs> characters won't be reversed, sir. Only order will be reversed. Agreed. Like this is the output we are going to get. So, reverse. How to reverse the content? Okay. Have a look once. What is the method? String buffer. SP is equal to new string buffer of Durga. SP done. Reverse. Yes, be dot reverse, reverse like this. I am taking, sir. Now, what the answer we are going to get, sir? Here, very simple, sir. A road. Are you getting? Instead of Durga, now it is reverse, sir. A G R U D. Like this, we are going to get. Clear, right? So this is just the how to delete, how to delete, how to delete a particular character, a group of characters, and how you can able to reverse the content of string buffer. Clear? Yes. Next set of important methods related to this string buffer. Three important methods are there. A bit special care you have to take. What is the first one? Set length. Second method, ensure capacity. Next, trim to size. What is the meaning of these three methods? I will discuss. Observe carefully. First method, sir. Public. Public. Void public void set length what is the method set length of int length we have to specify public void set length of int length we require to specify what it means what is the meaning of this one sir very simple suppose assume i have string buffer is there it contain huge content it contain huge content I don't want all, just I want only first five characters, just I want only first eight characters, something like. So can you please set the length of this string buffer is eight, eight, if any extra characters are there, remove, I don't want. If less number of characters are there, yard the space, yard the space, yes, like, sir, I want exactly eight characters only, eight characters length only for this string buffer, like how you can set length method. Now, string buffer SP is equal to new string buffer of, assume that, sir, Aishwarya, Aishwarya, Abhi, Abhi is there, sir, Aishwarya, Abhi is there. Can you please tell how many characters are there? There are almost around the 40, uh, 8 plus 4. Okay, maybe maybe 12 characters are there. I'm, I'm not sure. Sir, more number of characters are there. But now my requirement is SB dot uh, set length. SB dot set length of 8. Of 8, sir. I want only 8 characters only. If any remaining characters are there, can you please remove? Can you please remove something like uh, how you can? Sir, observe. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, up to Aishwarya. Up to Aishwarya, 8 characters will come. The remaining 4 characters by default will be gone. Now, system dot out dot print ln. Okay? Yes, P. What is the answer we are going to get, sir? Aishwarya, like we are going to get. Regarding if you want to set the length of the string buffer, for the specified length, happily we can go for what? Set length method. Clear? Let me execute this code. Observe carefully. Here I am taking, here I am taking string buffer Aishwarya. Aishwarya Abhi. Like this I am taking, sir. SB dot set length of 8 I am trying to take. Set length of 8. So SOP of SP. So first 8 characters only it is going to be considered. Are you getting first eight characters only? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only first eight characters will be considered. Let me execute this code. 
let me execute this code okay like very simple observe that observe carefully what the answer by default you are getting sir aishwarya like so terminology is very clear for you people right what is the purpose of set length method okay well next uh, one more method is there sir very dangerous very useful method like what is that method yes now observe that public void public void ensure capacity what is the method name ensure ensure capacity of int capacity ensure capacity of int capacity like this right sir what is the meaning of this one ensure capacity of int capacity what it means sir very simple very simple sir suppose assume i created an empty string buffer string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer can you please tell what is the default initial capacity respond what is the default initial capacity the default initial capacity is 16 16 an empty initial an empty string buffer object with the default initial capacity 16 sir okay well 16 like this now the next thing what we are going to sir after creating this i came to know that thousand characters we are going to add are you getting i came to know after already i created but now i realized that thousand characters we are going to add oh okay can you please increase dynamically based on your requirement sir i want to increase up to thousand thousand capacity i want to take that then sb dot ensure capacity are you getting sb dot ensure capacity ensure capacity of thousand are you getting how much capacity i, I ensured sp dot ensure capacity of thousand system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity like this i'm asking so if i can ask sp dot capacity now what is the capacity now it is not 16 it is a thousand remember so based on our requirement if you want to increase capacity dynamically then we require to go for what ensure capacity method any doubt any doubt are you in the position to understand let me execute this code observe carefully right here i'm taking sir string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer like sp dot capacity sp dot capacity capacity like this right sp dot capacity okay sir what is the default initial capacity ah what the default initial capacity 16 you know you know already 16 is the default initial capacity right but now my requirement is sb dot ensure capacity ensure capacity of 1000 sb dot ensure capacity of 1000 now let me check what is the capacity now here see this one what is the capacity capacity now observe at the beginning it is a 16 but now sp dot set ensure capacity are getting what the what the method there is a small mistake is there just observe a bit a bit very carefully am i doing any mistake one minute any any spelling mistake ensure have you observed have you observed ensure capacity ensure capacity sp dot ensure capacity Sp small spelling mistake is there what it is telling ensure are getting there is a small spelling mistake is there i corrected don't worry sir now what is the answer we are going to get sir yes can you please scratch check now it is a thousand are getting but at the beginning it is 16 but after executing this method it is a thousand like this right so what is the purpose of ensure capacity to increase capacity based on our requirement on fly then we can go for what ensure capacity clear right next there is one more method is available sir what the next method is okay very very important method take a bit special care scenario i will explain so that you people can able to understand easily right sir i'm taking sb string buffer sb is equal to string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of 1000 right can you please tell 
what is the capacity of this thing buffer respond man what is the capacity of this thing buffer thousand how many characters you can add thousand characters you can add no problem because i thought the thousand characters we are going to add to this string buffer that's why bigger string buffer object i created right okay well now sb dot append of okay a b c i append appended right now sir sop of sp dot capacity sp dot capacity it is a thousand only it is a thousand because up to thousand characters you can add but you added only three characters thousand characters you can add but only three characters so what is the capacity thousand only thousand only right but now i realize that i want to add i don't want to add no more characters this is enough this is enough no more characters i don't want to add no more character then immediately what you about remaining 997 memory locations waste you took a thousand capacity string buffer you added only three and you won't add any more extra then the remaining 997 memory locations waste to deallocate that memory to deallocate that extra allocated memory what i have to take is sb dot sb dot can you please guess what is the method respond consider up to length only remaining memory allocated memory can you please deallocate sb dot trim trim to size what is the method name trim to size up to these three characters only it is going to consider remaining memory will be deallocated now let me cross check system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity sb dot capacity now what is the capacity sir only three capacity because the remaining 997 memory locations deallocated now capacity is the three length is the three like this right so to improve memory utilization even this type of support is also there in the case of string buffer so what is the next method sir public void void trim trim to size are you getting public void trim to size method extra allocated free memory can you please deallocate extra allocated free memory can you please deallocate then we should require to go for trim to size method any doubt are you in the position to understand clearly right this is what what you people should be aware clearly right let me execute this code observe carefully right here i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to sb is equal to string buffer of 1000 1000 capacity i created sir sb dot append of a b c sb dot append of a b c like sir after adding three characters what is the capacity obviously thousand obviously thousand thousand capacity only okay let me execute let me execute what is the capacity thousand only right now i decided now now i decided i won't add any more characters i won't add any more characters yes be done trim to size trim to size yes be dot trim to size like this right now system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity are getting what is the capacity now trim to size so all extra allocated all extra allocated free memory will be deallocated only three length capacity only it's going to consider remaining memory location will be deallocated then obviously the answer we are going to get only three three capacity only observe that carefully sir here i'm taking now compiles fine the answer we are going to get only three are you getting only three i'm not printing length i'm trying to print capacity only now the capacity will become one three three like this right okay these are very important special methods for the string buffer set length method 
so to consider only specified length extra characters will be removed automatically or if less number of characters are there spaces will be added next ensure capacity to increase capacity on fly this raw number requirement ensure capacity means that trim to size if any waste free memory is there will be deallocated so then we should require to go for trim to size clear right these are various important methods related to string buffer concept clear right sir in the last videos we covered very clearly about string buffer what methods are there what constructors are there it's very clear the behavior of string buffer sir already string buffer is there why we should go for next level string builder okay what is the next string builder builder what is the need of this concept in java very simple there is a problem with the string buffer okay there are some situations where string buffer cannot be used sir what problem what is the problem with the string buffer very simple sir every method present inside string buffer is synchronized remember this every method present inside string buffer is synchronized sir you discussed several methods you never wrote the synchronizer keyword yes i know i didn't write but at last as a single line conclusion to conclude now i'm telling sir every method present inside string buffer is synchronized sir if a method is synchronized at a time how many threads are allowed to operate that method on the given object sir only one thread that's why only one thread so on the string buffer object string buffer object at a time how many threads are allowed to operate only one thread only one thread once a first thread completed then only second thread is going to get in the chance once a second thread completed then only third thread will get the chance the threads are required to execute one by one it increases waiting time of the threads and the performance is going to be down man are you getting so what is the problem with the string buffer every method present inside string buffer is synchronized hence at a time only one thread is allowed to operate on the string buffer object so because of that it increases waiting time of the threads and the creates performance problems to overcome this problem in 1.5 version sun people java people introduced a string builder concept are you getting what is the concept sir in java in 1.5 version sun people java people introduced a string builder concept right okay sir what the advantage that part i will take care don't worry first every method present inside string buffer is synchronized or not let me show sir observe carefully here i'm taking java p command to check profile of a particular class java dot lang dot string buffer i'm taking java dot lang dot string buffer java p java dot lang dot string buffer buffer like this i'm taking sir now observe now observe this one there are multiple methods are available sir have you observed multiple methods are there length method synchronized capacity method synchronized ensure capacity method synchronized trim to size set length care get code point like a uh, offset like a uh, get cares like all these methods have you observed append 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 like a uh, all these methods are synchronized methods only remember that i hope you people are able to see synchronized synchronized here i hope you can you can able to see synchronized here sir synchronized 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 like uh, everywhere you can able to see synchronized so every method present inside string buffer is synchronized at a time only one thread is allowed to operate on the given synchronized uh, string buffer object so mere performance problems and increases waiting time of threads that's why for multi threaded environment string buffer concept cannot be used okay because performance wise it's going to be affected like anything to overcome this problem 
we should go for what string of builder concept which came in 1.5 version clear right then what is the difference between string of buffer and the string of builder do you know just the between string of buffer and string of builder only two differences are there how many differences right only two differences what is the first difference is legend carefully sir actually it is not the complete brand new concept the java people made a small change what is that is sir i have string of buffer dot java file is there <laughs> what is this one can you please observe string of buffer dot java file is there sir dot java file is there do you know what they did is what the java people did is they open string of buffer dot java they open this one string of buffer dot java first change what they did is wherever buffer is there replace with the builder <laughs> are you getting wherever buffer is there replace with the builder replace with the builder wherever synchronized keyword is there okay remove that synchronized keyword wherever synchronized keyword is there remove that synchronized keyword now sir instead of string buffer save string builder dot java are you getting so it is not brand new concept so what did in the string buffer in the string buffer wherever synchronized keyword is there remove that remove that now all the methods will become non synchronized wherever buffer word is there replace with a builder word beyond that nothing so that's why every method present inside string buffer is exactly same as string builder method only all constructors all methods exactly copy paste sir string buffer methods and constructors into string builder that's why for string builder we are not required to discuss any methods we are not required to discuss any constructor whatever constructors we covered in the case of string buffer same applicable for string builder whatever methods we covered append method insert method delete method like whatever methods we covered for the string buffer same methods copy paste in the string builder only one difference what is the difference they are synchronized method but these non synchronized methods in string builder that's why non synchronized version of string buffer is nothing but string builder sir multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously no problem at all if you have such a type of requirement better to go for what string builder sir at a time only one thread is allowed to operate data consistency problem at a time only one thread is allowed to operate then we should require to go for what string buffer concept observe the different non synchronized version string builder synchronized version string buffer but methods constructors everything is always the same like uh, no other difference right clear for lap right that's all string builder concept completed are you getting string builder you spend almost uh, four to five hours on string concept next uh, at least one hour or one and a half hour on string buffer but string builder matter of two minutes matter of two minutes only two changes remove synchronizer keyword replace buffer word with the builder word nothing will be there sir clear now i will explain all differences between string buffer and string builder very important question for the entire room what is the difference between string buffer and string builder you should be in a position to answer very clearly right observe that observe carefully sir most of the methods present inside string buffer are synchronized almost every method almost every method present inside ha huh? string buffer are synchronized are you getting but what you about string builder no method is synchronized string builder is non synchronized version of string buffer that's why no method present inside string builder is a synchronized if you open synchronized string builder dot java you never going to see synchronized keyword first observe that carefully right next uh, sir hen yaz uh, every method is a synchronized uh, at a time how many threads are allowed to operate only one thread only one thread first thread once first thread completed then only second thread once a second thread completed then only third thread that's why thread safety is there for the string buffer object okay at a time only one thread is allowed to operate 
on string buffer object and hence uh, it is a thread safe are you getting at a time only one thread is allowed to operate on string buffer object and uh, hence it is the thread safe remember sir what about this one at a time multiple threads are allowed to operate because methods are not synchronized uh, threads are not required to wait uh, all the threads are allowed to operate simultaneously on the same string buffer object sir at a time multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously to operate on string builder object and uh, hence uh, it is not thread safe thread safety is not there for string buffer but the string builder but thread safety is there for the string buffer clear right okay well sir next uh, threads are required to wait to operate on string buffer object yes obviously threads are required to wait to operate on string buffer object and uh, hence uh, relatively performance is low sir after completing first thread then only second thread after completing second thread then only third thread threads are required to operate sir do you know one by one one by one performance is going to be down because threads are required to wait so until getting the chance performance is relatively performance is low but what about this one threads are not required to wait to operate on string builder object and uh, hence uh, relatively performance is high are you getting and hence uh, relatively performance is high okay well sir next uh, introduced in which version sir string buffer from 1.0 version onward string buffer is there but string builder is the new concept which came in which version sir 1.0 5 version okay it is a newly added concept in the 1.5 but string buffer from beginning onwards it's already there clear for all friend so what is the difference between string and string buffer and string builder the most valuable important question you should be in a position to give left and right to the interview person clear for all of you right last videos we covered very clearly about the string string buffer string builder almost this is the time to combine the things sir here when we should go for string concept string buffer concept string builder concept can you please explain okay string versus string buffer versus string builder right sir very very simple when we should go for string concept just observe if the content is fixed sir content is not going to change if the content is fixed won't change frequently the content is not going to change frequently highly recommended better to go for string concept right so because if the content is always fixed highly recommended to go for string concept so because this same content can be reused multiple times we are not required to create separate new objects obviously performance improvement memory utilization by default will be improved that's why so if the content is fixed won't change frequently then we should go for what okay string concept okay well but uh, my requirement is observe that carefully content is not fixed content is not fixed keep on changing just like a comment 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 uh, tomorrow we can add edit the comment with some more add now we can remove some part of the comment like so it is not fixed keep on changing if the content is not fixed uh, keep on changing but but thread safety is required at a time only one thread is allowed to operate then we require to go for string buffer concept are you getting then we should go for string buffer concept okay when we should go for string buffer if the content is not fixed keep on changing but thread safety is required at a time only one thread is allowed to operate then we should go for string buffer because every method present inside string buffer is always synchronized at a time only one thread is allowed to operate that's why by default string buffer object is always thread safe sir i want thread safety content uh, keep on changing content is not fixed uh, then better to go for string buffer concept right okay well sir when we should go for string builder concept when we should go for string builder very simple sir content is not fixed uh, keep on changing 
content is not fixed up keep on changing but i don't want the thread safety multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously on my object then we require to go for string builder concept are you getting if you don't want the thread safety and the content keep on changing then we require to go for string builder concept can you please tell how many threads are allowed to operate simultaneously how many threads are allowed to operate simultaneously multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously that's why then we should require to go for what string builder concept remember this one sir so if the content is fixed won't change frequently then string is the concept if the content is not fixed keep on changing then we can go for either string buffer or string builder if you want a thread safety string buffer if you don't want thread safety then would be better to go for what string builder clear for all of you now i have one small doubt can you please tell string object is it thread safe or not string object is it thread safe or not string buffer is always thread safe but string builder is not thread safe because multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously what about string object is it thread safe or not the people who don't know thread safety so just as of now assume sir we can't we can't uh, modify multiple people simultaneously okay such a type of nature is called thread safety in multi threading i will explain in detail sir can you please tell string is a thread safe or not respond is it thread safe or not okay string is always thread safe always thread safe the reason for that is once uh, we create a string object once uh, we create a string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in the existing object if any person trying to perform any change with that a new object by default will be created so is it possible to perform any changes in the existing object no no that's why so it is always it is always a thread safe not only string sir all immutable objects in java all wrapper class object tomorrow if you are going to create you were won't test class immutable object sir all immutable objects by default thread safe because no one is allowed to perform modification in the existing object clear right so when we should go for string when we should go for string buffer when we should go for string builder next and after the string and the string buffer objects are thread safe but string builder object is not thread safe clear there is another beautiful concept related to string string buffer string builder method chaining what is the concept name method chain method chaining sir sir for most of the methods present inside string class string buffer string builder the written types are same type only suppose if you consider string builder sir if i consider string builder class do you know string buffer and the string builder all methods are always same all constructors are always same already i covered in the last session sir string builder append method if you consider what is the return type of append method is the string builder only next the reverse method if you consider what is the return type of reverse method string builder only next the insert method if you consider what is the return type string builder only reverse method okay delete method if you consider what is the return types a string builder only sir for most of the methods present inside string string buffer string builder the return types are always the same type that's why after applying a method after applying a method now which thing will be written string builder is going to be written same type will be written on that the result you can call another method yes itself you can call another method so which forms a method chaining okay what it means observe that sir suppose i have string builder object is there assume that on this string builder i call m1 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 may be yeah append or reverse or delete something like sp dot m1 if i call m1 method if i call m1 method m1 method return type is same string builder only that's why sir the return type is string builder again on that i want to call m2 
on the return type of m2 again string builder on the result i'm calling m3 method dot 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 are you getting this type of concept is nothing but method chaining are you getting for most of the methods present in string string buffer string builder return types are same type after applying a method on the result you can call another method after applying a method on the result you can call another method which forms a method chaining concept so in string string buffer string builder method chaining concept is very very common you people should be aware right okay let me go for a small example then you can get much clarity right here observe that here i'm taking let me take a string builder okay string builder builder sb is equal to new string builder just i'm creating an empty object just i'm creating an empty string builder object sb dot sb dot append a ah, durga append a ah, durga 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 like this i'm taking can you please tell sp dot append if sp is a string builder the return type is what string builder only on this again append method on this again append method of solutions durga solutions like sir now the return type of append is again string builder only now i'm taking reverse method reverse method now the return type of reverse method is string builder only that's why on that i want to call insert method are you getting i want to call insert method at the two comma x y z like this what is the return type of insert method what is the return type of insert method string builder only on that again i want to call delete delete from 3 to 7 like this i'm taking delete from 3 to 7 like dot 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 sir you can take one kilometer length method calls also no problem at all sir now take a bit very special care sir in the method chaining which method will be executed first uh, which method will be executed first sir left first m1 after that on the result m2 after that on the result m3 so in method chaining all method calls will be executed from left to right remember all method calls will be executed from left to right so first append next append next reverse next insert next delete like it's going to be executed now system dot out dot print ln yes b i'm taking now the result by default you are going to get everyone can able to understand right so this is sir is it going to work or not let me show this one have a look once sir i'm going to take a small example string builder string builder sb is equal to new string builder like this i'm taking sir with the string builder sb dot append of sb dot append of durga sir durga dot append of okay solutions durga solutions dot append a reverse reverse dot append a insert 2 comma x y z 2 comma x y z dot delete dot dot delete delete 3 comma 7 something like this right okay sir sop of sb sop of sb what is the what the result now what the result now you can ask you can ask like this right sir now just uh, take a bit very special care okay first first here just uh, sb dot append of durga durga like this i'm taking sir let me save this code d colon durga classes d colon durga durga classes i'm taking okay d colon durga classes in the test dot java like this i saved sir okay just only durga is there what is the answer we are going to get java c test dot java java test what answer by default we are going to get durga durga perfectly it's going to work no problem right now on this dot append of solutions like this i'm asking now durga now solutions also will be appended what answer we are going to get sir durga solutions perfect durga solutions now on this result of durga solutions 
I want to perform reverse, reverse operation like this, right? Now, happily, these Durga solutions by default will be reversed. Have you observed, right? Durga solutions got reversed, right? Now, dot, dot, insert of 2 comma, 2 comma x, y, z. Dot insert of 2 comma x, y, z, like this, right? Now, observe that. Now, observe this one. What answer by default you are going to get? Sir, from second index onwards, x, y, z, added or not? Yes, added. Now, dot, dot, delete, dot, delete of, delete of 3 comma 7. So, from third index to, sir, 7 minus 1 means third to 6. Third to 6 by default will be removed. Third index to sixth index will be removed, sir. 0, 1, 2, third, 4, 5, 6, sir, 3, 4, 5, 6, y, z, o, i, by default got removed, sir, are you getting? So, this is uh, already removed, like, uh, you can call any number of methods, any number of methods, no problem at all, this uh, type of concept is called method chaining, which is the very common in the case of string, string buffer, string builder, clear for all of right? So, don't fail, whenever you are seeing this type of lines, sir, we never saw this type of code. Oh, it is invalid. Compile method, runtime exception. No, 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 no. Sir, it is perfectly valid. First this method, on the result of this method, on the result of this method, this method. All these method calls will be executed from left to right. That's why method chaining is possible in the case of string, string buffer, string builder. Even you are seeing this type of thing, so don't worry, it is valid. Clear? Sir, the next practice question related to string and string builder, take a bit special care. Here, given the code fragment, public class test, sir, public static void main string array acts, string builder SB is equal to new string builder of 5. What is the meaning of this 5? You know, capacity, capacity creates an empty string builder object with the 5 capacity, empty. Now, string S is equal to, sir, so just empty. Remember this one, empty string. One is empty string builder, of course, with 5 capacity. You can add up to 5 characters. And then here, empty string. If SB dot equals of S, sir, match 1. Else, if SB dot 2 string dot equals of S dot 2 string, S dot 2 string, sir, match 2. Okay? Else, no match. Else, no match. What is the result? What is the result? Match 1, match 2, no match, null pointer exception is thrown at a runtime. Okay? Just observe carefully. Sir, this is what, what, what you should. Can you please guess what the answer? Ayo. Respond. Can you please guess what may be the answer? Match 1 or match 2 or no match or null pointer exception. Yes, I too don't know. Just I will trace. But anyway, to answer this compulsory, you have to be aware one thing. Even in the last videos I covered somewhere, equals method is overridden in string class for content comparison. But equals method is not overridden in string buffer for content comparison. Hence, object class equals method will be executed whether it is the string buffer whether it is the string builder because internal implementations of string buffer string builder always same except a synchronizer that's why in string builder equals method is not overridden for content comparison object class equals method will be executed first you should aware sir in the object class how the equals method is implemented listen very carefully Sir, here object obj1 dot equals of obj2. Assume that object class equals method. In the object class equals method, if the arguments are different types, if the arguments are different types, assume one is string buffer, another is string, or one is string builder, another is the string. Different types, it is always going to return false, sir. Remember this. So, in object class equals method, which is meant for reference comparison, 
if four objects are different types obviously obviously false is the answer okay well next if the objects are do you know different types and uh, if the objects are not pointed to the same different types means not pointed to the same object then false because object class equals measurement for reference comparison you know that point okay well now string builder sb is equal to new string builder sir so an empty string builder object got created of course with five capacity string s is equal to sir an empty string object an empty string object created okay like sir sb dot equals of s we are calling equals method on sb 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 means a string builder string builder not having equals capability which is uh, so hence it is coming from object class object class equals method returns uh, sir false returns uh, false because both are different objects different types that's why so it is false if if it returns false if it returns false uh, this if block is not going to execute else if sb dot two string sp dot two string means uh, sir on the string builder object if you call two string method now an empty string will be created an empty string object will be created okay empty string object dot equals of s dot two string s dot two string means uh, already it is a string empty string same only now sp dot two string method return type is string now equals method on the string object we are calling which is meant for contain comparison sir sp dot two string means empty string dot equals of s dot two string means empty string empty string empty string content is always the same if the content is the same because string class equals method meant for content comparison that's why so content is the same sop of match two is the answer because here this equals method returns true sir if this equals method returns a true match 2 is going to be printed to the console so which one is the correct answer match 1 match 2 no match null pointer exception sir match 2 itself is the answer b is the answer right everyone can able to understand sir very simple in this sp dot equals of yes which equals method will be called object class equals method object class equals method meant for reference comparison and objects are different types different objects false is the answer if is not going to execute but uh, sp dot two string 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 class equals method we are calling string class equals method meant for contain comparison here content and content both is the same empty string that's why match 2 is going to be executed it is going to be printed to the console because this condition returns a true observe let me execute this code have a look once have a look once string builder sb is equal to new string builder of 5 it is the capacity string s is equal to empty if sp dot equals of yes match 1 match 2 and then no match like this whatever i explain on the board is the same example only now have a look once sir happily the code compiles fine what is the answer we are going to get sir match 2 itself is the answer any doubt very important for the exam sake take special care about this one sir the next possible question for the for the exam sake observe that given the code fragment public class test public static void main string array arcs string builder sp1 is equal to new string builder of durga durga string str1 is equal to sp1 dot two string method next insert code here at line one SOP of str1 double equal to str2 oh we have only str1 that's why so str2 maybe maybe here we require to declare some code which code fragment when inserted at line 1 enables the code to print to true sir which code fragment enables the code to print to true true is the answer string str2 is equal to str1 string str2 is equal to new string of str1 
string str2 is equal to sp1.2 string string str2 is equal to durga like this so our requirement is to print to true true sir sir have you remembered here double equal operator we are using double equal operator always meant for reference comparison if both the references point into the same object then only double equal operator returns a true you know right sir now the point is which 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 one is the correct answer can you please guess first one or second one or third one or fourth one dangerous compulsory you should have clear internal internal knowledge then only you can able to answer such type of questions observe that string builder sp1 is equal to new string builder of durga okay so sb1 sb1 okay pointing to string builder object durga durga like string str1 is equal to sp1 dot to two string okay on this string builder if you are trying to convert into string now sir durga durga str1 got created okay in the heap area heap area yes str1 got created with the content of durga okay well now insert the code here at line 1 sir now string str2 is equal to str1 string str2 is equal to str1 observe the option i want to print to true string str2 is equal to str1 means uh, str2 is also point into the same object if str1 and str2 both are point into the same object then obviously returns a true oh option a itself is the correct answer okay like but why the remaining are invalid we will discuss don't worry sir let me execute up to this sir what i want to take is yet a line one yet a line one i want to take first option yet a line one i want to take first option i'm taking this option sir this option at line one what is the output we are going to get sir happily the code compiles fine yes but the answer true itself is the answer because once if i can take this line both the str1 and the str2 point into the same object that's why what output we are going to get a true is the answer okay well sir why second one third fourth fifth fourth are invalid let me show sir string str2 is equal to new string of str1 whenever we are using new operator compulsory a separate new object will be created sir okay str2 str2 is a separate new object with the content of str1 what is the content of str1 durga durga so if i use a second option a new object will be created one is point into okay this durga but second one is point into another durga both even content is the same but objects are different that's why double equal operator returns false do you know right okay let me check this one instead of this option i want to take second option second option now what will happen is observe carefully observe carefully string str2 new string of str1 okay like what answer we are going to get sir false itself is the answer okay well sir why third option is invalid why the third third option is invalid observe carefully right string str2 is equal to sp1 dot to two string are you getting sp1 dot to string sir on the sp1 if i call to string method if i call to string method again a new string object will be created so str2 is again a new string object will be created in this case also str1 and str2 both are not point into the same object that's why what is the output by default you are going to get sir false itself is the answer let me cross check even the third option even even the third option if i can take like this again a new object will be created again a new object will be created so the answer we are going to get sir false is the answer okay well sir now let me go for fourth option 
why the fourth option is invalid because valid cases invalid cases also we have to discuss why the fourth one string str2 is equal to durga am taken string str2 is equal to durga means uh, where the subject is required to create scp area so str1 is available in the heap area because because of method of call if an object is required to create compulsory that object will be created only in the heap area sir sp1.2 string because of that str1 created now string str2 is equal to durga where this object should be created sir in the scp area okay that's why str2 point into scp area str1 point into heap area both are different objects both are different objects even content is the same so that's why the output we are going to get false is the answer even in this case also observe observe carefully here legion legion a bit carefully sir i'm taking here i'm taking so just just i'm taking string str2 is equal to durga observe observe that what answer we are going to get false is the answer okay like so you should aware where the object will be created inside str1 i mean inside heap area inside scp area when double equal operator returns a true if you know all these things you can able to answer this type of questions very easily clear sir the next practice bit related to string builder observe carefully a bit small theoretical api method right sir which statement will empty the contents of string builder variable named sp which statement will empty the contents of a string builder variable named sp sir there is one string builder is there sir variable name is sp so which method which method is going to make that string builder empty means the total content will be removed the length of string builder should become zero zero which method right so first option sp dot delete all second option sp dot delete of zero comma sp dot size sp dot delete of zero comma sp dot length next up fourth option sp dot remove all can you please tell which is the correct answer because already i covered string of buffer methods which are same as string builder do you know there are multiple methods i covered 12 methods i discussed right i hope you people may remember sir now can you please observe what is the what is the correct answer in this case very easily you can able to answer sir for the string builder delete all such a type of method is not there okay if i'm trying to call sp dot delete all cannot find symbol method delete all like you are going to get error next uh, this one is also wrong because the reason is delete okay delete method is there but internally sp dot size sp dot size size method is not there for the string builder we have only length method capacity method length method is available capacity method is available but not size that's why invalid sir sp dot delete okay we will consider this as c sir sp dot remove all it is also invalid because for the string builder remove all such a type of thing is not there it is related to collections method okay like now sp dot delete zero comma sp dot length length method is available right of course it is the valid because only one option is the remaining then obviously that may be the correct but how sir it is going to be correct very simple just a aware sir do you know sb dot delete sb dot delete method delete method if you consider begin comma end assume sir for the string builder begin comma end it removes the content from begin index to end minus 1 index from begin index to end minus 1 index index right sir now assume assume i am taking string builder string builder sb is equal to new new string builder 
of Durga like this I am taking sir assume assume Durga like I am taking sir how many characters are there five five characters are there now let me apply sb dot delete of 0 to 0 to sb dot length 0 to sb dot length sp dot length means how many characters are there five that's why 0 to 5 0 to 5 0 to 5 means uh, from 0 to n minus 1 n minus 1 means 5 minus 1 4 0 to 4 all characters will be removed all characters will be removed from 0 to 4 so d u r g a is there 0 gone 1 gone 2 gone 3 gone 4 gone then what the remaining sir nothing is there what is the length of result is nothing but zero length empty empty content yes perfectly this one is the valid answer right if you use the remaining three cases immediately we are going to get error delete all next turn after that size removal such type of methods are not available that's why please make sure you should aware now we have a look once sir observe very carefully here I am taking string buffer sp is equal to new string builder string builder sp is equal to new string builder of Durga Durga I am taking now here here I am taking first option sir first option what is the first option is sp dot delete all are you getting sp dot delete all I am taking if I can take sp dot delete all immediately error we are going to get because delete all such a type of thing is not applicable okay have a look once, have a look once, sir, have you observed, method cannot find symbol, which is symbol, sir, method delete all, for variable SP of type string builder, for string builder type delete all method is not available, that's why first option is the wrong option, right, okay, well, sir, now, second option, let me take, now, let me take the second option, instead of this one, if I can take second option, yes, second option is also compatible matter because on the string builder size method is not applicable size method is available in the collections concept not in the string builder now have a look once have a look once yes cannot find symbol which is symbol sir method size okay that's why obviously it is the wrong okay like let me use fourth one sir d option d option i'm taking of course it is also wrong i know it's also wrong sp dot remove all sp dot remove all immediately error cannot find the symbol which is symbol sir method remove all so fourth option is also wrong then only one option i'm taking sir third option sp dot delete zero comma sp dot length sp dot delete zero comma sp dot length now my question is Sir, after deleting, sp dot length means uh, 5. 0 to 5 means 0 to 4. All characters will be removed. After removing all characters, if I can ask sp dot length, compulsory 0 is the answer we have to get. If really sp is a empty. Now observe that. Now have a look once. Happily the code compiles fine. Happily the code compiles fine. What is the answer, sir? 0 is the answer. Because string builder became empty because of this call. Okay? So, among all these things, which one is the correct answer, sir? C itself is the answer. Any doubt about this one? Clear, right? Sir, now the next practice question related to certification. Observe carefully, right? Given the following code, class my string, string msg, okay, there is one instance variable is there msg, my string, string msg, this dot msg is equal to msg, like just one instance variable, it is the constructor, we are performing assignment, right? Sir, public class test, public static void main string array action, SOP of hello, hello, new hello plus new string builder of java se8 hello plus new string builder i'm creating string builder object and i'm trying to print the content okay hello plus new my string of java se8 okay like sir my string object string builder object two objects we are creating sir concatenation with hello it is going to print that now what is the result what is the result sir 
सर हेलो जावा एस ई एट हेलो मई स्ट्रिंग एट द रेट हैश कोड अफकोर्स हैश कोड लाइक हेलो जावा एस ई एट हेलो जावा एस ई एट नेक्स्ट हेलो जावा डाट लैंग डाट स्ट्रिंग बिल्डर एट द रेट हैश कोड हेलो मई स्ट्रिंग एट द रेट हैश कोड नेक्स्ट कंपाइलेशन फेल्स अब्जर्व केयरफुली सर कंपाइलेशन फेल्स नाउ कैन यू प्लीज टेल यमांग दिस व्हिच वन इज द करेक्ट आई योर रिस्पॉन्ड यमांग दिस थिंग्स व्हिच वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर फर्स्ट वन और सेकंड वन और थर्ड वन और फोर्थ वन कंपाइलेशन फेल्स रिमेंबर दैट टेक वेरी स्पेशल केयर व्हाट यू हैव टू डू व्हाट यू हैव टू व्हाट यू शुड अवेयर इज हैव यू एवर हार्ड अबाउट टू स्ट्रिंग मेथड यस whenever we are trying to print any object or reference two string method will be called suppose suppose i have sir here test t1 is equal to new test test t1 is equal to new test can you please print sop of t1 sop of t1 now internally which method will be called two string method whenever we are trying to print any object reference internally two string method will be called sir this line will become system dot out dot print ln t1 dot two string method now listen very carefully sir this is so if the test class contain two string method it will be executed if the test class doesn't contain two string method object class of two string method will be executed which is always going to print a class a name class a name at the rate hash code class a name at the rate hash code in hexadecimal form class name at the rate hash code in hexadecimal form this is the output we are going to get if you are giving the chance to object class to string method right sir let me repeat again whenever we are trying to print any object reference internally two string method will be called if our class test class doesn't contain two string method object class two string method will be called okay which is always going to print class name at the rate hash code remember that sir now up to this let me show then you can able to answer very easily right observe that observe this one sir i don't want to take any any code just uh, let me change sir i'm trying to take test t1 is equal to new test test t1 is equal to new test new test here system dot out dot print ln t1 i'm taking sir sop of t1 what is the answer sir internally two string method will be called and our test class doesn't contain two string method object class two string method is going to be executed what is the output sir abjan happily the code compiles fine what the answer sir class name test at the rate sir 7852e922 hash code in hexadecimal form we are going to get so in this case which two string method will be called can you please tell in this case which two string method got called object class two string method got called sir i want no 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 i don't want this greek and latin if you don't want this greek and latin for meaningful string representation we can override two string method in our class okay have a look once sir in the test class i'm trying to override i'm trying to override okay public string two string method public string two string method okay what you want to take return return sir test object return test object i have to return are you getting return test object sir whenever we are overriding two string method then which two string method will be called which two string method will be called our own class two string method will be called now that greek and latin you are not going to get happily test object like that we are going to get have a look once observe very carefully right observe a bit very carefully here see this one the answer is sir test object instead of instead of this greek and latin now we are getting test object right sir now the important conclusion what you people should aware sir okay for meaningful string representation 
highly recommended to override to string method in our class. Sir, do you know? In string class, string buffer class, string builder class, all wrapper classes, all collection classes, to string method is already overridden for meaningful string representation. Remember that, sir. In our classes also, highly recommended to override what? To string method. Up to this is the clear, right? Next, I want to take a small continuation of this one. Sir, instead of SOP of T1, instead of SOP of T1, I am taking system.out.println, hello, 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 plus, plus T1 I am taking. Hello, plus T1 I am taking. Do you know, hello, string plus object. Whenever we are performing concatenation between string and object, for this object, again, two string method will be called. Again, two string method will be called. This two string method returns a string. String plus a string concatenation is going to be happened, sir. Now, have a look once, sir. Here, I'm taking, I'm taking, hello, hello, plus, hello, hello, sir, here, plus a T1, hello, plus a T1, T1 like this, right? Now, can you please observe what the answer? Hello, T1, test object. Hello, T1 means a test object. Test object. T1 dot two string method got called test object. Suppose if we are not overriding two string method, if we are not overriding two string method, what the answer we are going to get? Observe that. Hello, test at the rate, like this we are going to get. Hello, followed by two string method result will be, will be concatenated. Everyone can able to understand, right? So, what is the behavior of twisting method? How to override twisting method in our class? If we are not overriding twisting method, object class twisting method will be executed. How it is going to provide the result? Clear, right? If you have this knowledge very easily, you can able to answer this question, sir. Observe carefully. Here, yeah, this is my string. This is the class my string. Yeah, am I override twisting method? Can you please confirm? No, we didn't override twisting method. If we are not overriding twisting method, if you are trying to print my string object, object class twisting method will be executed. Remember. So now public class test main. Here SOP of hello, hello, new string builder, new string builder of Java SE8. Sir, do you know, I told already. In string class, string buffer class, string builder class, in all wrapper classes, in all wrapper classes, in all collection classes, okay, collection classes, two string method is already overridden for meaningful string representation. That's why overriding version of two string method will, will be called, which is going to return simply Java 8, Java S8 content. That's why First case, what is the answer we are going to get? Hello, Java SE8. Okay, well. Now, hello, hello, new my string of Java SE8. New my string of Java SE8. Can you please tell, in my string class, have you override two string method? No, I didn't override two string method. If you are not going to override two string method, class name hello hello followed by class name my string at the rate at the rate okay hash code whatever hash code in hexadecimal form we are going to get for the second one okay then obviously which one is the correct answer first case hello java se8 second one hello my string at the rate hash code then obviously it is the correct answer remember this one sir sir let me execute this code so that you may get much clarity have a look once have a look once yeah just i have i have the code like this observe carefully sir same example same example like this sir class my string string message okay my string this dot message is equal to message like this we are going to take Sir, what is the output? What is the output, sir? Here, meaningful string representation we will get because in the string builder, twisting method is overridden. But in here, just a class name, at the rate, hash code we are going to get because in my string class, okay, twisting method is not overridden. Now, observe carefully. 
Observe carefully what the answer we are going to get, sir. First time meaningful, hello Java is 8. But second time, hello, my string at the rate 7, 8. This is the hash code in hexadecimal string form we are going to get. Can you please confirm? All the people are in a position to understand, right? Okay, well. Then immediately some people may ask, Sir, can you please show how to override twisting method in my string class? Yes, why not? I will override. Have a look once. Have a look in my in my string class. I'm trying to override public string to string. Public string to string. What I have to return? Return some string. Return msg. Are you getting? Because msg is the instance variable. Whatever you are passing, look at this, this one here. Just simply return that message, whatever you are going to pass. Simply return the message, whatever you are going to pass. So in this case, which two string method will be called, sir? You are not going to call object class two string method. My string class two string method will be called. In this case, what is the output we are going to get, sir? Here, have a look once, have a look once. Sir, hello Java SE8. Hello Java SE8. Like this, perfectly the out output we are going to get. So, any doubt about this one? So, it's highly recommended to override two string method in our classes for meaningful string representation. Clear? Or? Sir, the next practice question related to string, string builder, observe carefully, right? Sir, you are developing a banking module. Sir, it is a beautiful use case. So, where exactly our string and string builder helpful, this use case is going to help like anything. That's why, please take a bit special care. You are developing a banking module. You have developed a class name mask test what is our class name mask test and has a mask method so mask test is a class name and the mask is a method that class contains sir given the code fragment sir class mask test public static string mask string credit card regarding string credit card oh sir have you observed right if you if you observe if, if you can take a mask, sir, mask is going to take a string credit card like this, right? Sir, in the string x is equal to x, 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 iPhone, x, 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 iPhone, x, 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 iPhone, like this. And uh, some code we have to place here, line 1. Maybe, boss, I will give my original credit card number. Can you please mask this credit card, credit card number, so that it is not visible to outside person? That may be, may be the requirement. Let me consider. Public static void main, okay? System.out.println. We are calling mask method with this credit card number. 1, 2, 3, 4. iPhone 5678, iPhone 9101, iPhone 5979. Like this, right? Sir, you must ensure the mask method returns a string. Mask method should return a string that hides all digits of the credit card number except the last four digits. Have you observed, right? That hides all digits of credit card number except the last four. Except the last four means 5979 except that. All these things and iPhones that separate each group of four digits. So, except the last four digits and the iPhones, remaining digits should be masked, should hide. Maybe this 1, 2, 3, 4 should be hide, 5, 6, 7, 8 should be hide, and then 9101 should be hide. But this 5979, happily you can display no problem at all. Now, except the last four and the iPhones. Now, which, which Two code fragments should you use at line 1 independently to achieve the requirement. At line 1, which code fragments if we can use at line 1 to achieve the requirement? Like this, right? This is. Sir, now, first option, second option, third option, fourth option. There are four options they are providing. 
sir which thing is going to return is going to hide all digits except the last four digits this is about our requirement right now please consider first option second option third option fourth option you should be in a position to answer clearly right sir now first option if i can take here just observe observe the code parallelly sir observe the code parallelly okay like what i will take is let me let me take this one on the screen so that you may get much clarity because all the things should be together simultaneously right observe that i'm taking mask test let me code this let me let me take a small java class i'm taking guess what is the name of this java class i'm trying to take here is just a one minute sir mask test what is the name i'm taking sir mask test dot java okay well sir at line one what is the first option they provided okay this is the first option they provided sir this is the this is the first option they provided okay if i can write this code yet a line one if i can write this code at a line 1 is it going to hide all these digits all these digits except the last four is it going to hide all these digits this is about my requirement right okay well sir what this code is going to take sir string buffer sb is equal to sorry string builder sb is equal to new string builder of credit card it is going to create it's going to create string builder object with the credit card information sp dot substring of 15 comma 19 sir first question i have a small doubt is there java c mask test java c mask test dot java okay like sir if you if you observe that if you if you observe take very very special care sir sp dot substring of okay return x plus sb now java mask test like this i'm taking sir sir do you know what what will happen what will happen here is observe very very carefully sir what will happen in this case here see sir in the first case listen carefully sir in the first case what what thing happening observe that so i provided my credit card information one two three four one two three four five six seven eight Next, 9101, 9101, 5979, 5979, this is the information I provided. Okay. With this information, can you please create, can you please, can you please create string builder object? Okay, well, sb dot substring from 15 to 19, from 15 to 19 means, uh, yes here from 15th to 18th index begin to n minus 1 it is taking 5979 okay well but this result we are not assigning to any variable this result we are not assigning to any variable that's why this part whatever we got 5979 eligible for garbage collection still my sb is pointing to this one only so return x plus sp sir what is x what is x x already you people aware x already you people aware x means sir this is so x means x x x x iphon x x x x iphon x x x x iphon sir this part is called x this part is called x x x plus sp SP means uh, already pointed to the original credit card number. Instead of, sir, it is hiding, it is going to display all 16 digits uh, after this XX and so on. That's why it is not going to work. Remember this one. Have a look once. Observe a bit very, very carefully about this one, sir. Here, what, what it will do is, sir, it is going to create string builder object with the provided credit card. With a provided credit card, it is going to create a string builder object. But uh, you are selecting 15 to 15 to 19. Excellent. You are selecting only this part. But the problem here is, sir, this object you are not assigning to any reference variable. That's why eligible for garbage collection. Still, SP is pointing to this uh, original credit card number only. Return X plus SP means, uh, sir, this X uh, 
plus uh, this credit card complete data by default will be displayed to the end user have you observed right this is x uh, plus uh, this is the sb credit card number so total thing is going to come so which is not going to fulfill our requirement any doubt any doubt related to the first option is it going to fulfill our requirement no no chance at all so first option is the wrong okay well second option x plus credit card credit card is already string object dot substring of 15 comma 19 so credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 means uh, 5979 we are getting can you please add 5979 to x x means already this only x x iphone 5979 definitely b option is going to fulfill our requirement if you want observe that carefully sir instead of taking this option a let me remove option a now i'm taking option b option b very important sir return return x plus credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 so credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 means uh, 5979 x means uh, this part so this total part plus 5979 means uh, yes sir except the last four digit all the remaining digits will be masked with uh, only x symbol now can you please observe can you please observe that happily the code compiles fine but the answer we are going to get yes sir only last four digits are going to be visible and except that all the remaining are hide hide with the x symbol okay this is clear it's going to fulfill our requirement right sir observe that very carefully x means a string next a credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 means uh, sir this position is called 15 to 19 now we are trying to add uh, this 50, 5979 to this x then automatically all the remaining things by default will be gone so perfectly sir second option is going to fulfill our requirement okay well sir what about third option what about third third option observe carefully sir string builder sb is equal to new string builder of x x means uh, sir this original x x x x and so on right sp dot append of credit card comma 15 comma 19 in string builder append method is there from this string can you please take from begin to n minus 1 characters and append that append that to the string buffer append that to this x are getting of course string builder or string buffer same so append that to this string builder then automatically last four digits will be appended to x return sb dot to string method can you please uh, convert into string and return that string yes definitely it is also going to fulfill our requirement okay if you want to observe that so from 15 to 19 take a credit card substring from this and the append that to the string builder okay here begin index end index from begin to end minus one in this credit card it is going to take and append that to the string builder so x followed by last four digit can you please return perfectly this is c option also going to fulfill our requirement have a look once have a look once here just uh, let me copy paste here just uh, instead of this line instead of this line like this i'm taking sir so here just uh, have a look observe that so first one with this x with this x i'm creating string builder and then for the string builder i'm appending from the credit card from 15 to 2 n minus 1 19 minus 1 index characters now can you please return that uh, in the in the string form because the return type of mask method is string that's why right okay now what is the output by default we are going to get observe that perfectly it is valid now except the last four digits all the remaining digits are masked no problem at all okay well sir what you want fourth option third option is also going to work third option is also working sir what about fourth option where is the problem 
string builder, SPG called new string builder of credit card. Oh, with the original credit card, I created string builder. String builder, SEC equal to SP dot insert of 0, X. In the 0 at the place, can you please insert X? Can you please insert X? Now, now, do you know? 0 at the place, all, all the things by default will be inserted. And then, remaining credit card will be there as it is. So, complete information will be visible to the end user. First, X followed by credit card. Same as first option, right? So, return SR2 string, okay, like uh, which is not going to hide uh, all the digits. Uh, observe carefully, sir. If I can take, if I can take like, okay, fourth option I'm taking, sir. Of course, answers are visible. <laughs> uh, just uh, don't worry, observe my explanation. Okay. Here, just uh, I'm taking, have a look once. I'm sure it is not going to fulfill our requirement. Okay. What answer? Sir, this is the X value followed by remaining credit card. So, it is not going to fulfill our requirement, right? Are you in the position to understand, right? I want to mask, I want to hide all digits of credit card except the last four digits. Which approach we have to follow? This is the approach, right? Okay? Like, which two options are correct? Either you can go for B option or we can go for C option. Like, compulsory, these type of use cases are going to help you to improve your programming. Clear, right? Hi friends, myself Durga, I'm working as a Java trainer for the last 16 years in Durga Soft. So I worked more than 5 years as a software engineer in IBM, sir. Now I want to introduce my new course, sir, String, String Buffer, String Builder for Java Certification. String, String Buffer and String Builder for Java Certification. The most valuable concept the most important concept for intra use, for Java certification, for day to day programming. So, this string, string buffer, string builder, especially this string concept is the most, most helpful. That's why I want to perform post mortem related to this string, what I did at the part of this course. Okay. So, in this course, what syllabus, sir, what I covered here, observe that difference between string and string buffer. If you go to any Java interview, the first question the people are going to ask, uh, what is the difference between string and string buffer? Most commonly asked question, crores of times asked question in the interview room, sir. String and string buffer, okay? Then immediately you are going to tell mutability, immutability. Sir, why? What is the meaning of mutability, immutability? Can you explain with an example? Next, why string objects are immutable? Various string buffer objects are mutable? Like you should be in a position to answer all those things I covered at the part of this course. Remember, next, uh, equals method, yes. There is one more difference other than mutability and immutability. Difference between string and string buffer equals method, right? In string class equals method meant for content comparison. But in string buffer class equals method meant for reference comparison. Remember this one because in string buffer equals method is not overridden. So all those things I clearly explained, right? Next term. Uh, Sir, string object creation, heap and SCP. Regarding string object creation, heap and SCP. Sometimes object will be created in the heap area. Sometimes object will be created in the string constant pool. When the object will be created in the heap, when the object will be created in the SCP, I explained almost around four to five examples so that you will get much perfection, right? Sir, after the importance of string constant pool, Sir, what is the need? Why SCP-like concept is applicable only for string? 
what advantage we are going to get what problems are there with the scp this concept i explained very clearly right sir next uh, important faqs on string on string buffer there are three faqs i discussed here especially based on this string constant pool so very very clearly right that's something like SCP concept is available only for string but not for string buffer. Next, why string objects are immutable? Whereas string buffer objects are mutable? Why? Why immutability is required for the string? Sir, similar to string objects, any other objects are immutable in Java? That part also I explained right. Okay, well. Sir, next, uh, important constructors of string class. Regarding what are various constructors are available in the string class, with the examples I explained. Next, uh, important methods of string class. Almost around uh, 13 methods I explained, sir. Most commonly used methods. Do you know? Care get, concat, equals method, equals ignore case method. Next, uh, is empty, length, uh, replace, substring. Next, uh, index of, last index of, two lower case, two upper case, uh, trim. Are you getting? So, almost around uh, 13 methods, most commonly used methods I explained, sir. Trim, especially trim, almost 25 minutes I explained with a beautiful case study about this trim method. Compulsory, you should aware clearly, right? Next, uh, important conclusions about the string immutability. Sir, strictly speaking, what is the meaning of immutability? Okay, internally, what things are happening? I explain very clear conclusions, right? Next, after this, the most beautiful question for the entire room, is it possible to create our own immutable class or not? Yes, we can create our own immutable class also. Sir, explain the way how to create our own immutable class. Sir, creation of our own immutable class. I covered right. Look at this. Next, uh, final versus immutability. Final versus immutability. What is the difference between final and immutability? By declaring a reference variable as the final, can I get immutability in nature or not? Okay, you should aware that thing I explained very clearly, right? Sir, up to this, so almost uh, uh, minimum around uh, 18 videos I did only for string and string, string concept, right? Next, after that, Sir, already string is there. What is the need of going for string buffer? Why, why we should go for string buffer concept? Sir, like I explained. Next, what constructors are there in the string buffer? Next, uh, important methods of string buffer. Okay? Length method is there. Capacity method is there. Care get method. Set care get method. Append method. Insert method. Delete. Delete care get. Next, uh, reverse. Set length. Ensure capacity trim to size. Are you getting? All these methods, uh, almost around, uh, do you know, 12 methods I explained very clearly, sir, very important method, especially last three, set length, ensure capacity, trim to size, like uh, these methods I explained very clearly, right? Next, uh, need a uh, string builder. Why we should go for string builder concept? Next, uh, differences between string buffer and a string builder. Sir, why? What is the, what the difference? One is synchronized version. The second one is non-synchronized version. All differences in the table form I explained very clearly, sir. Next, uh, string versus string buffer versus string builder. When we should go for string, when we should go for string buffer, when we should go for string builder, we covered very clearly. Next, uh, method chaining concept. Okay? So, is it possible on applying a method, sir, on the result, another method, another method, another method, chaining of method, is it possible or not? How to use? I explain very clearly with the example, right? I hope all the people are in a position to understand. Almost these are 16 topics I explain. You people can expect uh, around uh, 30 plus videos only on this concept. Are you getting? 10 practice questions I explain line to line. 10 practice questions I explain line to line code wise. Very important for Java certification also. Okay? Be ready, sir. Take uh, sir. Very understand very clearly these things and give left and right to the interview person. Are you getting that? Sir, all the best. Thanks, sir. Next topic related to our certification, 
string string buffer and a string builder the most valuable concept for the intra room for certification right sir what is the topic name can you please tell string string buffer and then string builder these are things we have to discuss a string related terminology we require to give it but here related to our ocja there is one small twist is there what is that twist is officially in the syllabus they mention string and a string builder are getting in the syllabus they mention only string and a string builder but but the problem with the string builder is string builder if you want to understand compulsory you should aware string buffer are getting if you aware string buffer then only you have to understand you can able to, you can you can understand string builder that's why first we have to discuss string concept and then we have to go for string buffer next we should go for string builder okay well sir now sir first first let me talk about this string concept right sir there is one biggest speciality is there for the string concept what is that speciality is in any application if you consider any java based project whether it is a small project big project any project sir the most commonly used object is the string object only remember this one the most commonly used object is the string string object only remember sir you know here if you create thousand objects assume that thousand objects i am using in my project thousand objects i am using in my project can you please tell how many string objects will be there how many non non string objects are there more than 900 more than 900 objects are string objects less than 100 objects are non string objects remember that sir in any project it is the most commonly required terminology so it is that's why in day to day programming sir without a string you can't do anything are getting it's very important for our day to day programming so clear for all of you right first important sir second importance very very important point sir second second point is if you go to the entry room java for as a fresher or two plus or three plus years of experience anywhere if you go to the entry room compulsory question for the entry room is uh, what is the difference between string and string buffer explain mutability immutability with an example okay so without uh, asking about string and string buffer you can't expect any java entry room and that much important concept that much important concept is a uh, okay this uh, this a uh, string uh, string uh, string concept right so for the interview room it is a very important regarding for interview room it is a very important next uh, for the day-to-day -day coding it is very important next and after that for certification also very important there are almost around the 20 questions minimum you can expect uh, from string on string buffer either directly or indirectly that's why so please uh, take special care about this concept because which is compulsory required concept for us is it clear for love right so the most valuable concept the most worthy concept which is required for our certification which is required for our interview room which is required for our day-to-day -day coding we are discussing take a bit very special care about this concept right clear right okay well now related to this string and the string of buffer multiple cases i want to discuss sir every case itself is an important question for the interview room every case is a gun gunshot point that's why you should have clear clarity right sir if you go to the interview room interview room sir maybe a chance to ask what is the difference between string and a string of buffer can you please tell are respond can you please tell what is the difference between string and string buffer yes if i can ask this question in my offline session out of 100 90 percent of the people minimum they are going to tell sir string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable are getting string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable maybe somewhere in the intro faqs they remembered ah, string is immutable string buffer is mutable that's all then immediately entry person may ask what is uh, immutability mutability 
Can you explain with an example? Then automatically 90 percent of the wickets are down. Okay, remember this one. That's why compulsory you people should have clear clarity about this one. So the first question for the interview room: What is the difference between string and a string buffer? So string objects are immutable. String buffer objects are mutable. Remember that string objects are immutable. String buffer objects are mutable. Mutable like. Then immediately, entry person may ask, what is mutability? What is immutability? Can you please explain with an example? Okay, like, sir, what is immutable? What is the meaning of immutable? Can you please tell? Hmm. Immutable. Immutable means non-changeable. You can't change. You can't change. But what about the mutable? Changeable. Happily, you are allowed to modify. No problem at all. Once we create string object, we can't change its content. That's why string objects are always what? Immutable. Once we create string of buffer object, happily we can perform required changes in that object, no problem at all. That's why string of buffer objects are mutable. Clear for all of you, right? Sir, now can you explain with an example so that you will get much clarity right here? Just observe. Here I'm taking string yes is equal to new new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga yes sir dot concat yes sir dot concat of software i'm taking sir yes dot concat of software system dot out dot print ln of yes sir. are you getting yes dot concat of software yes op of yes sir. yes sir. like this i'm taking sir okay well now my next question is string buffer String buffer SB SB is equal to new string buffer. String buffer SB is equal to new string buffer of Durga. I'm taking Durga Durga. I'm taking SB dot append append of software. SB dot append of software system dot out dot print ln of SB. Can you please observe? For the string, we have concat method, concat method, but for the string buffer, we have append method. Remember that here you can't use append, here you can't use concat. Okay? So append method is applicable for string buffer. Next, uh, concat method is applicable for string. Anyway, right? Sir, can you please confirm what is the output you can we can get in the first case? What is the output we are going to get in the second case? Ayo, respond. What is the output in the first case? What is the output in the second case? If you can answer this question, well, you are the king, you are the expert in immutable, mutable concept. Okay? So, can you please tell in the first case, can I get a Durga or Durga software? Yes, Rat can get up software. Yes, Rat can get up software. Durga or Durga software? I don't know. Sir, in this case, Durga or Durga software, what the output we are going to get? Can I get Durga or Durga software? Okay? Remember that. So, what is the difference between string and the string buffer? What is the difference between immutability, mutability? Can you please explain with an example? Best example, you have to explain in the interview room, this one only. Now, let me analyze. Here, see this one? Here, String S is equal to new string of Durga. Now, S is pointing to Durga. S is pointing to Durga. Observe carefully, sir. String S is equal to new string of Durga. S is pointing to Durga. Like, sir, either string is mutable or immutable. You respond. Either string is mutable or immutable. Yes, sir, string is uh, immutable. Immutable. Once we create string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object. Remember, once we create string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object. By mistake, if any person trying to perform the change, with those changes, a new object will be created. In the existing object, no changes will be there. Are you getting? Let me repeat again. So, once we create string object, 
we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if you are trying to perform any changes with those changes a new object will be created in the existing object we can't perform any changes this a non changeable behavior he is nothing but immutability concept are you getting now yes rat concrete of software so now software will be added to durga now it will become durga software with those changes a new object will be created sir sir now durga now durga software durga software that's all now do you know this a new object you are not assigning with any reference variable once you are not using any reference variable automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection remember this one automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection still my s is pointing to durga only sir now what is the output by default we are going to get durga that's it are you getting sir very important point once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if you are trying to perform any changes with those changes any object will be created now because of this any object got created but verita i am not assigning this new object with any reference variable eligible for garbage collection so this non changeable behavior is nothing but immutability any doubt are you in the position to understand sir let me execute this code so that you will get much clarity observe that here i'm taking a small chota point here i'm taking sir string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga i'm taking s dot concat s dot concat s dot concat a software like this i'm taking sir s dot concat of software software like sir system dot out dot println of s i'm taking sir system dot out dot println of s let me take uh, let me compile sir i saved already let me compile this code java c test dot java have you observed right java c test dot java happily the code compiles fine java test what answer still durga only so even though we added even though we added software but still s is pointing to durga only because it is a new object got created and for that we are not using any reference variable clear for all of you right that's what uh, what is the meaning of immutability non changeability clear so now let me talk about string buffer so that you will get much clarity what is the mutability with an example string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga are you getting this is durga sb is the reference variable for that string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga durga like sir sb dot append sb dot append of software do you know once we create string buffer in that string buffer object you can perform any changes no problem at all because string buffer is mutable changeable are you getting once we create string buffer object you can perform any changes in that object no problem at all that's why it is mutable changeable now sp dot append of software software will be added here only are you getting no new object no new object software will be added here only system dot out dot print ln of sb means uh, durga software by default we are going to get durga software itself we are going to get sir so this uh, non this a uh, changeable behavior is nothing but what mutability remember sir once we create string buffer object can i perform any changes in that object or not yes that's why this uh, changeable behavior is uh, nothing but mutability so string buffer is mutable or immutable uh, mutable or immutable immutable remember let me execute this code have a look once uh, sir sir instead of string yes uh, let me take string buffer yes uh, b string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer yes uh, b dot uh, append have you have you remember right sp dot uh, append append of sp dot append of so sop of sp same code whatever there on the board is the same code i'm trying to execute sir what output by default we are going to get happily the code compiles fine 
happily the code compiles fine the answer we are going to get durga software that's all so this is the most valuable important point sir so what is the difference between string and string buffer string objects are immutable string buffer is mutable once we create string object we can't perform any changes in that object if any person trying to perform the change with those changes a new object by default will be created this non changeable behavior is nothing but sir immutability once we create single buffer object we can perform any changes in that object no problem at all so this changeable behavior is nothing but mutability are you getting right so in the intro you room you can able to answer two or three questions very confidently what is the difference between string and string buffer point number 1 what is immutability mutability explain immutability mutability with an example yes for all these questions you should be in a position to answer to get left and right clear last video i explain very clearly what is mutability and immutability sir what is the next topic i have to discuss i mean what is the next case i have to discuss very important very dangerous case observe carefully here i am taking string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga durga like now system dot out dot print ln s1 double equal to s2 s1 double equal to s2 system dot out dot print ln s1 dot equals of s2 s1 dot equals of s2 like we have this is the one 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 part now the second part take very special care sir string buffer string buffer s b is equal to string buffer s b is equal to new string buffer string buffer s b is equal to new string buffer of durga durga s b 1 now string buffer s b 2 is equal to new string buffer of durga new string buffer of durga like this i am taking so there are two string buffer objects are there system dot out dot print ln sb1 double equal to sb2 system dot out dot print ln sb1 dot equals a sb2 like this i am taking how beautiful it is can you please observe that what is the output we are going to get what the what the what the output we are going to get sir the most valuable important question for the intro your room compulsory for day to day coding also you should aware this a difference please tell what output you are going to get string s1 is equal to string of durga string s2 is equal to string of durga s1 double equal to s2 s1 dot equals of s2 are getting s1 dot equals of s2 sir now string buffer sp1 is equal to string buffer of durga sp2 new string buffer of durga sp1 double equal to sp2 sp1 dot equals of sp2 please if you can able to answer this one i'm sure you are the expert in java especially double equal dot equals the most worthy important question for the entire your room okay what is the difference between double equal operator and dot equals method are you getting difference between double equal operator and dot equals method in the case of string what is the behavior in string buffer what is the behavior you should aware sir do you know double equal operator always meant for reference comparison are you getting double equal operator always meant for reference comparison reference comparison means if both the references point into the same object then only it is going to return so true are you getting so double equal operator always meant of a reference comparison address comparison if both the references point into the same object 
then only returns are true. Sir, not point into the same object. References point into different objects, uh, then automatically returns false. Okay, make sure. Sir, now string S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, now take S1 pointing to Durga. Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, new, new, another object will be created. S2 is the reference variable for that. So, S1 and S2. Sir, now, S1 double equal to S2. Sir, both are not pointing to the same object. Both are not pointing to the same object. Double equal operator always meant for reference comparison only. Both are not pointing to the same object. That's why, what is the answer we are going to get, sir? False is the answer. Don't keep any doubt at all. Okay, like, sir, even in this case also, String buffer, SP1 is equal to new string buffer of Durga. SP1 is pointing to Durga. And SB2 pointing to Durga. SB2 pointing to Durga. So, both the references pointing to two different objects. That's why double equal operator always going to return false. False. Remember this one. So, when double equal operator returns a true, can you please tell? If both the references point into the same object, means uh, suppose R1 double equal to R2, then it's going to return so true, sir. If R1 and R2 point into the same object, if both are not point into the same object, then obviously false is the answer. Okay? Double equal operator case. No difference at all in the case of string and string buffer. What about dot equals method? Ah, what about dot equals method? Big story is there. Take very special care. Do you know? It's a, it's a very common question in the entire room. What is the difference between double equal operator and dot equals method? So, if I can ask this question to 1000 members, minimum 9999 members are going to tell double equal operator meant for reference comparison, dot equals method meant for content comparison. No, strictly speaking, that statement is the wrong statement. What is the reason? Now you can able to see the example. Here do you know, we have object class is there. You know object class is there. For this object class, there are child classes are there. String is one child class. String buffer is another child class. Next, this object class contain 12 methods are there which are commonly required for everything. Of course, one method is the private. That's why we never go to give that much important. By default, 11 methods are there. Object class contain 11 methods, which are required for every class, for every object which are required. In the, so, two string method, hash code method, equals method, like multiple methods are there. In that, do you know here, equals method. What is this method, sir? Equals method is already available inside object class. Object class equals method meant for object class equals method meant for reference comparison or address comparison. Very, very important, sir. Object class equals method meant for reference comparison or address comparison. If both the references point into the same object, then only double equal operator, I mean, equals method returns are true, otherwise returns false. So, it is exactly same as double equal operator. Okay, well, so by default, equals method present inside object class meant for reference comparison or content comparison. Reference comparison, not for content comparison, man. But now, in the child classes, Equals method is overridden for content comparison. In the child classes, it is overridden for content comparison. In the string class, equals method is overridden. Equals method is overridden for content comparison. Content comparison. Observe very carefully, sir. So, in string class, if I can apply equals method on the string object, it is always meant for content comparison only because in, in string class, equals method is overridden for content comparison. So, even though objects are different, content is the same, equals method is always going to return so true because the reason for that is it is meant for content comparison. But what about string buffer? What about string buffer? 
sir it is very clear in string of a for equals me that is not overridden if it is not overridden if any person calling sir on the string of a for object equals me that on the string of a for object equals me that which equals method will be called object class equals method will be called object class equals method is always meant for what reference comparison are you getting right so most of the people don't think about this small point they are always going to feel that equals method meant for contain comparison double equal operator meant for reference comparison like that no so the equals method present inside object class also meant for reference comparison only but not for content comparison we have to override equals method in our class for content comparison purpose clear this knowledge must be required now come to our example come to our example sir s1 dot equals of s2 we are calling equals method on s1 s1 is string type string type string class equals method will be called string class equals method meant for content comparison or reference comparison content content in string class equals method is overridden for content comparison now durga durga are you getting both contents are same if the contents are same then simply we are going to get true is the answer remember this one so if it is the string case double equal operator false that equals method true true right but what you want string buffer what you about string buffer sir in string buffer sp1 that equals of s2 sp2 sir you are calling equals method on sp1 sp1 is string buffer type sp1 is the string buffer type buffer type in the string buffer equals method he is not overridden object class equals method will execute which is a meant for reference comparison that's why both the references are pointing to different objects not pointing to the same object that's why here we are going to get false as the answer are you getting the point how beautiful this is so the conclusion here is in the case of string equals method always meant for what content comparison but in string buffer equals method meant for reference comparison okay like of course i will execute this one have a look once sir have a look sir here i am taking same example same same example i am taking here see string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga sir now s1 s1 double equal to s2 next uh, s1 dot equals of s2 sir are you getting s1 dot equals of s2 like this i am taking sir what is the answer if both are string objects if both are string objects what is the answer we are going to get double equal operator reference comparison but dot equals method in string class meant for content comparison false followed by true is the answer now have a look once what output by default we are going to get the code compiles fine next uh, the answer false followed by true itself is the answer we are going to get sir okay well sir now what is the next thing i have to i have to take uh, instead of string let me take string buffer are you getting string buffer sp1 is equal to new string buffer string buffer sp1 is equal to new string buffer string buffer sp2 is equal to like this okay now here just uh, observe carefully sir sp1 sp1 double equal to sp2 sp1 dot equal to sp2 like this i am taking sir that's all can you please tell what is the answer double equal always meant for reference comparison dot equals method in string buffer meant for reference comparison only because in string buffer dot equals method may is not overridden object class equals method will be executed that's why what output we are going to get false false is the output now have a look once the output we are going to get false followed by false itself is the answer sir yes 100% pakka correct what is the answer we are going to get false followed by false sir. so the very very important question sir for the in the case of string and string buffer with respect to equals method sometimes entry person may ask are what the difference between string and string buffer everyone is going to tell immutable mutable no 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 other than immutability and immutability 
can you please tell any other difference between string and string buffer happily you can able to tell string in string class equals a method meant for content comparison but in string buffer equals a method meant for reference comparison there is a difference clear last two videos we covered about immutability immutability equals method what is the difference between string and string buffer okay up to that clear now the next case very important case right sir if i can take string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga next string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things can you please tell the most dangerous point string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things friends the most dangerous concept next uh, almost half an hour discussion based on this example only you require to listen very very carefully sir can you please tell what is the difference between these two things string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga remember that in the first case okay in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created remember that in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created sir how where is the where is the difference sir like do you know whenever we are using new operator whenever we are using new operator compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area okay with the content of durga and the s is the reference variable for this regarding with the content durga s is the reference variable for this next uh, new string of durga new string of durga sir it's a literal right for every string a literal for the future purpose okay one object will be created in scp area regarding what is that scp string constant pool remember this one what is this scp sir string constant pool okay any object will be created in scp area sir where is the reference variable no explicit reference variable but internally implicit reference variable will be maintained by the jvm then immediately mask sir what is the need of this one the need of this one is reusing same object for future purpose are you getting so two objects will be created one is in the heap area yes is point into that heap object and the one copy will be created in a cp area for the future purpose sir what that future purpose simple point you should have a reusability in the next level examples you can able to get okay well then immediately mask sir this object this object is it eligible for garbage collection or not no no because implicitly implicitly reference variable will be maintained by jvm if any object created because of because of string constant literal 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 implicit reference variable will be maintained by jvm this object is not eligible for garbage collection remember that but immediately you may ask sir this scp where this area is there until 1.6 version until 1.6 version scp is the part of sir method area method area scp is the part of method area or permagen are you getting right permagen permanent generation okay it is the part of method area or permagen okay like right? but uh, from 1.7 version onwards for efficient memory utilization sir scp area is moved to heap only okay in the heap area some part uh, reserved for scp okay in the in the permagen do you know method area scp is always fixed size but uh, once it is moved to the heap uh, now my scp can be expandable are you getting so 
just because of memory utilization okay just from 1.7 version onward this scp is moved to okay heap area only remember but old version it is a part of method area but not inside heap area okay well sir this is uh, just for internal sake but anyway you are not required to worry so here how many objects got created two objects got created one is in the heap area second one in the scp s is always point into the heap area right sir why this object placed uh, this object for future purpose what is that future purpose i will explain in the future don't worry about that okay well but in this case string s is equal to durga is it a lateral or not yes it's a lateral it's a lateral sir you know in this case in this case only one object will be created in the scp area in this case only one object will be created in scp area remember this one sir in the scp only one object will be created you see the reference point into that but anyway first jvm will check is there any object with the content uh, with this content already available in the scp or not if it is already there if it is already there then only then only sir then it is going to reuse the same object if the object is not already there then only a new object will be created and yes is point into that but anyway object creation in the heap area is always mandatory whenever we are using new operator compulsory new object will be created but uh, if you are going to create like this so object creation is not mandatory first jvm will check in the scp area do you have any object with this content or not if the object is already there reuse the same object so if the object is not already there then only create a new object that's all so what is the difference between this one and this one in this case total how many objects are created two objects will be created and in this case how many objects will be created sir only one object that uh, in the scp area that's all now sir why it is a second object placed in scp because the reason is for future purpose for reuse reusability purpose okay this object not having any reference is it eligible for garbage collection or not sorry it is not eligible for garbage collection because internal reference will be maintained by jvm itself clear sir in the last example just we had a discussion about the heap and scp object creation let me continue some more example so that you people can get much clarity right here observe i'm taking string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga next uh, string s3 is equal to durga string s3 is equal to durga string s4 is equal to durga string s4 is equal to durga that's all can you please tell just because of this line how many objects we got created hey, you respond just because of this line how many objects got created how many are there in the general heap how many are there in the scp area please confirm total how many objects got created is it only one object or two object or three or four r5 <laughs> are you getting r5 r6 how many how many will be there in the heap area how many will be there in the scp area yes everyone should have some guess in your mind so that you can able to understand the answer very clearly if i start explaining can you please guess how many are there in the heap area two how many are there in the scp area ha huh. <laughs> remember okay just uh, let me start explanation so that you people can feel more comfortable right here do you know observe first line heap area scp area now legion legion there are some conclusions also i want to talk string s1 is equal to new string of durga whenever we are using new operator compulsory any object will be created in the heap area remember compulsory any object will be created in the heap area that's why durga durga s1 is point into heap 
Next, uh, it is a literal, literal rhyme. For the future purpose, one copy will be maintained in SCP area. SCP area, right? Okay, well. So, just to pick up the first line, how many objects got created? Two objects got created. One is in the heap area, second one in the SCP area. Now, string S2 is equal to new string of Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, now, whenever we are using new operator, compulsory new object will be created, sir. In the heap area, a new object will be created, S2. Next, uh, this uh, copy has to place in the SCP. But in SCP, with this Durga content, already object is available or not? Yes. If it is already there, we are not required to place. Remember this one. Already there, we are not required to place. Okay, second line also completed. String S3 is equal to Durga. Where I required to create this object? I told already in the last example, where I required to create this object in the SCP area. But in SCP area, object creation is always optional. First, JVM will check. Is there any object already, already, point already huh, having the same content or not? If any object already having the same content, then existing object will be reused. Huh? It won't create new object. That's why string S3. S3 is also pointed to Durga. String S4 is equal to Durga. S4 is also pointed to Durga. Regarding S4 is also pointed to Durga only. Now, can you please confirm? Total, total, sir, how many objects got created? Only three objects got created. One is in the SCP area, two objects in the heap area, right? So the conclusion is, whenever we are using new operator, compulsory, a new object will be created in the heap area. That's why there may be a chance of existing two objects with the same content in the heap area. Yes, this is Durga Durga, same content, but there is no chance of existing two objects with the same content in the SAP area. Remember this one, sir, in the SAP area, with the same content, only one object will be there, same object will be reused uh, multiple times. So, internally, memory will be saved, uh, memory utilization will be improved, right? Clear? Now, your knowledge about SCP and HIP uh, from 0 to 20 percent prized. I am sure if I will go for two more, two or three more example, then you will get much clarity. Don't require to worry. Up to this clear? Sir, the next example related to HIP and SCP, have a look once. String S is equal to new string of Durga. String S is equal to new string of Durga. Yes, dot concat of software. Yes, is equal to yes dot concat of solutions. Okay, well, can you please tell total how many objects will be created? In the heap area, how many there? SAP area, how many there? Can you please? Yes, friends. Can you please tell total how many objects will be created? How many present in the heap area? How many present in SCP area? Yes? Okay? Well, so compulsory you people should have some answer in your mind. Okay, maybe 3, 4, 2, 4 or 6, 4, something like you should have some clarity. Okay? Now, have a look once. Heap area, general heap and the SCP area. First line String S is equal to new string of Durga. Wow. This one, not required to keep any explanation. Even in the last two examples also we covered. S is equal to new string of Durga. One copy will be created in the heap area. For the future purpose, another copy will be created in SCP area. Okay, well, Durga, like this. S dot concat of software. S dot concat of software, software, like this I am taking. Sir, do you know, yes sir, dot concat of software, here observe, software is a string literal, software is a string literal, literal, for every string literal, one copy will be created in the string constant pool, because the name I have observed, string constant pool, 
it is a string a constant string literal means a string constant for every string a constant one copy will be created in the scp area that's why first uh, software will be created in the scp area okay software got created in scp area okay well next yes sir dot concat of software do you know so yes sir dot concat of software already what is yes yes is durga concat of software durga software do you know so string is immutable you can't change the content if you are trying to perform the change compulsory new object will be created do you know because of runtime operation maybe method of call because of runtime operation if an object is required to create that object is always going to create only in the heap area but not in scp remember this one sir sir i call concat because of that a new object will be created runtime operation if an object got created that the new object will be created only in the heap area but not in scp scp meant for string constants string literals not because of runtime operation created objects sir now yes dot concat of software yes is already durga durga software a new object got created are you getting durga software a new object got created right okay for this new object do you have any reference variable no 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 we are not assigning to any reference variable that's why this object eligible for garbage collection okay anyway it is eligible for gc next uh, s is equal to s dot concata solution see there s dot concata solution solution solutions uh, is a constant string constant compulsory one copy will be there in the scp area okay solutions uh, is a content is a is a one copy will be there in the scp area because it is a string a literal right for every string literal one copy will be created in scp for the reusability purpose next uh, yes sir dot concat of solutions yes is always pointing to durga durga dot concat of solutions uh, now durga solutions will be created a new object because of runtime operation if an object is required to create that object is always going to be placed only in the heap area next uh, this uh, result uh, we are assigning to yes we are assigning to yes now on what this yes uh, is pointing to this object are getting now one word this s is pointing to this object if you print yes happily you are going to get durga solutions that's all can you please tell total how many objects got created how many there in the heap area how many there in the scp six objects got created because of this code three present in the heap area three present in the scp and uh, these are two objects eligible for garbage collection only this object not eligible for garbage collection in the heap anyway these are not eligible for gc because implicit reference variables will be maintained by jvm now are you getting clarity okay i hope just uh, take a bit special care so for every example you are going to learn some new thing eh? maybe after one or two examples yes all the things are going to be completed then you will get much clarity about this concept clear for all of you but keep on listening very important sir the next example related to heap area and scp for the string observe that string s1 is equal to new string of springs string s1 is equal to new string of spring spring sir s1 dot concat of fall string s2 is equal to s1 dot concat of winter next s2 dot concat of summer sop of s1 sop of s2 can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get under total how many objects will be created beautiful example so i'm sure you are not required to learn any new point already your existing knowledge is more enough to answer this one so can you please confirm how many objects got created and what is the output we are going to get if you can answer this you are the perfect i'm sure okay sir so let me explain sir how many objects got created here just uh, 
I'm taking sir this is the heap area and this is SCP area now observe string s1 is equal to new string of spring sir one object will be created in the heap area with the content of spring s1 is the reference variable next for every string lateral one copy will be created in the SCP area for the future purpose that's why here compulsory one copy will be created in SCP area okay well sir because of first line how many objects got created two objects we know already we discussed multiple times the same point yes of one dot concat of fall yes one dot concat of fall 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 is a string literal that's why compulsory fall will be created here fall will be created here yes of one dot concat of fall means uh, because of runtime operation if an object is required to create compulsory that object will be created only in the heap area that's why spring of fall will be created in the heap area spring of fall will be created but for this no reference variable that's why this object eligible for garbage collection right okay well next uh, string s2 is equal to s1 dot concat of winter string s2 is equal to s1 dot concat of winter winter like this right now do you know it is a literal it's a literal for every string a literal one object will be created in the scp area winter got created next uh, s1 dot concat of winter s1 dot concat of winter s1 is a uh, spring uh, spring of winter spring of winter will be created in the heap area spring winter will be created in the heap area heap area for this new object s2 a new reference variable we are assigning that's why s2 is the reference variable okay well next s2 dot concat of summer s2 dot concat of summer do you know summer is a literal that's why let me create sir here summer like like i'm taking sir here summer summer like i'm taking assume it is a capital here also w capital summer like now s2 dot concat of summer already s2 means what spring winter spring winter so for this concatenation summer means uh, spring winter spring winter summer spring winter summer a new object got created in the heap area but for this no reference variable eligible for garbage collection okay well sir now sop of s1 what is the answer sir sop of s1 means uh, spring itself is the answer sop of s2 s2 means uh, spring winter is the answer are you getting spring winter itself is the answer are you everyone in the position to understand right so please make sure you people should aware very clearly about this terminology right any doubt friends are you in the position to understand right so total how many objects got created four objects in the heap area four objects in the scp total eight objects got created and this object this object eligible for garbage collection and these are not eligible for garbage collection right okay sir sop of s1 means spring sop of s2 means spring winter like this we are going to get the output sir let me execute this code and let me confirm have a look once have a look once is it the same example or not string s1 is equal to new string of spring S1 dot concat of fall, string S2 is equal to S1 dot concat of winter, S2 dot concat of summer, like this, right? Same example. What output we are going to get, sir? Here the code compiles fine. Compiles fine. The output we are going to get, sir, spring followed by spring winter. Okay? Now, I hope everyone got clarity when the objects will be created in the heap area, when the objects will be created in SCP area. For every new operator, one object will be created in the heap. Next, uh, for every string literal, one copy will be created in the SCP. Next, uh, because of runtime operation, like a method of call, if a new string object is required to create, compulsory that object will be created only in the heap area. Clear up to this?
sir up to this we covered multiple examples where the object will be created in sap area or in the heap area like that but now i never explained i never show any proof but now let me go for a full fledged example even i want to execute and i will show the proof up to certain level that's why please take a bit special care the most dangerous thing you people may get uh, some new things also first uh, have a look once on on the code here just have a look once sir just on the screen first you can see so that uh, it will be it will be more clearer sir here string s1 is equal to new string of you can't change me string s2 is equal to new string of you can't change me yes op of s1 double equal to s2 okay like next uh, string s3 is equal to you cannot change me yes one double equal to s3 string s4 is equal to you cannot change me s3 double equal to s4 string s5 is equal to you cannot plus change me okay now s4 double equal to s5 string s6 is equal to you cannot plus u string s7 is equal to s6 plus change me s4 double equal to s7 sir final string s8 you cannot string s9 is equal to s8 plus change me like sir this is the example even i want to execute this code also so that you people can get much clarity okay sir take very special care compulsory you require to practice this this bit sir especially this code here have a look once total how many objects will be created where the objects will be created which reference variable point into which object sir compulsory clarity must be required huge number of lines of the code is there okay now i'm taking here just the heap area heap area scp area i'm taking sir now first first string s1 is equal to new string of you cannot change me are getting string s1 is equal to new string of you cannot change me because of first line are you getting that so what is the content you cannot change me okay just for the example sake only you have to tell man don't use in your real time you can't change me you should be more flexible based on the requirement you should be changeable you should be adaptable suppose you have smoking habit your girlfriend is asking so do you have smoking habit like no 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 just i have if you if you if you don't want then i will leave so whether you really going to leave or not forget about that but you have to convey like that otherwise your girlfriend won't be there with you okay that's why please uh, so you should be changeable based on the time to time don't be immutable you should be flexible to change eh? it is always highly recommended good programming practice okay well so don't use this type of terminology in our real life just for the string concept it is applicable you cannot change me listen so string s1 is equal to new string of you cannot change me okay because of this first line how many objects will be created sir one object one object in the heap area okay here you cannot cannot change me okay like this okay short words i am taking yes one is the reference variable next up for the future purpose and as it is the string literal one copy will be maintained in scp area you cannot change me like this right so because of first line how many objects got created sir sir two one two objects one is in the heap area the second one in the scp area now string s2 is equal to new string of you cannot change me are getting you can so compulsory new object will be created in the heap area you cannot change me s2 yes is the reference variable and for the future purpose one copy required to place in sap but it's already there that's why not required to place sir now system dot out dot println s1 double equal to s2 sir s1 and s2 both are point into the same object no because it is pointing to this object it is pointing to this object that's why what answer by default you are going to get here a false is the answer any doubt any doubt sir it's a very clear sir up to this how many objects created three sir two in the heap area one s1 and s2 both are pointing to different objects that's why double equal operator return false let me execute up to this right have a look once here all the remaining sops let me comment 
all the remaining SOPs, just I'm commenting, sir, just observe that only this code I'm trying to execute. You cannot change me, you cannot change me, SOP of S1 double equal to S2. Sir, what is the output we are going to get? The code compiles fine, the code compiles fine, what is the answer we are getting, sir? What is the answer we are going to get? Simple false is the answer we are getting. Perfectly, it is the valid. Yes, are you able to understand? Now, let me go for next level, sir. String S3 is equal to, you cannot change me. String S3 is equal to, you cannot change me. Where this object is required to create? In a CP area. In a CP area, this object is required to create. But in a CP area, you cannot change me already there. That's why, S3 pointing to same object. S3 pointing to already existing object in the SCP because it's the literal right now S1 double equal to S3 S1 and S3 both are pointing to different objects that's why the answer we are going to get false is the answer second one also okay let me show this one have a look once string S3 is equal to you cannot change me you cannot change me S1 double equal to S3, SOP S1 double equal to S3. Now the code compiles fine. Now the code compiles fine. What is the answer we are getting? It is very clear, false is the answer. Okay, up to this clear. Now the next possibility, have a look. String S4 is equal to, you cannot change me. String S4 is equal to, you cannot, you cannot change me. Where this object is required to create? SCP. But in SCP already object is there, that's why S4 is also pointing to the same object present inside yeah, SCP area. Now S3 and S4 pointing to same object, right? Now, sir, SOP of S3 double equal to S4, what answer you are going to get, sir? True itself is the answer. First time, sir, true we are going to get because S3 and S4 point into the same object present inside SCP area. Now, have a look once, sir, string S4 is equal to like this. Now, string S4 is equal to you cannot change me. SOP of S3 double equal to S4. What is the answer we are going to get, sir? Here, simple, sir, true, true itself is the answer. Okay, are you getting last one is the true, sir? Now, the next one, observe carefully, string S5 is equal to, you cannot plus change me, sir, dangerous thing, dangerous thing, you cannot plus change me, sir, like, can you please tell, because of this line, how many objects will be created? Yes, friends, because of this line, how many objects will be created? Ah, make sure. Very, very important point. Sir, it is one lateral, it is another lateral, and a plus operator is there. Two objects will be created in the SCP area. Result object will be created in the heap area, like some people are going to feel. No. If both are constants, suppose if I if I want to print uh, system.out.println 10 plus 20. Do you know these both are constants or not? Constant 10 plus 20. If both the arguments are constant, compiler itself is going to perform this addition, sir. Sir, do you know after compilation, this code looks like 30 like this. Are getting at compile time only, it will be replaced with 30, 30. So the JVM is the responsible just to print the value 30 directly. Remember this one, JVM is the responsible just to print the value directly 30. So if everything is a constant, that operation will be performed only at compile time. But not required to wait until runtime. Now have a look once. So string S5 is equal to you cannot plus change me. You cannot plus change me. It is one constant. It is another constant. So both are constant. Sir, this one addition is going to be happen. Concatenation is going to be happen at the compile time only. It is exactly same as string S3 is equal to S4. String S4 is equal to like, sir, you cannot change me. You cannot change me. Here also you cannot change me only at runtime. So at runtime, this content will become you cannot change me like a literal. So JVM is always going to search in SCP area only. That's why 
S of 5 is also pointing to same SCP object. Remember, this operation will be performed at compile time or runtime? Compile time. Because, because both the arguments are constants. Remember this one. That's why. So, in this case, new object won't be created. Existing SCP object, S5 point in that. Sir, SOP of S of 4 double equal to S5. S4, S5 both are pointing to the same object. That's why true, true itself is the answer we have to get. Observe carefully, right? Now, have a look once. Have you have a look once, sir? String S5 is equal to you cannot plus change me SOP of S4 double equal to S5. Like this, I'm taking, sir. Observe. Yes, friends, what the answer we are going to get? Sir, this is S4 double equal to S5. S4 double equal to S5. What the answer we have to get, sir? Let me, let me execute again. Let me execute again. Now the answer we are going to get. False, false, true followed by true, sir. Please make sure false, false, true, true is the answer we are going to get. Okay, well. Sir, now the next scenario. Dangerous point, take special care. String S6 is equal to you cannot. String S6 is equal to you cannot. Can you please tell where this you cannot will be created? SCP area. SCP area. Now, you cannot. You cannot will be created SCP area. What is the reference variable for this? S6 is the reference variable. Now, string S7 is equal to S6 plus change me. Now, S6 is a normal variable. S6 is a normal variable. Normal variable plus constant. If at least one argument is the variable, normal variable, this operation will be performed at a runtime only. If both are constants like this, then only the operation will be performed at compile time. But at least one variable is there. Variable plus constant, this operation will be performed at a runtime only. That's why, because of this, first change me constant will be created in the, in the change me constant will be created in the SCP area. S6 plus change me. Now this operation will be performed at a runtime. Now a new object will be created, right? You cannot change me. Okay? What is the reference variable for this? S7 is the reference variable. Okay, like so this operation will be performed at a runtime because S6 is the normal variable. If it is the normal variable, at least one argument is the variable, the other argument is the constant. This operation will be performed at a runtime only. Now S sub 4 double equal to S7. S sub 4 is pointing to SCP object. S7 is pointing to heap object. Both are not pointing to the same object. That's why, what is the output by default we are going to get, sir? False is the answer. Let me cross check. Have a look once. Here, string S6 is equal to you cannot. String S7 is equal to S6 plus change me. Now, system.out.println S4 double equal to S7. Have you observed? What is the answer? What answer we are going to get, sir? The simple answer is uh, false. False itself is the answer. Any doubt? Are you getting? Sir, what is the next uh, thing? Observe carefully. Sir, final string S8 is equal to you cannot. Sir, what is this variable? Final string S8 is equal to you cannot. You cannot. Is it a constant? It's a constant. Of course, it will be created in SAP. SAP already you cannot is there. Now, S8 is also pointing to you cannot in SCP. Next, S8 is the final variable or not? Yes, it is the final variable. Every final variable will be replaced by the value yet compile time only. Do you know it is not normal variable, final. Final means constant. Every final variable will be replaced by compiler only. Okay, yet compile time only. It is a constant. It is a constant. Now this plus operation will be performed at a, at a compile time only. Now it is exactly same as line number 5. I mean string S5. You cannot plus change me. 
Now this total operation will be performed yet the compile time only. Yet run time, this total thing will be replaced with the, you cannot change me a single lateral. That's why JVM is always going to search in the SCP area. SR9 is a pointing to, SR9 is pointing to SCP object. Sarabja, first step one, every final variable will be replaced by the value by compiler only. If both are constants, this operation will be performed at compile time only. Now this total thing will be replaced with the, you cannot plus change me. This total thing will be replaced with the, you cannot change me. That's why this object is required to create in SCP. But in SCP already object is there. S9 pointing to SCP object. Now, system dot out dot printer and yes sub 4 double equal to yes sub 9. Yes sub 4 double equal to yes sub 9. Are you getting what is the output we are going to get, sir? I'm sure the output is the true. Have a look once. Last one. Have a look once. Last, sir. It is the final. It is the final. Final. That's why what output you are going to get, sir. Here, have a look once. True. True itself is the answer. All the people in a position to understand right. Okay. This is what you should have clear clarity. Sir, several things uh, I explain, especially this one. If uh, both are constants, that operation will be performed at uh, compile time only. Remember that. If uh, at least one runtime variable, if at least one normal variable, that operation will be performed at the runtime only. Sir, aware this, just uh, take the note and then practice, then you will get much clarity where the objects will be created in the heap area or in the SCP area like that. Clear for all of that? Beautiful example. But uh, how extent you are getting, that is the very important. Compulsory write on the paper. Type, type and execute, then you people can get much clarity. Next, uh, some more examples, similar examples, better to practice. So, you will get much perfection in this heap area, SCP area with respect to string concept, right? Clear? The last videos we covered, where the object will be created in the heap area, SCP area, when the object will be created in the heap, when the object will be created in SCP, like all the things very clearly I explained, sir. Sir, now the next thing what I have to take. Sir, what is the advantage of string constant pool? What is the importance of string constant pool? This part we have to discuss. Have you observed, right? What is the advantage, advantage or importance, importance of SCP. What is the advantage or importance of string constant pool? This concept we have to discuss. Okay? Well, just uh, do you know why this SCP concept is applicable only for string but not for string buffer? Why immutability concept applicable only for the string but not for string buffer like uh, such a type of sir questions you can able to answer very easily if you can aware this concept sir that's why take very special care here do you know in any programming language the most commonly used object is a java is a string object remember this one in any programming language in any application whether it is the java based or whether it is the python based in any application the most commonly used object is string object right sir very simple if i can take water water registration form if i can take water registration form i'm taking just uh, water registration form just for your basic idea purpose i'm taking this one just observe in the which fields will be there can you please spell out sir this is the form usually which fields are there name will be there next and after the father name will be there next uh, mother name these days uh, in our certificates everywhere the people are making mother name is also mandatory mother name is there assume Next, uh, address, address in that, what is the house number? Next, uh, what is the street number? Street, street number. Next, is it uh, village or city? Village, village or city or mandal? Like, uh, next, uh, what is the mandal? What is the, what is the mandal? What is the district? District. 
Next, uh, what is the state? What is the state? Like, uh, do you know what is the PIN? PIN code, like. Next, uh, sometimes, maybe a chance, uh, identification mark 1. Identification marks, marks uh, 1, 1. Identification marks uh, 2. Identification marks uh, 2. And uh, at last, uh, submit button. Assume that, sir. Assume in your 10th class, do you know a mole on the right hand side? A mole on the left eyebrow, something like uh, maybe a chance of we have we have something like so the same identification marks assume that sir it's a simple voter registration form in this how many string objects are there have you observed how many how many string objects are available sir name is one string object okay next uh, father name and uh, mother name next house number street number village mandal district estate sir pin number pin code pin code anyway it is not a string it is the number only identification marks one identification marks two sir assume almost uh, out of 12 or 13 almost uh, 10 to 11 are string objects only that's what sir so in our application if you consider any application most of the things are always string objects only like this you people should be aware are you are you getting right so string object is the most commonly used object in any application or not yes obviously right from this example you can consider any example where most of the times do you know string objects only student application student college 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 based application college automation application college name either string director name either string principal name either string next a subject name every subject name itself is the string hall ticket number itself is the string are you getting only marks uh, may be into values okay so make sure everywhere string object is the most common okay sir now here just to take a bit very special care I want to make, uh, I want I want to fill, I want to fill my details for water registration. Okay. Sir, in the, just observe, for V1, water 1 is coming, sir. Water 1 is coming. He entered city name as Hyderabad. He entered city name as Hyderabad. Hyderabad like. Okay. First water came, he entered city name as Hyderabad. For the, sir, one string object got created, well. Sir, now my question is, within Hyderabad, how many waters are there? Within Hyderabad, how many waters are there? Almost around the one crore waters are there within Hyderabad. Are you getting within Hyderabad, one crore waters are there. Next, uh, do you know, if I create separate Hyderabad object for every water, separately uh, water one city name Hyderabad one object water two city name Hyderabad another object for water three city name Hyderabad there one crore string objects are required to create unnecessary performance is going to be down memory problem by default will be there are you getting so anyway for all waters in Hyderabad city name is always same city name is always same so why you require to create Hyderabad 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 like one crore times unnecessary performance is going to be down because object creation is very costly next and after the memory is going to be wasted like so if any string object repeatedly required never recommended to create separate object for every requirement okay so how you can able to take how you can solve this problem very simple sir create only one object create only one object and the share the same object for all one crore members share the same object for all one crore members in java it is possible because of scp concept are you getting string constant pool how many objects will be created with hyderabad only one object if any other person is asking if any other person is asking boss my city also hyderabad are just now hyderabad object created you can reuse the same object you are not required to create new object 
V1, V2, V3 and so on. V1 crore for all these one crore references. Same Hyderabad object by default is going to be reused. Are you getting right? So this is possible just because of SCP concept. In the last uh, examples I cover, sir, same object in SCP will be referenced with the multiple references. Are you getting? Memory utilization by default will be improved. So first point, sir, in SCP, single object can be referenced with multiple references same object can be referenced with multiple references clear what is the advantage of scp what are the, what are the advantage what are various advantages of scp string constant pool very simple now you can able to tell sir in scp area same object can be reused with multiple references so instead of creating one crore object sir one object with one crore references is possible so obviously performance is going to be improved memory utilization by default will be improved this is the biggest advantage of okay scp concept like that you can able to tell okay well but what is the problem with scp what is the problem with scp because there is one universal rule is there if you get something if you are going to get something definitely we have to miss something Okay, because of SCP, the biggest advantage what we are going to get, performance will be improved. Next, the memory utilization will be, it will be improved because we are not required to create one crore Hyderabad objects. One object is enough. The same object can be reused with the multiple references. Clear? But what is the problem with SCP concept? Very simple. Assume, assume, how many Hyderabad objects are there? Can you please confirm? Huh? Respond. How many Hyderabad objects are there? Only one object. But this object can be reused with the, how many references? How many references are there? One crore references are there. How many? One crore. Now, suppose assume V3 person, V3, what are three? What are three? Want to change is a city name. What are three? Want to change its city name from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. Are you getting another city? Because he got transferred. He want to change his city name. Now observe. If this what are three opened his online, online application or otherwise database and uh, he is uh, trying to edit his account information saying this uh, city name is Vijayawada something like then automatically, if it's allowed to change the content, if it's allowed to change the content to Vijayavada, okay? How many references are going to be affected? Are you getting how many references are going to be affected? One crore references will be affected. Because if multiple references point into the same object, by using one reference, if we are trying to perform any changes, with those, if you are trying to perform any change, automatically that change will be reflected for all. So, sir, forget about memory problem, forget about memory benefit or performance benefit. Now the application start behaving abnormally. Sir, after five minutes, sir, so another person want to change his city name. So, today morning I checked, uh, my city name is Hyderabad. After 10 minutes I checked, uh, suddenly my city name became Vijayawada. After another 10 minutes I checked, uh, suddenly my city name became Delhi. Are you getting? It's always a bigger problem, abnormal behavior. Then, how you can solve this problem? Hmm. How you can solve this problem? Sun people, Java people, Analyze it uh, very clearly. They came up with beautiful concept, immutability concept. Are you getting what is that concept? They came up with beautiful concept. What is that concept? Immutability concept. Clear, right? Sir, what is the immune? So once we create string object, we are not allowed to change its content. We are not allowed to change its content because in Java, string object can be referenced with the multiple references. So that's why if one person changing, all the remaining people will be affected. So if any person want to change its content with those changes, a new object by default will be created. Are you getting? V, J, A, V3 want to change the city name from Hyderabad to Vijayawada. Like with that change, a new object will be created only this particular reference will be reassigned. 
only this particular reference will be reassigned but still all the remaining references pointing to the same object only are you getting right so what is this behavior once we create string object we are not allowed to change the content by mistake if you are trying to change the content with those changes a new object will be created under that reference pointing to that new object this concept is nothing but immutability concept are you getting why immutability is required just because of scp concept only if scp concept is not there if reusing the same object concept is not there immutability not required is it clear right friends everyone can able to understand right sir what is the importance what is the advantage of string constant pool next what is the problem with the string constant pool sir if any person is asking what is the advantage of string constant pool sir same object can be reused uh, multiple times instead of creating new object same object can be reused uh, memory will be saved uh, performance will be improved are you getting these are the positive sides of scp concept but what is the problem with scp by re one reference if any person trying to change then so all the remaining references will be affected to prevent that java people introduced a immutability concept so why string objects are immutable just because of scp concept just because of reusing the same object if scp is not there reusing the same object is not there then automatically immutability concept is not required clear friends advantage problem why string objects are immutable just aware this knowledge anyway just to get basic idea okay what advantage is there just to get the basic idea i hope in the entry room if any entry person is asking why scp concept is required what is the advantage of scp concept just take water registration form and explain this concept then entry person definitely will be convinced clear are you able to understand videos we covered very clearly what is advantage of scp string constant pool what are problems right why string objects are immutable now i hope you are getting some basic idea from this concept maybe a chance to ask in the entire room a small one or two important questions observe that what kind of, what what important questions you can you can expect for the exam just the, the first question observe that why scp concept is available only for string object but not for string buffer sir string constant pool such type of concept is available only for string but not for string buffer why what is the speciality for the string why why this concept is only for string okay like next uh, why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why immutability is required okay you may have some basic idea now i will explain in detail next in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java sir in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java sir like uh, these are the three important question sometimes we may go beyond our limit but still sir very important for the entire room region what the first question observe that why scp concept is available only for string object but not for string buffer do you know assume you are regular customer to the bar <laughs> i don't know whether you have drinking habit or not assume that you are regular customer to the bar every day evening you will go to the bar hey one knockout or otherwise one royal challenge like you will ask then they will provide and then so happily you can drink and then come to the home it is a regular activity every day sir every day by mistake one day you forgot the wallet sir money is not there are getting money you forgot money still bar people are going to provide support or not are he the regular customer sir today if you are not having the money no problem tomorrow can you please give tomorrow can you please give okay like uh, they are going to offer normally even you are not having the money also one or two days yes no problem sir yet uh, month ending one time only you can give no issue at all like uh, they are going to offer 
suppose yearly once uh, you are going to the bar sir today if i will go next uh, after one year only i will go then i will go there are i forgot money i forgot money can you please give some item then the bar wala the bar person is going to see from top to bottom are you getting he won't because i'm not regular customer so special privileges are required special privileges are available only for regular customers if you are not regular customer you may not have special privileges special offers like that right are you able to understand now i am telling this word now you can able to understand yes sir here one is a string concept the other one is a string buffer are you getting one is the string the other one is string buffer now do you know scp like concept string constant pool such type of concept applicable only for string but not for string buffer why why this special memory management defined for the string simple answer string e regular customer are you getting string is what regular customer means uh, the most commonly used object in java is the string object are you getting the most commonly used object in java is the string object string object right? that's why so it is uh, it is for the string uh, special privileges are there special memory management provided by java people for string buffer yearly once or otherwise so for 20000 lines of the code one time you may use you may use you may not use also there are several applications where we may not use string buffer but there is no application without using string that's why string is most commonly used object in java that's why java people provided a special memory management for the string but string string buffer is very rarely used object that's why special memory management not required for the string buffer any doubt are you able to understand the first question why a cp concept is available available for the string but not for the string buffer yes string is a regular customer to the bar but string buffer is not regular customer only for regular customers special privileges are there are you able to understand okay well now second one very dangerous observe carefully why string objects are immutable immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable sir why immutability concept is required for the string but not for string buffer string buffer immutable is not required why what is the reason sir very very simple in the case of string in the case of string just because of scp because of scp same object can be reused multiple times correct or not same object can be reused multiple times because of which concept scp concept string constant pool by using one reference if we are changing the content the remaining references are going to be affected that's why once we create string object we are not allowed to change its content because this content can be shared with multiple references if any person trying to change the content with those changes a new object should be created in the existing object you are not allowed to change because of scp immutability concept is required for the string object are you getting so can you please tell why string objects are immutable scp scp because of scp reusing reusing the same object is there by using one reference if we are allowed to change the content then the remaining references are going to be affected so to prevent that immutability concept is required for the string objects any doubt clear right next uh, what about string buffer in string buffer scp concept is not there if scp concept is not there reusing same object such a type of thing is not there every time sir every time separate object is required to create every time separate object is required to create are you getting durga sir durga like uh, durga reusing the same object is not there in the string buffer because scp like concept is not there in string buffer right now by using s1 if i change the content durga to ravi durga to ravi if i change the content in this object is there any effect on remaining references no 
because for every object separate reference is there if i perform change here no effect on the ribbon references that's why immutability is not required for the string buffer remember reusing same object is not there immutability concept is not required for the string buffer but what about this one mutability concept sir immutability concept must be compulsory required so if any person is asking why string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable sir for the string object scp concept is available reusing the same object is there multiple references uh, point into the same object by using one reference if you are allowed to change the content then the remaining references will be affected to prevent that immutability is required but uh, here for every a reference separate object is there because are using the same object concept is not there because scp concept is not there for string buffer that's why by using one reference if we are allowed to change the content there is no effect on the remaining references because for every reference separate object is there that's why immutability not required for the string buffer any doubt clear okay now observe that third question what is the third one is in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java in addition to string objects string objects are immutable any other objects are immutable in java yes friends all all wrapper class objects all wrapper class objects are getting all wrapper class object are also immutable okay in wrapper class objects also up to certain range same object will be reused remember this one reusing the same object such type of terminology there in the case of wrapper classes okay that's why all wrapper class objects are by default immutable byte class object short class object next integer class object long class object like you know long next up float class object double class object float class double class character class object are getting boolean object boolean boolean object these are things are all wrapper class objects are immutable okay not only string objects right so these questions are very very important for the interview room compulsory you should be in a position to answer clearly clear last videos we covered very clearly what is scp what is what are various important terminologies related to string and string buffer when the object will be created in the heap scp all the things right now let me talk about api related to string or string api right sir at the part of that the first we have to talk important constructors of string class are you getting important constructors of string class sir if you want to create an empty string object empty zero length string is also valid sir how you can create by using constructor string s is equal to new new string are getting string s is equal to new string just the creates an empty creates an empty string object an empty an empty string object on the heap area okay empty string object will be created just the string s is equal to new string that's all sir now second constructor string s is equal to string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of okay string literal are you getting string literal literal like do you know it is called it is for the given string literal an equivalent object will be created in the heap area new operator means always object will be created in the heap area for the given string literal can you please create an object in the heap area this is the constructor right okay well now the third constructor very important sir sometimes after completing this string we require to talk about string buffer string builder sir string buffer and string builder are brothers brothers to string are getting all these three are brothers only so small small differences right 
for the given string of buffer i want to create an equivalent string object are getting for the given string of buffer i want to create an equivalent string object what is the way okay string s is equal to new new string of new string of string of buffer string of buffer buffer s of b are getting string s is equal to new string of string of buffer s b so for the given string object for the given string object an equivalent for the given string buffer object an equivalent string by default will be created equivalence between string of buffer to string of concept okay like so fourth one i have string of builder object is there string of builder object is there i want to create an equivalent string object what is the way sir very simple string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of string builder are getting string builder builder sp string builder sp for the given string builder can you please create an equivalent string object okay that's all this is uh, another constructor of course so these constructors once we know there there i will explain just observe that so to create an empty string object next for the given string literal how to create string object next for the given string buffer how to create an equivalent string object for the given string builder how to create an equivalent string object clear right okay now fifth one sir very very important sir can you please tell what is a string Ah, what is a what is a string? String is.